Hey there, folks. Adam here going live with Brennan. Brennan, how are you doing, bud? Uh, you're, you're muted, remember? <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Uh, still can't hear you. Bren, you're muted. Bren, there yeah, you I go. know. I thought I hit the button, but <laughs> I didn't. Oh, I see. That's all good, man. How you doing? <laughs> good. Good, good. Uh, we busy. got some interesting storms going on right now, so it's, yeah, it's mm -hmm. going to be a busy day. Uh, we have a hook echo, actually, right now that I just posted about um, southwest of Uxbridge. Uh, so let's go take a peek at radar really quick. Um, actually, before I do that, let's just jump, pull up Brennan's uh, forecast map here. Uh, it's a complicated one. So we've got uh, kind of this main cluster of storms that's happening right now, um, kind of south of Barrie in the New Market areas that are moving to the east, northeast. Uh, and uh, as you can see, basically everywhere is highlighted with uh, a potential severe risk because yellow is encompassing the uh, most of the province here, um, or at least of uh, southern Ontario. And, uh, and then we, you can see there's different timings going on. So we have the afternoon risk that's happening from Barrie out towards uh, Ottawa and Pembroke, Petawawa. That is an afternoon and evening risk actually as well too, as it tracks to the east. Um, and then there's a late evening risk in southwestern Ontario, which is uh, pretty interesting because uh, we've only seen uh, the, these morning models actually talk about a possible uh, MCS, so possible big Boeing line of storms that could be moving in uh, late evening or maybe even overnight. Um, and so that's pretty interesting, and they'll bring with it uh, pretty intense damage and wind risk, uh, depending on if the storms are elevated or not. So if they're close to the surface, they're not elevated, and if they are elevated, they're further off the surface, and then that might uh, that might mitigate some of the severe risks. But uh, that's going to be an interesting one for sure. So that is southern Ontario. Let's just take a quick peek at the northern Ontario map, uh, northeastern Ontario uh, as well, with a, a pretty substantial risk. Um, as you can see here, uh, basically in the orange is the main area, but uh, in the yellow as well too. And anywhere you see that kind of dotted, speckled stuff, that is the uh, that is the tornado risk as well too. So, not saying that, of course, not every location is going to see a tornado. Uh, if you know, if we even see tornadoes today, but if there are tornadoes, then uh, they could potentially happen within these areas. And uh, again, I'll jump back to the southern map. You can see that we've highlighted um, northeastern Ontario and then uh, out towards eastern Ontario. Um, as well as central Ontario with uh, with a potential tornado risk and then areas that are right up against Lake Huron we've also highlighted with uh, tornado risk with that that embedded line that's going to be uh, moving in so we'll have to see how that does develop um, Brennan did you want to pull up the uh, current alerts at this point in time I think you've got that uh, prepared if you want to yeah, go ahead and I got it here. Screen, please. so basically yeah, we so just have see. the severe so thunderstorm watch that has been issued by environment canada in central and eastern ontario that mentions the risk of a tornado and then we have the severe thunderstorm watch that doesn't mention the risk of a tornado in northeastern ontario that includes sudbury and elliott lake perfect awesome thank you kindly um so yeah so that's basically what we're dealing with right now it's going to be an interesting day. Let's go take a, a peek at uh, at radar at some of these storms here and uh, and see what we're dealing with. Because um, I that hook echo is pretty interesting. So I did post a minor rotation update for that particular hook echo I was uh, mentioning there. Let's go take a peek at that. And let me just refresh the radar to make sure we have the latest data. And you should be able to see that. Ooh, the hook has actually got even more interesting now. So this is the cell here. Uh, and it's starting to have a hook on the bottom, on the, the southern edge of that storm. So this was it uh, hooking, and then it's continuing to hook, actually. So um, so this is basically a hook echo is a sign of minor rotation. We're not really seeing a strong uh, mesocyclone yet in here, but when we have this environment and we have a storm that's starting to hook, that's when it's worth mentioning. So um, let me back up here so you can see that there are a lot of storms developing right now. And surprisingly, we thought there was going to be kind of this cluster that developed uh, near Lake Simcoe and then tracked to the east. But as you can see, there's a lot more storms developing west of, of that. So we'll have to see exactly how that does develop. Um, this is an interesting one right here near west of Barrie, near Menacing. But I think that might have been the storm from earlier that is tapering off. So we did post a, a minor rotation earlier that when the storm was around Hopeville. Uh, tracking to the northeast, but that may be that storm kind of weakening at this point in time. So uh, I'm probably going to pull that minor rotation off of the app, but uh, but this storm with the hook is still quite compelling that we're watching right now. 
and it's heading uh, northeast towards Goodwood, Coppins Corners, Glasgow, potentially up towards uh, the U Uxbridge Woodlands and Epsom, maybe towards Uxbridge, but Uxbridge is probably actually going to get the north side of that storm. And I know there's a lot of folks there who have dealt with some pretty intense uh, storms and, uh, and that previous uh, tornado as well, too. Uh, and they're probably pretty stressed out about the fact that the storm's heading their way, but uh, I think you're only going to get the north side of it. So you're probably only going to get rain and lightning and maybe a little bit of hail. But uh, uh, the part of the storm we're concerned about is actually further to the south. Let me just animate it because I know they're actually moving a little bit more northeast. Northeast is a very uh, interesting. Yeah, it's moving more northeast than I thought. So Uxbridge proper might actually see the strongest part of that storm again. Not seeing a super, super strong rotation signature yet. Just just minor rotation indicated because we have that hook. But it is actually tracking kind of to the northeast. So it may have end up heading towards Green Bank. Um, and we'll have to watch that very, very closely. So wait a minute. Hold on a second here. Uh, oh, and my folks are saying that I am desynced. Which means, is my audio... My audio and video are out of sync. Ooh, that's not good. It could have been because I upgraded to Windows 11 and didn't really test anything, which is probably a terrible, terrible idea. So, hmm. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Actually, it's interesting because, Brennan, yours was out of sync, and then you took it down to zero, and it was fine. So mm -hmm. let me try that, and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Chances are it's not going to solve it, but we can try um let me see here definitely don't want that out of sync garbage so maybe if i oh you know what oh that got reset hmm interesting interesting okay let me just double check here i will try my best to get it all back in sync but uh in the meantime uh let's also jump in the comments and say hi to everybody hello Hello, I'm going to type in the comments. It's only two seconds, says Joe. Yeah, it's uh, I hate when things are out of sync and brutal. Let me let me just see what I can do here. Give me just a moment. Da -da -do -do -do. OK, I want to fix this. So um, have so there's only watches at the moment, Brennan, I think at this point in time. So far, I'll double check. And I think and like you said, all of those watches from Central Ontario to Eastern Ontario all show Environment Canada mentioned tornadoes possible for all of them, I believe. Yeah. Right? yeah. Correct. I think there's a, a new frame that's still showing a hook on that storm, so that, that could be interesting here. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Pull that oh, up. So those are the particular alerts right now. Yeah. And then I'll show yep, yep. regional zooms. So it's basically from Barrie through Orangeville up to Bearcroft and then into the Ottawa Valley, including Renfrew, Ottawa. I think Smith Falls included. Maybe it might just be on the edge. I think it is. Yeah, it's included. Yeah, makes sense. Um, I think I'm going to... Okay, I switched it back to... Um, I went back to zero seconds. So let me know if my yeah, audio you're is definitely brutal. really delayed. I can tell. Is it is it way off now? Is it like worse than it was before? Check. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Check. Oh, hello. Should I keep saying things? <laughs> is this compelling content? <laughs> is this a compelling live stream? It's delayed still. It's worse. Okay. Uh, Mike says, says delay your audio by 220 milliseconds. Actually, it's the reverse. My video needs to be delayed because my audio is super delayed because I've got all these plugins on it. So um, I could probably solve it by taking all the plugins off. But then it just wouldn't sound way off. OK, way worse. All right. So I have an idea. That's right. I've got ideas. Not many, but some. <laughs> Let me see. I have an idea. I'll make it. I'll delay it way more. Let's see if it'll work. I'm definitely going back to Windows 10 if this is going to keep happening, though. Maybe it has something to do with that. Maybe it doesn't. We'll see. Um, I just did reboot, though. So what the heck? Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me see. 
I'm going to put a huge render delay. I'm going to go 500 milliseconds. Let's see if that works. Okay. How is it now? Is it better? Yeah, it's Check. better. Check. Is it close? Yeah, it's almost on point. It's almost perfect? Yeah. What What happens first, the clap or the noise? You ready? Let's all do this together. Wait, I have noise canceling. That's not going to work. I think you're... No yeah, I was just going to say. Didn't hear anything. <laughs> it's not going to work. The noise canceling killed the clap. Okay. So uh, I'll do. I'll say three, two, one, and then uh, go. And let me know. Three, two, one, go. What do you think? Yeah. Live testing. It's what? Which one? Is it? Is it still off or is it okay? It's perfect. It's perfect. Much better. Close to perfect. Uh, Sud says 200 milliseconds. I went 500 milliseconds. That's how much. That's how I'm. I'm, I'm not even delaying my audio. I'm delaying my video by 500 milliseconds. Anyways, let's not talk about it anymore. It's, it's fine. Back to the weather. <laughs> Wait, I just heard the claps. Says Mario. Oh, uh, you probably hear like the first clip of it, and then Nvidia broadcast just crushes the rest of it. So, um, yeah. So there's even more of a hook now in that storm. So let's go back to that and take a peek. Um, yeah, let's take a, I need to refresh my frame here and it looks like there's even more of a hook on that. Yeah. Look at this. This is like, Ooh. got quite the hook on it, but I mean, velocity isn't, oh, well, that might be a disconnected mezzo. We see those once in a while where like the mezzo's ahead, the inflow mezzo's ahead. What do we have for winds here? 80 kilometers an hour. Yeah. So I posted minor on that cell. What's going on up here? Is this noise? Yeah, that must be noise. Okay. So I post, posted minor rotation on that cell, and I think it's probably a good idea that I did because that thing has had a hook for how many frames now? Uh, four, four, five frames, and those are six-minute intervals, and they've had a hook the whole time. So this is a cell we're very closely watching here, this one southwest of Uxbridge with the uh, with a hook echo. This is also a northeast mo uh, motion. Oh, there is. Oh, so there's a severe thunderstorm warning now? Yeah, there is a uh, severe thunderstorm Lung warning on it. Yeah, it was just that issued. cell. Yeah, yeah, on that cell, right? Yeah. For sure. So, um, Forrest Walker says, "You are all rock stars. Love, love you, and appreciate the hard work." Say hi to Adara, a Adara, Adara. Hi, Adara. Thank you, everybody, for for testing my audio. Something I probably should have done on my own. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. I know, I eh? live and learn. That's okay. We get this is like instant feedback. It's great, so it works out excellent. So, um, yeah. So, scene rotation on that, and Environment Canada has issued a severe thunderstorm warning. Did they mention tornado risk on that on that severe war? I, I have a feeling no. they did with a hook echo. Let's bring it up. Really? No, they didn't. Wow, that's I'm probably because thinking. there's not a really strong mezzo on it. Maybe. Mm. <clears throat> Maybe. No, just ninety kilometer uh, wind gusts. Okay, so at least they put a severe thunderstorm warning on it. Uh, they're holding off on the tornado risk mentioned on that one. It is inside of a severe thunderstorm watch, which mentions tornado potential, but it does not have tornado potential in the actual severe thunderstorm warning specifically. And that's why you don't see those dashed lines, which Brennan has done a great job of adding the dashed lines so you can tell uh, if there is a tornado risk or not when you're looking at these particular maps. So um, we should probably go take a peek at future radar which we haven't done yet just to see where we think these storms are going to go um let me just get it all organized here and pull it up and that should be good uh we haven't mentioned this yet either which we usually do by now but if you have not yet download our free app you can get it at uh, instantweatherapp.com it's free go download it thank you everybody who has uh, downloaded who are using it please let everybody in the comments know uh if you like it if you don't why, etc. So we appreciate your feedback. <clears throat> Here is your past radar, and let's take a peek into the future, Crystal Ball. Uh, what's there's some storms heading out towards Ottawa. By the way, Franktown radar is down. I have a I I'm like crossing my fingers. I have this feeling. I'm hoping there's a lot of hope and a lot of feel going on that Environment Canada is going to magically turn on the Franktown Ottawa radar magically just as we need it 
Whoa, Brandon, look There's at the line in the West. Did you it. see that? It's always down when we need it. Did you see this on the West? They're doing some maintenance on it or something, but I hope they can. The other day, they turned it on randomly for a few hours just because there were storms. So hopefully they do that. Brandon, look, 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 look. Look at future radar. This is ridiculous. Whoa. That line's coming in at 7 that's o'clock early too. into southwestern Ontario. That's early. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Models, most models are not showing that line coming in until like 8, 9 o'clock. But future radar, and with some isolated cells, did you see that near the Sarnia area, Miranda? Near the Sarnia area, uh, right about, uh, right in front of the line. So that's weird. I did, future radar really picking up on that line. Holy. Okay, so there's storms heading out towards Ottawa on future radar. Um, then there's this big cluster that's happening right now around the Lake Simcoe area that's going to be moving to the northeast. Then it shows some storms actually kind of around the Kingston area. And now future radar can change. This isn't like a be all end all solution. Um, it rapidly updates. So it's always updating. So every uh, thank you so much, Stephanie M for the super chat. Sincerely appreciate it. Thank you to all those who are sending stars on Facebook. Those who are sending super chats on uh, YouTube and uh, as well, those who have uh, subscribed to upgrade our a free app to extend radar out five hours and to remove ads. So uh, all of that, thank you, thank you so very, very much. We sincerely appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so future radar isn't the be all end all. It's this can change, but it's been pretty good in the past. Oh, Manitoulin Island too, showing some some storms heading that way. But look at that line. Whoa, that line's coming in early. That is interesting. Um, Uxbridge could be getting some severe winds like pretty much now based on velocity. Let's go take a look back at raw radar. Um, and again, raw, this is a raw radar product that we're going to be launching as, um, uh, as a subscription option within the instant weather app. So that we've done some testing and it looks very promising that this will work inside of our existing app. So you won't go have to download some separate app. You can just upgrade to the instant weather pro tier when we get there. So we'll work on that. In time, the idea is to launch that uh, by officially by spring of 2023. Um, but we're going to be doing some beta testing this fall, so uh, so yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that. But Uxbridge right now, um, velocity looks quite strong. Uh, this could be borderline severe. This says 80.64 kilometers an hour, as you can see above my head at the very very top. Side note: if you're watching this live stream like this, turn your phone sideways, turn your tablet sideways. You'll get a much bigger screen it'll be a lot easier to see um city names and that type of thing as well too so uh those are really strong winds moving into uxbridge that that went quickly that storm was like we were talking like maybe it'll get to uxbridge at some point in time and it's already there so storms are flying today they're moving quick so that is also not good um and by what i mean by not well, good, good is you when you have them. It's good if you don't want flooding, of course, because if they're there and gone, chances of them flooding one area, not like we saw for days and days and days on end of storms and storms and storms and storms where they just like sat still and flooded areas. Uh, that was pretty brutal. But um, but when it comes to damaging wind gusts, you take you take the uh, signature we're seeing on velocity radar and then you. Uh, in some cases, you can multiply it by how fast the storm's moving, and you put those two together, and you can get even stronger wind gusts. So um, if we're seeing 80 kilometers on vo velocity, but that storm's flying through an area, there's a chance that that might actually enhance the uh, the damaging wind potential for it. So, uh, well, we don't have Franktown, but we do have Fort Drum, New York. So we get to at least have a peak from a distance. Uh, which I queued up earlier. So, yeah, so there's some non severe storms, at least from if we're looking at it from New York State, which is quite a distance away. It'd be really nice to see the data from this radar station, which is like a few kilometers away from the storm. Wouldn't that be fantastic? I don't think that's happening right now. If somebody can keep <laughs> checking on uh, Franktown to see uh, uh, the storms are and the storms are moving northeast, which is not a great thing as well, because that northeast is a very classic tornado direction like when storms are moving northeast through our area um many many documented cases of storms that produce tornadoes the storms are moving northeast through our area so that doesn't mean for sure like a guarantee they're going to move or they're going to produce tornadoes um but when they're moving northeast they're moving really quickly and we have the environment that we're dealing with right now that's something else so um, oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, we're testing an in, we're testing a new uh, f a new uh, radar 
uh, strategy right now. And Teresa just brought it up in the chat, and it's got uh, Feature Reader further further along. I could probably actually bring it up here on the app. So we're, this is really interesting. So we're tr we're trying to make this work, and we're probably going to launch it for everybody. Um, but it's really interesting. So um, our existing our existing when you hit play on Future Radar on our app, if you have the five hour version of it, and if you have the 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 highest upgrades so the thirteen dollar a year, which gives you like five hours of fifteen minute intervals. If you have that version of it, when you hit play, you download like six or seven megabytes of data, which is common. Like I went and compared basically, every, I went and checked every single other app that's popular, and like one's like eleven megabytes, one's like seven, one's like five, one's like eight, and they're all kind of within this like six to twelve megabyte range. So we worked on a new strategy. And somehow we have the same data, actually even longer. That's why Teresa posted it, because it goes out an extra hour of future radar data. And six hours of data used 627 kilobytes of data, as opposed to six megabytes. This is like 10 times less data used. So I'm going to pull that up right now so you can see. It still uh, looks very similar. Um, we're still working on a few performance tweaks and that type of thing, but we're pretty excited to launch it because for those who don't have like crazy data plans where you have like, you know, 20 gigs or 40 gigs or all this kind of stuff, if you're using data to check the radar and you're checking it often, as opposed to hitting six, seven megabytes every time, it would be nice to have 627 kilobytes. It's insane. I had to check it like three times just to make, I was like, this is impossible. So I checked it like three times, and uh, turns out that's the case. So um, I'm gonna pull that up here so you can see uh, see what it's like, and we can actually look a little bit further into the future as well too. So uh, let me do that right now. There's gonna be some weird testing stuff on the screen. You'll see. Uh, this is like we're showing some internal stuff right now, but I want to show you guys this because this is pretty crazy. So um, let me just hit play on that. I'm pretty excited. I'm excited about it because it's like. It's kind of mind blowing that that will be less than a megabyte of data used, anyways, and and somehow more data. Anyways, I love breakthroughs. I'm just, I'm I'm stoked about breakthroughs. But let's go take a peek here. Okay, so here it is. So it looks very similar, if not identical, but you can see it goes further. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Okay, so this is the current this is the current animation right now. You can see the time above my head. So you can see like. Those, see that weird stuff where it says like the Z level is how zoomed in we are, the level of detail and the scale of uh, of smoothing. But um, but it goes a little bit further into the future here, and actually it will be more rapidly updated, which is intense. So mm, interesting. Uh, we just saw a report um, on Twitter. Let me pull it up here. Interesting of a lowering in Vaughn, or from Vaughn at least. What the heck? Okay, yeah, uh, Gabe posted that on on Twitter of a lowering. That's pretty interesting looking. Um, hmm. Anyway, so here is, uh, here is something that we're going to be likely adding to the app. I mean, it seems to be working great. And again, it's got all those cool breakthroughs. So you can see some isolated lines though. Let's go, let's actually go back here. Um, let me just hit pause and I want to see right around 715. That's 715. What is happening here? Okay. So this is seven. Yeah. This is what I want to look at. There's, you can see, um, North of Chatham, there's actually some isolated cells there. So that's an interesting thing that we have to keep an eye on here. Um, so isolated cells in front of that giant line. Let's go back to, let me go back one frame here. If I don't get it to crash, maybe. let's see, 6.45. Yeah, so maybe as early as 6 o'clock-ish, 6.45, we might start to see some pop-ups in front of that big, grumpy line of storms. But I mean, look at that line. That's crazy. All right, it's going to be an interesting day. It's going to be a long one, folks. We might have to do multiple streams today because I think they cap us out at like eight hours. So... At the eight hour mark, we might have to re-go re live on Facebook. YouTube will let us go forever. Um, we're actually, oh, uh, side note, uh, hi to anybody watching on LinkedIn. This is the first time we've ever live stream on LinkedIn. So if you're on LinkedIn, check, go search for Instant Weather. You'll see us there, it's the first time. 
Um, so yeah, so that's pretty cool. LinkedIn finally opened it up so anybody can live stream. As long as you have um, 150 connections or followers, you can live stream on, on uh, LinkedIn now. So we're LinkedIn. All right, let's see here. Um, yeah, so that is your past and future radar on, uh, on an upcoming version uh, of the app here that we've been working on. And uh, it's nice that it goes out further. It goes all the way out to 8 p.m. here. Um, and so if you're already an existing subscriber, you'll have the future radar going out to 8 p.m. Um, and then I think we'll be able to maybe even give more to the free users would be cool because I think we only give like four intervals now. It'd be nice to give a, a few more. So anyways, but yeah, so uh, that's something. All right, let's go back to Raw Radar and see what is happening here to our Instant Weather Pro. Um, please come back, Ottawa Radar. Please, please come back. Environment Canada, if you're listening, please, please bribe somebody, make them turn on the Franktown radar, please. That would be fantastic. Appreciate that. Um, we might want to take a look at that lowering that uh, Gabe caught from Vaughn. So I'm wondering what he's seen. What time did he post that? At 2.08. Where is that storm? Maybe it's the storm. What storm is he looking at? I wonder if it's Scud, because there's not really a strong storm near him, because he said it was in Vaughn. Um, the velocity on that Uxbridge storm looks even stronger than it once was. Mm -hmm. What are we at? I was just looking at that. 82, 82 kilometers an hour just north of Uxbridge. Yeah, that's a pretty nasty little storm. <clears throat> so Port Lake was decided to the severe thunderstorm warning. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, so... Hmm. Hmm. Would be interesting with that cell. We're gonna have to watch that closely. What's going on here? Let's hope this is noise. Please be noise. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Those are some pretty strong values too. I wonder if they're noise. They're pretty disconnected. But that's that's the uh, Eudora storm uh, near Sunderland, heading up towards or in Cannington right now. Uh, heading. That's probably this is probably the cell that they're they're uh, alerting Kawartha Lakes for because it's actually looking yeah, pretty it's interesting. Yeah, it's the area. So we should be getting some uh, rain here in Barrie pretty soon, but those storms, thankfully, to the west do not look as strong as what we're seeing to the east. Uh, what's going on with that Aurelia cell? Is that just noise? I hope that's just noise. Um, Brennan, can you pull back up radar for one sec? Yeah. I know. Your image your image was all fuzzy there. I'm not sure why. I wonder if it would be better if you uploaded directly to StreamYard, but, um, but that's just not as convenient, so... Uh, but that is, let me turn off noise filtering because something's going on with this Aurelia cell. Interesting. Let me just bring this back up and see. Oh, do we have a new update? We do. So, yeah, that does not look anywhere as bad as the previous update looked. So, okay. But uh, what's going on with uh, Uxbridge? Yeah, still some pretty strong winds in there. 66, 70. It might have weakened marginally. Uh, the storm that's now northeast of Uxbridge. Again, these are moving quite quickly today. So as soon as we're talking about something, we're going to be talking about a different area pretty quick. Um, because they're kind of cooking today. They're moving. So it's going to be a lot of very quick tracking here. And what's going on here? Uh, the Bradford cell has an interesting shape to it. Hmm. That might be the one that Gabe was looking at. Might you think be? so? Is he going to be able to see that from Vaughn? From Vaughn? I don't know if he's That's in Vaughn. Pretty big distance. I thought he said, "Oh, he just tagged." He tagged he Tom's tagged. Staff and said Vaughn weather. Oh, so he might actually be north. But what? Where is he? Yeah, based on. <laughs> Let, me see. Let me look. I think his dot is on. Yeah, he's in Bradford. Oh, he is on that show. cell. Okay. Oh, you're right, right, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that he is, is it. Cell. Oh, okay. At 206, so he is on that cell, that hooking cell. It's got a lowering on it. Huh. That's interesting. Um, We should probably, let's see if we can bring his uh, his tweet up here. Give me just one second. I'll pull it up on the stream. Uh, I can probably get it here. Maybe. Okay, cool. Pretty, pretty please. Let's see here. 
Uh, thank you so much, Cody, for the super chat on YouTube. Sincerely appreciate it. It says, anything coming through North Bay over the next while? Um, yeah, that's a good question. I think you might have something later on this evening. There we go. But, oh, there it is right there. So you can see there's this really interesting, uh, really interesting lowering on that cell. It's interesting. It might just be scud, but it's got a, quite a shape to it. And that storm is rotating. Mm. Interesting. All right. Well, that's something to watch. This cell right here. So uh, Cody was asking about North Bay. Let me just double check here. Um, holy I don't think guy. North Bay is under anything right now. No. No, no, no. But he's, he's just asking for, for later on. I'm just going to go. Oh. I'm literally going to type North Bay into our app. <laughs> it's funny how I end up doing the exact same thing that you can just do when you're using our app. So I type in North Bay. Let's see here. Load up North Bay. Side note, if you ever get this thing where it's like spinning the wheel, the wheel of, of waiting, the waiting wheel while you're using our app, the, wheel the easiest eating. trick ever is, is swipe to a different location and then swipe back and it immediately loads every time. Oh, you can't see the, look, you can't see the green bar at the top because of my green screen. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see here. It says thunderstorms possible after 9 p.m. for North Bay. And if I go to the hourly product, uh, yeah, between nine and oof, between nine and uh, uh, Adam, one p one p.m. on Tuesday. Look yes, look at King on. Look at King near Kinmount. Near the Kinmount, velocity, something there. Huh? You mean Norland. that Norland part of that cell? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. The okay. Velocity yeah, that's there's something going on there too. Yeah, you can tell it's just a little bit of a there's kind of a notchy increase there. Yeah, for sure. Um, so for North Bay, sometime between 9 p.m. tonight and uh, 1 p.m. on Tuesday, you should have a risk for thunderstorms. The risk just continues for a long time, it seems. That's at least what the app's showing right now. So anyways, yeah, so it's possible you're going to see some storms tonight, I would think. Will they be severe? Hard to say. Oh, uh, Gabe said that that lowering's gone now from that storm, so... Okay. All right. Um, side note, uh, Atlanta was asking about uh, Discord. I have Discord in my ear. So if you have to tell us anything, uh, let me know. Oh, wait. I rebooted my computer. Maybe I destroyed my Discord connection. Let me just double check. Let me double check. Ah, I did. I did. I did. Okay. I will connect that again. All right. There we go. So let me just jump through the comments here. Lisa says, sorry I'm late to the party. This migraine's killing me. So sorry to hear, Lisa. Hope you feel better. Uh, migraines are brutal, especially with low pressure. I can appreciate that. That's awful. Um, Bobby says, thanks for all you guys do. You're very welcome, Bobby. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Let me just scroll down here. Uh, Diane says, anything for Barry? Um, we might get some rain shortly. I don't know if we're going to see anything stronger than what we've already seen. Um, but there may be some storms overnight, so we'll have to see how that does develop. But uh, Lizzie says the wheel of death. Yeah, if you see the spinning wheel of death, just swipe to another location, swipe back every time it fixes it. This is this one of those items on the never-ending list of items we need to tackle. It's on. It's in there somewhere. Let me see here. We'll get to it at some point in time. Sorry, just scrolling through your comments here. Getting dark in Aurelia, says Chrissy. Thank you very much for your comment. Appreciate that. Um, is anybody watching on LinkedIn? I have no idea. If Somebody jump over to our LinkedIn and, and watch the live stream there and let oh, me know if it's working at all. Well, not you. I don't, I'm saying like, you know, you're busy. Well. <laughs> or, or if you're not, that's fine. See if anyone's watching it. It's like at zero. Oh, wait, I think I can check here. Hold on, I have it right here. Okay, it says live stream. I, I, it doesn't say an, if there's anybody who's watching, so I don't know. Like, mm -hmm. I'm watching it. Oh, it says two. There's a two. It's probably you, Brennan. It's you and me. It says three. Someone else. That's right. Instant weather. <laughs> well, LinkedIn. now that hey, you're we're, promoting we're it, everyone's jumping on. Look at this. Jeff uh, Barclay says, hi, Adam. He's on LinkedIn, and I can get his comment through <laughs> StreamYard. Brilliant. Loving it. Awesome. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Uh, update on Ottawa, please. Getting strong gusts, rain, wind in Stittsville, says uh, 
Uh, Kaylee, uh, yeah, let me take a peek. Ottawa radar is down. So yeah, if only there was a radar just outside of Ottawa we could use. Oh, can you imagine an S band new Environment Canada radar that we could use that's right outside of Ottawa? That'd be fantastic. It's too bad that's not a, the case because there's no. Um, we have uh, the one in New York State. Oh, you know what we also do have we do have uh, Blaineville. We do have the Montreal radar, so we can kind of peek from that between that and the U.S. radar here. We can kind of see. Um, I can't really get a good look at that storm, but it looks like it's probably sub severe. If it was really severe, even from the radars that are further away, we'd be able to see something going on with it. But it doesn't. It looks pretty weak at this point in time. Um, but yeah, that. Oh, you're right. That uh, oh, these storms are really picking up. That storm you were talking about, Brendan. That's. Um, I should take a peek at it here. The one to the the Norland one. It's uh, looking interesting. It's kind of got a little hook on it now. The Kinmount one. Nothing mm. crazy velocity wise, yeah. but it's got the right sh it's got the right shape. A lot of there's a lot of the right shape today, but we haven't really seen super duper strong mesos. Um, oh, I was gonna pull I was gonna pull the uh, the miner off the uh, off the app here. Let me do that quickly. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull that one that was moving towards Oro off the app. And there's another one, uh, the Honeywood Creamore. I'm going to pull. Oh, that was minor severe. And then a lot of folks made fun of me for saying minor severe potential. So I'm probably going to use marginal instead because <laughs> everybody thought minor severe was like a an oxymoron. So It's like weak tornado. Yeah, it's like the term weak tornado. All tornadoes are not weak. So, uh, I mean, even the weakest of tornadoes can still knock down a tree. So what is weak, quote unquote? Um, and then there was the minor rotation heading up towards Uxbridge, which I don't think it has any strong rotation on it at this point in time. But there is pretty interesting signatures on it. And it's still got a tail on it. So I'm going to leave that one for now. For now. But we'll see getting some buzzes on my phone here or sorry on my watch hmm okay so uh, that is the current alert map Brennan, I don't know why Brennan but it's oh it just cleared up it was all fuzzy but now it cleared up so that is the uh, severe oh, thunderstorm yeah, warning yeah. that is uh, yeah that is uh, Port Perry Lindsay area um, those areas are under a severe thunderstorm warning at this point in time. And uh, as you can see in yellow, we have a severe thunderstorm watch, which uh, looks like there should be some pretty interesting storms heading out towards uh, Bancroft and then uh, Pember Petawawa later. And so we'll have to be closely watching that as uh, as things do develop. But that line on future radar, whoa, that line was pretty intense. So we'll have to see how that goes. Eek. Let me try to pull that up again, see if we have a new update on future radar, which we may. I think I'm going to keep using this experimental one because it goes further out and it's pretty cool. And it uses so much less data. I love that. Everybody wants things that use less data. <laughs> less data is good. You're going to put people to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Like, can you talk less about the less data and more about the storms? Oh, okay. I can't help it. <laughs> I like being. I think we need a whole live stream just you dedicated to geeking out over things. Yeah, I think that's not a bad idea. In fact, I am <laughs> scheduling it as we speak on LinkedIn, of all things. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just going to geek out about radar. Okay. Um, yeah, so lots of little isolated cells right now. Nothing is spectacularly strong. There, are, there is, again, a severe thunderstorm warning uh, for these storms moving through the Kortha Lakes area. But at this point in time, they're kind of hanging in the middle. They're not they're not weakening, but they're not getting super duper strong here. So we're just kind of waiting to see how these do develop. Um, hmm. It's really interesting. The we have a lot. We actually have noise canceling to get rid of all this, like the disco ball of radio frequency interference here. Speaking of me geeking out on radar, um, let me just turn on the noise canceling. <laughs> you just can't stop. Yeah. I can't stop. So if you see all these lines, I'm going to get rid of them. Watch this. Or at least to the for the most part. It's so much better when we turn on the noise canceling, though. Okay. 
Um, yeah, this is the main storm we're watching carefully, which is the Kawartha Lakes storm. But I'm still fairly concerned with, uh, with what we're going to be dealing with later uh, based on based on the future radar. It looks pretty interesting, so we'll have to watch that closely. We'll have to see what does happen here. Um, interesting. Okay, so um, mm -hmm. is Franktown up? <laughs> I can keep checking. I, I, I have a feeling. I'm telling you. I think this. Some, they're gonna pull some magic. Someone's gonna throw some duct tape on it, and just crank it on. We're gonna have radar at some point over there. We need radar in Eastern. That doesn't Australia. sound safe. Are, it doesn't. But I've heard that you know some of the next rad stations in the U.S. are literally held together by duct tape. Those, those are the exact. Those are the exact words that were used. This. Some of these radars are held together by duct tape. Probably the same you know, that happens. Actually, that's why. Well, that's why they. Uh, no, these are these are all new. I mean, the old ones were, yeah, but these are all new stations, right? These are all new radars. <laughs> so actually, supposedly, um, supposedly, Environment Canada tried to buy NextRad. They wanted to buy, you know, because it was so easy. We wouldn't have all this interference either if we had the NextRad station. So they tried to buy U.S. radars, and the, and U.S. said, "Don't buy these. They're held together by duct tape." Uh, you know. You shouldn't buy these. So they ended up uh, buying them from a uh, third party company. But yeah, I mean, at least the range is longer. Um, at least it's S band. At least we have dual pole. There's a lot of upsides to it, but uh, they have to be up for there to be upsides. So um, is some really strong wind signatures. I wonder if this is just noise. I'm assuming it is. All of a sudden, this jumps to 118 kilometers an hour and then 72, 78. So, but that's right in front of that hook. I mean, kind of like it's hard to call this a hook, but it's more like um, the extension of the storm to the south. Yeah, this this little ten inch coming down from the storm is something we're watching closely here, which is uh, northeast of Port Perry, just northeast of Port Perry, heading towards uh, heading towards uh, Aldred's Beach and uh, Valentia, Janetville, Hillhead Corners, Fear Mill. Yar mill, F E I R, here, here, I don't know, something mill, and Omimi. I can pronounce Omimi. That's right. Omimi. I probably actually pronounced it wrong. So I don't even know why I'm boasting about that. I'm definitely wrong. Um, you probably did. I probably did. I'm going to get destroyed in the comments. There's going to be so many phonetic spellings of Omimi. It's going to be like, oh man. Is it really a live stream? If we're ever going over pronunciations. <laughs> For going over how to pronounce. That has things. to be like yeah. a classic feature of our live streams. It is. Oh, I said it right. Danielle Davis says you said it right. You were correct. Oh, Mimi. But there's an extra Low E at class. the end. So I thought it was like, oh, me, me. You said it right. Haha, <laughs> it's right. Oh, Mimi is right. You said it right. Oh, Mimi, correct. Wow. I had a feeling I was going to get destroyed, but. This, we're starting off on a good leg here. That's right. Now, Give what else time. can I pronounce wrong? Let's see here. Give it time. I'll find something. We have to check in. We we're not even going to be able to look at radar for uh, Squirrel Depot over there. So there's that. <laughs> Jennifer says, you got Omimi right. And she's watching on LinkedIn. Hello, LinkedIn. We're also on Twitch. We're on YouTube. We're on four different Facebook uh, pages and uh groups so <sighs> we're everywhere andrew says will Where buses be we? canceled tomorrow brennan oh no well but i yeah, guess it's almost that time of the tomorrow. year it's almost like school starts school bus week. forecast time that's right yeah my little guy's going into grade one it's gonna be exciting exciting Brian says someone saw streaking near Uxbridge. Can you define what you mean by streaking? Like, not people running around naked, I'm assuming. I'm assuming like, do you mean like, do you mean something hanging from the storm? Do you mean contrails? Please clarify. He said someone you. saw someone streaking. Said, so I assume it's someone riding down the street without clothes on. Oh, he did say someone. So it was, I see, someone streaking near Uxbridge. Oh, interesting. Um, I, I missed the someone. So my bad. Uh, Mackenzie says snacks is update. He is 
since he's sleeping behind me somewhere. So I'll, I'll he probably heard me say his name and now he'll be coming over here soon. So Yeah, you need to feed him. Kathy's Kathy says try to pronounce Wedley. Budley? Is it Budley? It better be Budley. Because if it's like Wed Wedley or something, I'm gonna be upset. Um is it yeah. Let me know. Dave says, oh me, me. Um, wow, did somebody turn me into... Hold on a second here. Did she... <laughs> wait a minute. Is this my face? Is this... Hold on. Wait. How did she do this? The internet's amazing. Like, and like this? Is this... <laughs> is this literally me? Or is this somebody that looks like me? I don't know how she made me do an emoji. Look, it's B rocks. <laughs> there must be like a whole emoji keyboard just with pictures of you. Just, but I don't remember looking at that angle ever. Have I ever like done like the? Maybe I have. That's hilarious. It's really? someone else. <laughs> it kind, it's perfect though. It kind of <laughs> does look like me. <laughs> You're dope again, uh, yeah. I see. It's a, it's a generic Twitch emoji. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Melissa says LMAO. <laughs> All right. Uh, everybody's asking about Ottawa. So there is a storm in Ottawa right now. Um, we don't have radar in Ottawa because it's down, which is brutal. But uh, there's a storm in Ottawa. There, But it looks like, I mean, if it was really strong, it'd be picked up from the other stations. This just looks like rain and wind. Um, maybe there's some lightning, but nothing. Uh, <laughs> Lindsay and our team says, nobody tell them it's a Twitch default emote. Uh, I felt so special Probably there. Probably bad news during week three months, Twitch. You don't even know the platform. Well, I I watch Twitch here and there, and I've I've streamed video games on Twitch before. It's pretty fun. I've streamed yeah, some quite know the emoji. Today, but I didn't know that emoji. No, no, I don't know every emoji just by being on the platform. Okay, um, there's actually a storm. There's some little pop-up storms that are going through uh, Vaughn area right now, going through the GTA, but nothing looks too intense. So we wait. We wait for what about more. About that update. Norland storm. As a velocity, like, the there's storm? something there. The velocity. Something going on, Mount. Mm -hmm. Down. For the oh, the Norland. Oh, this one. Yeah. Okay, I see. I see. Some going on. I think it's merging. It's gonna merge. Perhaps. Perhaps. Yeah, there, I know what you mean though. There is something going on there. There's a little there's a little something something. Something something. Um what else is happening here? Lots of rain. And still watching this little tiny little hook, noisy little hook. I wonder if we use K buff if we can get a better visual on this one. No, of course we can't. What's going on in that Aurelia cell? Going over Lake Simcoe right now. Interesting. All right. Well, we sit and wait, but again, future radar. Future radar for Southwestern Ontario looked pretty wild. Pretty wild indeed. Um, we've got you got those storms. I mean, basically, what's building that's going to move into southwestern Ontario is now building over Lake Michigan. That will continue to strengthen and then head towards our area. So that's going to be interesting to watch what happens here. Um, am I? Oh, I'm fine. I finally am on our Discord, and but I'm not in there. I'm finally in meeting voice. Sorry, team. My bad. I just finally got in there. Just now. <laughs> So, I'm sure someone's going to chirp me. Um, I'm here with the yeah. chirping. So far, no chirping. It's nice. They're being nice. Oh, uh, Mina says, Taco Watch. I don't think there is a Taco Watch right now. That's my call. My taco Watch. Oh, wait. Where's the. Uh, I prefer you... this. There we go. You prefer the Poutine Watch? Well, we're yeah, Canadian, so of good. course. Yeah, well, we still love tacos. I had tacos quite recently, and they were delectable. But uh, yeah, poutine is a little more classically Canadian here, so 
get ready to act. If there's a watch, you want to get ready to act. And if there's a warning, that's when you want to, uh, that's when you want to take shelter. So. Um, let me see here. Oh, uh, Ryan's clarifying that the, the right side here. So when I swipe over, we're looking at velocity. So we're looking at the wind data. And when I swipe to the right, we're looking at reflectivity, which is like heavy rain. Uh, reflectivity is precipitation. And then this is wind. So uh, is this noise? Hold on. So we want to compare them to each other. We want to see what the winds are like underneath individual storms. So we can tell if they're rotating or if they have damaging wind potential. So that's why I'm always swiping back and forth between the two. Um, also, there is no software, I think, in the world where you can swipe back and forth between the two. But we've built it. Hooray. So uh, thank you for your patience. And we will be launching uh, Instant Weather Pro soonish. Very soonish. Uh, we'll, the beta test will start, and then, again, we, we plan to refine it, tweak it, uh, make it as good as possible, and then launch it. Uh, the official launch for it will be spring of 2023, but, again, this fall, we're going to be doing uh, we're going to be doing a larger beta test. We have an alpha test right now. Uh, you may have seen uh, different folks in the weather industry post uh, photos of it, um, but right now, it is not available just yet. Just yet. Michelin says, someone likes to swipe. Yes, it's like the... <laughs> it's the Tinder of, of radar. Let's see here. <laughs> you swipe. If you don't like the storm, you swipe left. And then you can see if it's rotating. And then you can swipe right. Anyways, I, this joke is terrible. Okay. Um, why do I keep getting yeah, buzzes on my wrist? I know. It's when we're not even what we're only 58 minutes in and I'm already making horrible jokes. Okay. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Oh, did anybody? We I was so excited. SLS was going to launch to the moon today, if anybody knew that. So NASA has been building this extremely, uh, extremely expensive rocket that doesn't even it's not even reusable. I don't even know why they're doing this. I guess they're just doing this because they they they're anyways, they're they're doing it, which is exciting. So they, they're going to go to the moon. Sweet. Um, I'm just saying extremely expensive compared to SpaceX. SpaceX is going to do it for like a few hundred million and NASA's like $10 billion to do the same thing, but not reusable. Um, but anyways, but they were supposed to launch today. We were so excited about it. My, my five-year-old and I were watching, we were stoked, but then it, it was called a scrub. Something was wrong with one of the engines. So, um, <laughs> TVM TTV says a few hundred million and then did the mode the same emoji I mean a few I'm not even a few hundred million I think it's like a hundred million I don't know so it, go look into the pricing comparisons between SLS and Starship it's like night and day and the fact that Starship can be reused it's like you know it's like using an airplane so you're not going to throw away an airplane after every flight so the fact that it can be reused is pretty cool but anyways um, but yeah so uh it's going to be pretty interesting for sure. Uh, but yeah, but it, so basically what SLS was doing is they're going to fly around the moon. They're not even going to land on the moon. They're just going to go around the moon. It's completely an automated test. They're just going to go around the moon. So that's it would take three days to get there. So they'd launch today and then in like two days, three days, you'd be able to see, you know, it go around the moon, which is pretty sweet. And that was just going to be an initial test before they take another SLS and bring it to uh, and actually land on the moon for the first time since what? I don't know the 60s 70s i forget the the last time they landed on the moon it's early 70s i believe but uh um cameron says two billion dollar two billion dollar for sls Eek. anyways so uh let's see here um s-t-e-m-o-r steamor on youtube says there is a tornado not at the moment i don't think so i mean i've been wrong in the past but um, I don't think so at the moment. There's some pretty interesting storms. Um, <laughs> Brennan, yeah, I know. I can't help myself. <laughs> well, we're waiting for radar right now. So there's what else am I supposed to do? We're just waiting. We're waiting. So I'm talking. You need Alana to, to that join that us and keep you in check. I know. She'll keep me in check for sure. She'll just talk about weather things, which is occasionally we talk about weather on this weather stream. Occasionally. Um, Occasionally, it's like uh, Jeff Goldblum. Is there going to be any dinosaurs on this dinosaur tour at any point? Um, 
Hey, did you? Has anybody seen the new one? Did you watch the new Jurassic Park? The final, final <laughs> Jurassic Park. It was pretty sweet. I just can't. Those raptor chase scenes. I just can't. I'm gonna keep talking about everything but weather. Um, yeah, it was pretty sweet. Your brain is just like a bunch of squirrels inside. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Do you want me to check on Squirrel Depot? Is that what you're getting at here? I'll check on it. I will. (laughs) Squirrel Depot. Oh, I think I know where Squirrel Depot is right now. It's, uh, I think it's west of Petawawa, I think. (laughs) Lindsay posted a cute photo of her cat watching radar. It's awesome. Um, let's see here. Interesting. Okay, so. All right. I think we can take a peek at the latest future radar, and I'll use the uh, new experimental future radar that we've been working on (laughs) quietly in the background. Let me see here. Yes, yes, I will. Okay, I'm going to flip to that right now. Let's go take a look at it. I know some folks were asking. They said, can we look at Future Radar again? Um, So those storms are eventually going to head through Pembroke, Petawawa. And then as you can see, that big cluster comes in from the west. And that is about 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock. It's going to be a lot of areas are going to see some precip if that does verify. Wow. And this goes out to 8.45 p.m. now, so... So we get 45 minutes uh, further into the future radar spectrum here that we're watching. So, da, 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 da. okay, I'm just scrolling here, scrolling, scrolling, a lot of space talk. Jennifer says, Squirrels Depot. That's right. Squirrel Depot, our favorite place. We're all going to move to Squirrel Depot in Eastern Ontario. Population of squirrels this is all that lives there, I think. Let's see here. Yeah, someone's asking about Ottawa again. Yeah, so Ottawa radar is down, which is kind of annoying. Um, so there's that. But uh, we have other radars to watch in the area. Um, currently, the storm that's going through Ottawa looks like it's sub-severe. Looks like it's just rain and maybe there's some lightning in there. Has anybody seen any lightning in Ottawa? I don't think so. I don't think so. It looks like it's just rain and maybe some gusty winds. Uh, maybe a little bit of lightning in there. Maybe, maybe. It's starting to increase in strength a little bit. I don't see any lightning, though. I'm not seeing any registered lightning from that storm. No. But yeah, a lot of folks asking about it. So we'll see. But yeah, so there's that line of storms coming in. So we'll have to see how that does develop. Uh, Let's go back to... Go back to... Raw Radar. Interesting. So uh, let's jump back to the forecast here. I'm going to bring up uh, Brandon's forecast map. As you can see, it's very colorful. Very colorful map. Um, it. Uh, one second here. Sorry, I just gotta just gotta mention something. Um, here. And cool. So, um, okay, so here is the forecast map. As you can see, uh, if you're in the orange areas, that is, uh, we put it at severe risk. Not saying that yellow will not be severe, um, but yellow is more of isolated severe. So what we mean by that is uh, not everybody in the yellow area is going to see severe weather. Having said that, not everybody in the orange area is going to see severe weather. However, the probability is higher. So if you're in the yellow area, you have a chance of severe, but severe weather is going to be very isolated. So you might see a storm, you might not. Um, Usually when we say isolated, we mean the majority of folks that are in the yellow area are not going to see a severe thunderstorm. Um, And then in orange, probably still the majority of folks will not see a severe thunderstorm, but it's less of a majority. So, you know, there will certainly be some severe thunderstorms uh, in those areas. But again, it's not guaranteed. Like Barry is highlighted right now. And based on what we're seeing, Barry may have actually missed the worst of it. And the stronger storms are going to continue to move to the northeast, out towards Bancroft, out towards Petawawa, Pembroke. And therefore, uh, even though Barry is in orange, 
Barry might, you know, I think we got a little bit of rain, but it's like pretty sunshiny out there right now. So, um, but again, there's going to be more storms moving in overnight. So we'll have to see how that does develop. And as you can see, uh, over by Grand Bend and Goderich, King Carden, Sarnia, uh, London, Windsor, Leamington, Chatham, Kent, uh, Owen Sound and Tobermory, those areas are going to see potentially this big line of storms that's going to move in overnight. Models were suggesting the line of storms would not move in until like eight ish, nine ish, 10 ish. But uh, the latest feature radar is trying to put them in a little bit earlier. And the earlier that that line shows up in southwestern Ontario, the better chance uh, those areas are going to have of severe weather because they'll still be dealing with daytime heating uh, and that type of thing. Yeah, and models are also showing them coming earlier. Like the her was like, has a cell going into the Sarnia area at like 8 o'clock, I believe. At zero zero. Yeah. Zero zero Z. I got in trouble. I, somebody sent me an email and I and uh, uh, was upset that I keep saying zero zero Z. So when we're when we're talking about uh, Zulu time, which is Universal Time UTC time, um, it's referred. It's a five hour displacement from where we are. I'm geeking out again. But anyways, uh, when we talk about, so I often refer to model runs as the zero zero Z or the twelve Z. But actually, they're, they're right. I, see, I grew up on Sesame Street, which is which taught me Z, but I should have been learning Z. So these things happen. It's okay. I like Z because it rhymes with everything else. A, B, C, D, Z. It rhymes with everything else in the alphabet. But if you just like say the entire alphabet and then you go Z at the end, it's a little jarring. But anyways, that's how it is. It's fine. Let's go with Z. Um... I want to take a peek, actually, uh, at that storm you were mentioning before, Brennan, because it's kind of picking it up a little bit. By the way, my dog is barking like crazy. Can you hear it? I can't hear it. Noise. You can't hear it? Noise canceling is the best. If anybody <laughs> has an NVIDIA video card, get NVIDIA broadcast. And then every time you have like a Zoom call, there's just no matter what's happening in the background, it's like, Construction, fan noise, dogs barking. It cuts it all out. It's the greatest thing of all time. Okay. We gotta get and then we gotta get an NVIDIA card for Brennan. <laughs> to cut out his all the you noise. Love hearing my keyboard I think, I'm pretty sure I don't. But you uh, sound like you're being productive. Oh yes. Brennan's being productive because you can hear him clicking and typing. So you can tell he's being productive. It's proof of productivity. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, just looking through, uh, ZR1 says, I wonder if it works with my old 1060. It worked with my 980, so I think so. Not NVIDIA Broadcast, but they have a version of it that works with um, the 900 series and uh, 10 hundred, 1,000 series cards, so yeah. Um, Kristen says, LMAO at your alphabet debacle. <laughs> Uh, I'm with you, Adam. Says Kristen. The debacle. The debacle. The D E B A C L E. Debacle. Debacle. Oh, I'm Did I pronounce saying, that wrong? I don't know if it just says qualified I, for a debacle. I, well, that's not really a debacle. I agree. Z for the win. Bob says it's U T C Z rhymes with C. It's the right one. And also, too, you know, like you know, we've obviously we follow a lot of forecasters in the U.S. and they're always saying you know, like. Zero, zero, Z. Uh, Brennan, I've seen some rotation there, but Bob Cajun, I'm seeing a little couple. Yeah, we got a picture from and on there. What? Somebody put a picture from, whoa. Yeah. And that's from Bob, Bob Cajun. Cajun. And look at this. You can see it right here. Look at this. This is a little couplet. If you pull up radar quickly, you can see it. I'm going to post a uh, minor on that Ooh. one. Which way is it going? There you go. You can see it right there. You can see that. This is a little couplet right here. So I don't even think it's a severe thunderstorm warning. Let's see which way it's going. Because that's the north part. Oh, is it a bookend? This is a bookend. This is bookend vor Ooh. vortexing here. I that's, that's like a <laughs> verb. Okay. Um no. bookend vortexing. <laughs> I've never said that in my life. Okay. I'm gonna uh I'm gonna do this live on the stream. Let's do it together. 
I'm going to pull up the radar and I am going to notify the folks that are in Bob Cajun area about the storm. And we're going to do this all together as a happy family here. So that's, uh, are we happy? That's debatable, but uh, it's maybe a debacle. But I'm going to, uh, yeah, this is a little bit of a bookend going on here. So I'm going to do one of these and do one of these because this is moving fast. Whoa. There's that blue mountain. Uh, VTC that blue in that mountain? area, the violent tornado parameter is at free. Yeah. Really? Right here? Yeah. Eek. That's not good. Right there. And there's a bookend vortex heading that way. And she's going northeast. So, and it's going fast. So I'm going to go big polygon here. Big, 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 big polygon. Sometimes a big polygon is a good idea. Okay. Uh, one sec. I can't see it yet. I'm just going to pull this up first. Wait, did you already did you put that on the stream? Uh, I see. Whoa, it stream. is a three. Whoa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see it. I see it. Okay, we'll flip back here, and I'm gonna just do the update for uh, folks. Minor rotation detected. Clickety clickety. Uh, near and Kana. I'm just gonna say storm moving northeast towards Bob Cajun. Tracking uh, northeast towards Bob Cajun. Good enough. Everybody gets that. Okay. And this is at 254. And there it is. Clickety, clickety. Uh, it looks like I'm done. And sending. Excellent. Okay. So uh, let me go back to radar here so you can see what we're talking about. That's not the right one. There it is. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we do have a little bit of a couplet on this particular heading towards the Bob Cajun area. And as Brennan pointed out, the violent tornado parameter, which is kind of a a real-time mesoanalysis of the environment is saying that the potential for tornadic development in that area continues to increase. And now it's at a three, which is actually pretty, it's not low. It is not low. Three is anything above a one has some interesting potential and it's at a three. So I might have a little bit of a bookend developing here on that cell. I wonder what it looks like from K buff. Looks like from Buffalo. From Buffalo squat. We don't really get probably have a better look at it from Brit, maybe. Ooh. Okay. From Brit, we do see some really broad soft rotation. So that's interesting. And what's going on up here in Minden? Hmm. Hmm. What's going on in Halliburton? What is this cell doing? Is this another is this another Boeing bookend? Uh, Brennan, help me, help me. Brennan. I don't know. Look at that. <laughs> I think so. I mean, look at this. Could be. Yeah, that might require a miner as well here. Actually, look at the shape of this. This is right near Minden, heading towards Halliburton, um, eventually towards Maynooth and Bancroft. Uh, that is problematic. So I think I'm also going to go minor on that cell here. I think that would make sense. That seems like a good idea. Cole says tilt two is bad. Eek. Uh, on which cell, Cole? On Bob Cajun or on the on the? Why don't I just look? I just click one button and I can get to tilt two. Oh, okay. Yeah, tilt two is interesting too. Hmm. And I wonder if he's talking about the Bob Cajun cell here. Yeah, it's certainly certainly a couplet there. And what's to the north? Interesting. Interesting. But that is, I guess this is equally as far. Yeah, that's equally as far. Back down to tilt one here. Hmm. Brennan, you sound muted, but you're... StreamYard is not muted. Do you have a mute button on your mic? Because I muted my mic, yeah. So I'm typing ah, a post right okay. now, so I'm kind of... Ah, that's fancy of you. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's still looking quite interesting, heading towards Bob Cajun. And that photo was quite interesting as well, too. So, All right, we wait for the next update, and I think I might go minor for Halliburton area. I, I'm going to take a look at a mezzo analysis first um what's supercell there supercell is an eight vtp is a three 
Dang. Actually, the VTP3 is on top of the Minden cell, on the Halliburton cell. So I think I'm going to go minor on that one. I think so. Let's do this all together again. One big happy family here. Let's see. I'm actually going to duplicate this. And one second. Give me just a moment. I will track this down. Okay, there we go. Um, let's do it together. There we go. Okay. So let's draw a polygon around this one because this kind of looks like it's doing a little bookend dance. And because they're moving so fast, I'm doing giant polygons today. Squirrel Depot. Did you see this? I don't know if I should mention Squirrel Depot in it this early. No. Don't want to upset the squirrels. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but it, that cell will be heading out towards Petawawa Pembroke at some point in time. But we can, oh, we won't be able to keep an eye on it because there's no radar out there. That's it. I'm going uber giant, super duper polygon on this one because once this leaves our radar coverage range, we are completely in the dark of what, uh, of what we're dealing with here. So I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way out to Pembroke Petawawa. So there's a big bad storm heading your way. It's, I'm just going to go minor for now. Minor uh, rotation detected. But uh, on the storm near, the storm moving northeast towards Halliburton. Uh, and it is 2.59. There we go. And that looks good. Clickety, clickety, clackety, clack. And send all the way out to Petawawa, Pembroke, and parts of... Um, and parts of uh, Quebec, actually. So I sent a notification all the way out there to let them know that there are some there are some storms that have minor rotation that are heading their way. Um, we'll see what it does. But as it continues to leave the range of radar, it is brutal because we can't see anything because we have no radar out there. Uh, Jennifer says well, we Bob Page has radar. a black just doesn't system. work. Yeah, I'm, we do have we do have Montreal, <laughs> so that'll help. And we do have New York, so we've got a couple radars out there. But um, report of Bob Cage and skies are black, torrential downpour, and loud thunder. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Stay safe. Uh, Linda says uh, she got the uh, notification. Thank you so much, Linda. Appreciate that. Um, Samantha says, how long till that storm hits Pembroke Petawawa? They're moving quick. It's still going to be a while. That was, that's a, I did a huge polygon heading out to that area. So it's still going to be a while till it gets there, but based on future radar, it's heading that way. And, uh, and it could be a problem and the environment is really strong. So, so there's that, um, Virginia says, what about an Ottawa? Um, not sure if Ottawa is going to see a storm from this line. You might see something later on this evening. Future Radar did show something in Ottawa later. Teresa said she got that notification in Nova Scotia. Let's see here. That's cool. Where did her comment go? I was going to put it up here. Oh, Teresa says, love that I got the notification in Nova Scotia as I'm on vacation. Cool. That sounds nice. Linda says, uh, usually dies down before him, but this time we'll wait have to, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, Pembroke Petawawa, definitely fair share of intense storms at times, for sure. For sure. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if that hits Pembroke, Pembroke Petawawa and it's pretty intense as it gets there. So we'll see. Uh, based on this environment, it's going to be interesting. So. Uh, Bill says, what radar is down? Franktown is down. Is down. And Franktown is just south of Ottawa, which is not helpful that that's down. Uh, Barbara has a really interesting question. I would love an answer to this question, if possible. 30 years ago, I lived in the United States. When there was a tornado warning, it meant there was a confirmed tornado headed your way. Air raid sirens sounded and the radio and television warned you of the projected tra trajectory and speed of the storm. 
Why 30 years later in Canada do we still not have this sort of forecasting here? Um, that's a good question. So uh, to clarify, there are many tiers of tornado warnings in the U.S., Sometimes they're radar indicated, and that does not mean that it's confirmed. So, uh, yeah, so you have the lowest one is radar indicated, which means there's rotation on radar, and it may be producing a tornado. So there are times in the U.S. where there's a tornado warning, but they don't have a confirmation that it's on the ground, but they still send out a tornado warning because the rotation looks strong on radar. Then you have confirmed. Then you have, uh, so they have confirmed, and then the next one up is um, I think they go from confirmed to to damaging, and then I believe I may be slightly wrong on this. And then they go to PDS, which is particularly dangerous situation. So if you have a violent tornado confirmed on the ground heading into a populated area, then they go to a PDS, a particularly dangerous situation tornado warning, and that is you know the highest, highest, absolute. It's, actually, at that point in time, I believe they refer to it as a tornado emergency as opposed to just a tornado warning. So. It'd be really nice if we had levels and tiers here in Canada as well, too. Um, right now, we still have county-based alerts. But thankfully, Environment Canada is starting to do locations impacted include. So when you're reading the details of the warning, um, especially on our app, Instant Weather, we we post all those details immediately. We don't wait for the you know one to five minutes for the French translation. We just get you all the English details instantly, um, which we think is really critical, really important. And those English details could be you know, storm spotter has spotted a tornado on the ground. You know, you want to know that when you see uh, a tornado warning. So, and the locations impacted include is really important because it'll tell you, even if you have the giant, you know, the giant polygon where, you know, when Barry had the tornado on uh, July 15th, 2021, the EF2 tornado, uh, Collingwood was under a tornado warning. So if you, I could just imagine, and I hope, I mean, just people in Collingwood getting in their basement for literally zero reason there's no reason at all there's no storm heading their way they're going in the basement it's like probably like blue skies they're like wondering what the heck's going on so that's why uh if you read the details of that warning you know of course tornado warning get to a safe place then read the details and look at it because if a tornado warning is issued the thing could be like right on top of you you don't know how far away it is you're not sure so tornado warning take shelter read the details if the details say um you know locations impact include Barry. Innisfil, Stroud, and you're in Collingwood, probably okay. I'm just going to go ahead and say you're fine. So that's why it's really important to read the locations impacted include statement, which is really cool that they're doing that now um, in Canada. And um, yeah, and uh, so that's that's a big improvement. And I uh, had a meeting with uh, a couple of members of Environment Canada's uh, development team, and uh, we were discussing that they're actually working on uh, storm-based warnings. So instead of the tornado warning being Collingwood to bury this massive county-based warning, um, it will literally be wherever they draw that polygon. They'll be the same way that we draw a polygon, they'll be able to do that. And that will be the only tornado warning. It won't be the giant area. It will only be that tiny little box around the storm and the projected path. So once they do that, that is going to be a massive, massive improvement. Um, and I think, you know, more so the fact that it's just going to be more accurate, I think it will hopefully help, uh, you know, inspire the forecasters to be more proactive with with the tornado warning. Because, you know, if if you have to alert an entire county, you're like, OK, this better be strong rotation before I alert the entire county, because, you know, if we're going to tell everybody that there's a we want to make sure that something's actually happening. So I think there'll be a lot more cases where there's stuff like minor rotation, like we post about. Um, where a tornado warning gets issued because they only have to draw a tiny little box. It could be like one tiny little town gets that tornado warning. Nobody else gets it just because they're seeing some rotation heading towards that town. So I have a feeling it will inspire Environment Canada forecasters to be uh, even more proactive with tornado warnings, which would be fantastic. And uh, yeah, and uh, I think it's going to be great. So storm-based warnings, super, super excited about that. And I'm pretty sure... Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, those at Environment Canada are super excited about it too. And so that's coming down the line. It's not there yet, but it's coming. So uh, we're stoked about that for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark Hamilton says, when we got the tornado last year in Barrie, a police car drove down our street telling us to take shelter in our basement five minutes after we got the tornado. Yeah, so that was an interesting circumstance where the tornado warning came out just as the tornado was leaving. We had a survey 
Um, and we posted the results for it as well, too. So if you search, I think if you Google Barry Tornado Survey, you'll find our article. Um, we actually uh, targeted a survey only to the community members in Barry that we have in our community. And like 1,500, 1,470 people or something filled out the survey. And of that, a huge majority of that, or a, a pretty substantial majority of that, actually was impacted by the tornado specifically. And I think only... A, few, a handful of people or even less got the tornado warning before that tornado hit. So um, in that case, obviously that police officer got the tornado warning, maybe maybe got the tornado warning after the tornado already hit and thought, oh no, there's another one coming possibly. That, that may have been the case. I'm just speculating. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, these things, uh, these things, they do happen. So um, uh, we were super grateful that we were able to post um, about the rotation heading into Barry well before the tornado actually hit. So, uh, you know, thankfully our community members here, those who are using a free app, those who are using our text message alerts, and those who are uh, using our social media pages, um, all found out about that rotation heading towards Barry, you know, well before the tornado hit. So uh, hopefully, uh, and thankfully, no, there was no fatalities. It's, you know, that's a, a big upside for sure. And it was a pretty intense event. You know, I think 70 homes were uninhabitable after that. So. That was intense, for sure. But anyways, thankfully nobody nobody uh, died. So it's always an upside. Let's see here. Um, just trying to refresh the latest radar to see what's happening. Um, still some weak minor rotation, kind of in that Halberton area. It's getting further and further away from radar though, so we're getting less and less of eyes on it. We will not know what that storm is doing pretty soon. Um, Jason says severe watch ended for Barry. Does that mean no severe storms for the rest of the day? Pretty much. Uh, I think, I mean, other than that line that's coming through this evening, but by the time it, that line this evening hits Barry, it'll probably be sub severe. I think so. Um, reading through the comments here uh, cd come, comes through and says 1470 survey responses 106 reports of damage in barry and 21 of those experienced significant damage of the 106 with damage two received the tornado warning before it hit uh 24 received the tornado warning while the tornado was already occurring so while the tornado is like tearing off the roof bzz, they got a tornado warning um, and then 80 received the tornado warning after it had passed. 75% of our community members received the tornado warning after the tornado had already passed. So basically, just as it was at the tail end of its damage, you know, like Prince William Way and, and Barry, kind of like the very, very, uh, one of the last communities before it becomes kind of farm fields uh, out that way, if, you, if you've ever driven down, you know, Maple View towards the water. Uh, yeah, so kind of one of those last core Barry communities before it kind of becomes, I guess at that point it becomes Innisfil, I think, or is it Stroud? Anyways, I don't know, somewhere in there, but you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, they, uh, just as that last line of damage was happening, that's when the tornado warning came out. So, which is unfortunate. Uh, but again, thankfully everybody, uh, everybody was, uh, everybody lived. So that's, that's great. Uh, the Mondu family, I pronounced that wrong. Sorry. I have a question, Adam. My question is example, if it says 50% chance of rain, what does that exactly mean? So there's been this viral thing going around where I don't know why some forecaster in the States said, if it's a 50% chance of rain, then that means that 50% of those in your neighborhood will experience rain. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know where the mindset is going here. It doesn't make any sense to me at all because 50% chance means there's a 50% chance you're going to see a thunderstorm. There's a 50% chance nobody in your area is going to see a thunderstorm. Like if the thunderstorm doesn't show up, that doesn't mean like 50% of your neighbors had rain. It means there was no storm. So I, at least for our app, I mean, I can't speak for every app, but for our specific app, 50% um, chance of precipitation means flip a coin. You may or may not get a storm. It's 50-50. I mean, 50 is the worst because it's like, great. What does that even mean? But like, if it's like 30%, if it's a 30%, we should probably put the percentage of you're not getting something. So when it's like, instead of saying 30% chance of a thunderstorm, we should say 70% chance of Zippo. I think we'll go with that. Uh, 
Alex says, for me, the heads up was when I saw the rotation detected in Angus tracking over side row 25th towards Mapleview. I'm like, all right, everyone in the basement. Good call, Alex. Thank you so much. Now, was that was that 2021 or is that when the EF2 tornado hit Angus and then hit Barry in 2014, which was what, June 17th, 2014 was the EF2 that hit. It just hit a Mapleview and Essa in the south end of Barry. That's it actually did EF2 damage. I think it threw uh, some shipping containers or something like that. Shipping containers are not light for a, for a tornado to throw shipping containers. That's pretty intense. So um, I believe. Yeah, let me know which one, if it was that one or the other one. Let's see here. Amanda Gates posted an article from uh, Kortha now about a farmhouse that collapsed. Collapsed. So uh, her and her son were in the basement with dog having puppies. Oh my goodness, that's intense. Um, thank you, Amanda, for sharing that. Yeah, that day. I mean, we talk about the Barry tornado from from July fifteenth, twenty twenty one. But that day had, I think it was like six or seven EF2 tornadoes that touched down. If you go back, if you go to that um, Barry survey article, go back and watch the live stream. We were so busy. There was like rotation here, rotation there, report here, report there. It was crazy. That was one of the craziest live streams. It was intense. Um, Jacqueline, or oh, sorry, Jack, how am I going to pronounce this? J-A-C-Y-N-T-H-E. Jackinth? Jackinth? I, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce anything. Jack said, if Mezzo is now at a four for VTP Eastern Ontario, when should we be concerned? Um, the environment being strong is one thing. The right storm moving into that right environment and producing a really strong rotation, that's when you should be concerned. But uh, yeah, certainly, you know, that's really strong. A VTP of four is intense. Um, Andrew says, 72 houses destroyed, Adam. I think I said 70, but 72, that makes sense. Oh, I'm Jacinth. Oh, Jacinth? Jacinth. Jacinth or Jacinth? Oh, it's French? I can't pronounce anything. I'm sorry. Um, Karen says, what is VTP, please? Uh, VTP is the violent tornado parameter. So it's basically, it's a mix of ingredients, a mix of parameters that, uh, that uh, lets you know um, what, how strong the environment is. Brennan, did you, you had something to say? It's actually on four right now. Yeah, that's that's what that's what uh, she just said. Oh, um, like she's, four. Uh, it's okay. Yacinth, Yacinth in French. Yacinth. I hope I'm saying it right. I'm probably saying it wrong. I'm sorry. Yacinth. Wow, the VTP is a four. That's not good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back to radar here and start poking around. Oh, if we only we had radar in eastern Ontario. <laughs> it is a no. Oh, well. Keep watching. Not getting much out of New York. Not getting much out of Montreal. If beads of sweat start pouring from my head, it's because it's 29 Celsius in here. I had this whole plan to get like a window. I was going to get one of those window air conditioners. And then, you know, those plans get put on the back burner, which is kind of ironic because I'm literally melting right now. Okay. Um, it's a hot one today. Holy. I got to get one of those little air conditioners. Yeah. Still Frank Town's down. Maybe one day. One day it'll come back. Okay, so we have this really long distance view of the storm heading towards Bancroft from a huge distance. Um, Bancroft always seems to get hit by s strong storms. I, there's a gentleman in Bancroft who always messages me and tells me, basically after every storm goes past, he's like, yeah, we got trees down here and trees down there. I mean, there's a lot of trees there to go down. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, objects that have the potential to show damage. It's just fields. You don't really have that. But in that particular case, you do have quite a bit of uh, tree cover. Actually, I don't know if anybody's been to Bancroft, but for the folks that live there, of course you have. But, you know, uh, I got to drive out. I had an option of, I had to drive out to Ottawa. And instead of, instead of taking seven, I like did this weird, this weird like Halliburton to Bancroft 
it's just all giant hills. It was a beautiful drive. That's gorgeous out there. All like foothills out there. It's really nice. Um, still seeing a little bit of rotation kind of near the Halliburton area. Eagle Lake ish. Hard to tell. It's quite a it's quite a distance from radar now. And again, it's only going to get further and further. We might have a we might have a little bit of something. Can we see Petawawa? No. Petawawa is going to be in the dark for this one, unless magically. And I said I had this magic feeling, which may or may not come true, that Environment Canada is going to crank on Franktown at the the last second. You don't think this is going to happen? No. All right, Brennan's Brennan's putting his money on no. On Franktown's going to be down all day, and uh, I'm I'm putting my money on yes. We'll see. Side note, maybe we should. So many people are like. When we're talking about forecasts, we're like, wouldn't put any money on that forecast. And I'm like, hmm, what should we start a weather gambling website? <laughs> Actually, we would just lose money in perpetuity because everyone would just say the storm's not going to hit me, and then it wouldn't. So it's and yeah. So I thought it's probably not as not good as idea. like you know, it's probably not a good idea. It's not as good as like blackjack. I think there what was if, what if there was a website in the U.S. that um what, tried to what, do like weather, weather gambling, gambling in it. And it went bankrupt. Failed, failed miserably. Yeah, exactly. No, that you'd have mm -hmm. to. The odds would have to be crazy. It would have to be like one in a thousand. To, you'd have to make the odds super, super crazy. Because the well, overall, it's kind of hard to figure odds, out the odds of certain things. Well, that's right. That's right. Oh, you. It, I think it would make more sense if it was like, will there be severe weather today in this big area? Right. And then it's like 5% risk, 10% risk, 25% risk. I think that would make more sense because if you try to do it specifically, like, will your house have a storm hit your house? Like the odds, the <laughs> odds are already low to begin with. So, yeah, I don't think it's, and of course, like you say, they went out of business. That makes sense. So, weathergambling.org. I don't know why, why it would be open. Oh, it would be org. Um, so, How's everyone doing? Let me just uh, scroll through the comments here while we brainstorm a weather gambling site. Um, Jennifer says, Kawartha, up, Kawartha Lakes update, please. Uh, I will check, Jennifer. Give me just one second here. Uh, Doty says, no radar for Eastern Ontario. I mean, we have a radar in New York State. We have the edge of the Brit radar. We have the edge of the Montreal radar. And those three mixed together give us some idea of what's going on. But we don't have the Franktown radar up, and that is the radar we need. <laughs> um, Matt says, how do I check the violent tornado parameter for myself? Just go to, uh, just Google uh, mesoanalysis, SPC mesoanalysis, and then go through the different uh, composite parameters, and you'll find VTP in there somewhere. There's supercell, there's tornado, and then you'll find VTP. We should, I, we have to do, Brandon, we got to do like a whole series on like, how to interpret models, how to interpret soundings, how to interpret uh, mesoanalysis, you know, when models are out to lunch, why would they be out to lunch, doing like surface analysis. It'd be cool if we did like this whole, um, thank you for posting that link. It'd be cool if we did like a whole thing of how to like use radar and velocity and, you know, because one day, We'll be long gone. And it'd be nice if we try to share this information with everybody so you can kind of check into storms yourself. I mean, and but it's also good news. <laughs> what? Sorry, say that again, Brennan. We won't oh, be here for much, much longer. We won't be here for much <laughs> longer. In the grand scheme of things, we've only been <laughs> here for a tiny little blip, and our little blip will be blipped out at some point in time. But um, but yeah, I mean it'd be nice to to share this information and pass it along and 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 you can teach your grandchildren and they can teach their grandchildren how to read radar and all that fun stuff. Reading radar is really, 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 really tricky. It's tricky. As you can see, we sit here all the time and go, is that rotation? Is that noise? We do a lot of that. A lot of that. Let's see here. Ted says, absolutely education. I'd be willing to pay a small fee to learn. Ted, if we're doing an education series, it's going to be free. But thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, Becca says, I think many of us would watch explanations about that from you guys. My coworkers make fun of how much I watch the weather and you guys. Ha ha ha. 
Uh, thanks, Becca. Yeah, it'd be, I think it'd be a lot of fun to do that. Let's see here. Oh, Alana just said in my ear that she'd be more than happy to help as well, too, uh, with the forecasting uh, kind of webinar thing. That'd be cool. I think it'd be um, really cool. Jay, there's our boy Jay. Maple Lake, Eagle Lake cells near Halliburton intensifying. Thank you. I'll take a peek. What are you looking at? You're looking at Brit. Oh, yeah, they are intensifying for sure. Yeah, there's going to be some hail. And probably some pretty gusty winds heading into Eagle Lake, Halliburton. But you can see the hail there in purple. So probably some small hail in there, I think. Maybe growing. And that line is just going to keep strengthening. And maybe I should animate radar. I don't think I've animated radar once today other than other than future radar. I'll hit play on this so we can see which way it's going. Very sharply northeast. Heading up towards Pembroke, Petawawa, Renfrew area. We'll see how it does develop. Let me flip over to King and I'll hit play on King City Radar. Yeah, it looks like Barry missed the show. We got some rain. I didn't even hear any thunder, but I'm in the basement, so who knows? I might not have heard it. Bancroft's about to see that storm. It seems to be growing. And uh, those storms continue to move to the northeast. Uh, the storm's north east of Markham and east of Newmarket are actually intensifying a little bit as well, too. They seem to be growing, so we'll see. We'll see. Kathy says, that was the roto rotation. What did I say? Rotation? That was the rotation I was trying to report earlier. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. I think we actually sent out a rotation notification to uh, those in that particular area as well, too. So, um, if you, it's It's really funny when on the live stream, we create a notification for rotation. We send it out and then we get reports back from community members that say there's rotation. I got a notification that there's rotation in this area and they're letting us know. It's an interesting loop of us mentioning it to you and then you telling us about it, even though we mentioned it to you. It's, it's a strange loop. It's strange. I mean, if you're, rep or if you're reporting that you actually can see rotation within the clouds, then that is, uh, you know, that's really important as well, too. I'm um, speaking of reporting. If you are on the Book of Faces, the Facebook, uh, please join our uh, reporting group, which if you have not yet, um, it is growing like a weed. It's uh, facebook.com. Thank you for putting that up there. Appreciate it. Uh, forward slash groups, forward slash Ontario Storm Reports. And uh, it uh, is explode i don't even what's that at now One hundred twenty-seven thousand something it's ridiculous so thank you everybody for joining uh sincerely appreciate that and uh thank you for more importantly thank you for sharing uh what you're experiencing so whether that is a rainbow we don't mind you know there's some people that say oh this should only be storm reports and it's like you know what when the weather's boring if you want to share a rainbow as long as you're taking a photo of the outside and we can see the light we can see like the surface and we can see so we can see the grass and we can see you know the sky not like when people like zoom in on a bee that's in a garden it doesn't like decline you know bees are adorable whatever but you know we don't want to see the garden we want to see what the weather is so you know just the fact that you're out there taking a photo of the sky and the ground at the same time and sharing it that's why we don't mind if it's like a sunset or we don't mind if it's a rainbow because the more you get into the habit of taking a picture of what's happening outside and reporting it, I think during these times when we have dangerous storms, you're probably more likely, uh, if it's from a safe distance, to take a picture and send in a report, right? So, you know, it's, uh, we, want, we want folks to build up the habit of reporting. So if we're always saying no, 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 no to all their photos and all your videos, if they're not some crazy storm, we're kind of, it's kind of counterintuitive to the idea of, uh, you know, of having folks report. So anyways, yeah. So thank you so much for joining the report group. We appreciate it. And thank you for uh, sending in all of your lovely reports. And thank you for downloading our free app, instantweatherapp.com. If you have the app, let us know in the comments if you like it, if you don't, why you do or do not like it. 
and uh, and let everybody know uh, if they should or should not download our free app. Hopefully it's one and not the other, but uh, we're easy. We're easy. Brian says, awesome as always, guys. Thank you so much, Brian. Appreciate it. <laughs> Tom says, hi, Adam. When the beta comes out, I'd love the chance to test the uh, the new app, which I'm thinking he's referring to uh, Instant Weather Pro. And uh, yeah, keep your eyes peeled, Tom. We will be announcing for sure as soon as we're launching the beta. I know we've said that for many live streams in a row. There's just there's just things we have to tweak about it before we can launch it. So, And it's also, we have to make sure it can scale because if you just like launch a beta test, We've gone through this before, so we've we've had experience with it. But it's like if you're just like, ah, this works really great, launch it, the whole thing explodes. You have to make sure that the servers can scale, and there's, so there's a lot of scaling uh, stuff that's still to be done. We're so busy working on features right now that we're not really super focused on scaling it to work for, you know, so many people. So those two things have to come together before we can launch the beta test. Um, even a small beta test could potentially have hundreds of users. And therefore, we need to make sure that the servers can handle that. You should see our Amazon AWS bills right now. They're ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, let me see here. Jennifer says, I prefer the app over any other weather app, but I honestly depend on the text alerts. Once I get the text, uh, I'm, I know an alert and join. Oh, I, I'm alert and join the live. I see. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Appreciate that. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah, we don't mention it often, but uh, it's still our most reliable service that we built back in 2015, which is called Text Message Alerts. You can go to textmessagealerts.com um, and you can subscribe through PayPal there. We also do have an option on our website uh, if you don't have PayPal. If you do have PayPal, it's much easier for our team for, for you to subscribe through PayPal because it's all automated. So like you can subscribe, it, you automatically get a notification that you subscribed and you're signed up for uh, the same price it's basically always been, which is we haven't changed the price since 2015, which is uh, $3 plus HST. So $3.39 per month. So three bucks a month and you get uh, automatic text message alerts. So this is not push notifications from the app. This is actually an SMS text message to your phone number, um, which is great because it works even if the internet doesn't. So um, as long as you have a basic, basic cell signal, like if you're in like a, area where say you're traveling and you're in some you know you get those areas where you have all of a sudden you have like 2g signal or a 3g your signal gets really really super weak the only thing that even has a chance to make it through is a text message because it's so basic it's so simple i think simple is actually in the name of it sms i think it's simple messaging service maybe anyways i have to double check but um but yeah it's the most basic form of communication through digital devices and it, this is what we used to, to do the service. So anyways, textmessagealerts.com. Um, if you do not have PayPal or do not want to use PayPal, um, there are some folks that are for some reason super against it. I'm not sure why. I use it all the time, works great. But anyways, um, but if you don't want to, uh, send a message to help at instantweather.ca and we'll send you a link to, um, to be able to purchase it directly through our website. Um, and I think I can actually bring up the link for that. I'll create a new banner with the link. It is, I believe it is uh, instantweatherinc.com forward slash TMA dash sign up. I think this is it. I believe this is the link. Instantweatherinc.com forward slash TMA dash sign up. But with this, we have to enter it in manually. So chances are we're super busy today. I'm not sure if we'll get to your subscription today, but we'll try. Um, you know, it's like a first come first serve because we only have so many team members that are able to, uh, help with, uh, with doing this manually. So, um, basically you subscribe there and then you send us an email and say, here's my cell phone number, here's my address, or here's my postal code. Um, you know, I've subscribed, please sign me up and then we'll, we'll do the whole manual process. So if you do want it today, uh, please go to textmessagealerts.com and do it through PayPal, uh, through, uh, that method. But if you do, uh, if you do want to do it through the other method, then, uh, please be patient with us as we try to get everybody signed up. So thank you so much to all those who have. We sincerely appreciate it. Let me see here. Da, 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 da. Debbie says, is the radar live? Uh, maybe if I click it. I don't have it on turned on automatic updates right now, so I have to manually select it. Um, but it's as live as possible. It updates every six minutes. So um, in some cases, it's live like when it first updates it's really close to what actual radar is but then of course at the end of its cycle 
it's six minutes out, so the storms have shifted a bit. But uh, generally, it's pretty close. Hmm. Halliburton, say. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. A little bit of mine rotation on that Halliburton cell. Um, these cells that are moving now further into eastern Ontario, we don't really have good view of. We're trying to use U.S. radar to fill in the gaps. They don't really give us the greatest perspective. Franktown is still down. And that is where we are. Let me just double check. I want to make sure that, that we still have... Ooh. We have to keep an eye on this line that's moving towards southwestern Ontario. Okay, the last time we checked in on it, it was in the middle of Lake Michigan, and now it's here. That was an hour ago. So is it going to be here in an hour? And that will be... 4.33 and then it'll be here at 5.33 and then it'll be on top of us at 7 o'clock. Maybe we should take a peek into oh, I see something from the team here. Give me a sec. Um, something in Minden, someone said. A tornado in Minden? Okay, uh, give me just one sec here. I'm going to pull up uh, our group, Ontario Storm Reports. Supposedly, there is a report of a potential tornado that went through the Minden area. Um, that's not good. I uh, hope everybody's safe. Whoa! One minute ago, Patrick said, just caught this in Minden? One minute ago? Just caught this. Okay, i got to notify that. I'm, I'm, I can't even show you folks right now. Hold on a sec. Um, 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 um. Let's take a look at that Minden storm. Where is it? Minden. That is reported. Just caught this, and the report was from one minute ago. Okay. And it looks like a uh, possible water spout or land spout, potentially. Um, I need to notify that right now. Reported. Reported, reported, reported. Um, no stress. This is not stressful. I need to take a deep breath. Okay. Oh, here it is. Uh, Brennan's showing it right now. I'm just gonna I'm gonna send a notification that says uh, reported uh, reported tornado. And he said just caught this in Minden, and that storm is moving to the northeast. Um, let me just do this and this and that. Okay, stuck in here. I gotta send this out right now. Okay. Uh, Tornado reported storm near Minden, uh, moving to the northeast. Um, I should probably put the video link right in the post. It'd be a good idea. I'm going to pull that up. I can put that right in the post. Thank you, Patrick, for the report. And this is why that group is amazing. Amazing. Okay, so um, video has you report here and I'll put the link. Hey. That looks good to me. And what time is it? 3.36. Okay. A tornado has been reported with a storm near Minden. Uh, moving to the north. Moving to the northeast. Video report here. Um, video. Okay. That looks good. And sending now. Cool. Okay, I sent that off to, uh, wow, there's, I sent it to 2,300 folks in the path. So that's excellent. Um, Patrick, see, posted that right there. Thank you so much, Patrick. Everybody give Patrick a round of applause for the report. Fantastic. Excellent. Look at that. That feedback loop is brilliant. It's like, saw it, reported it. Put it on the thing. The team told me about it. I'm on the live stream. Did a polygon. Sent. Boom. Like that feedback loop is excellent. 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 Love that. Thank you so much, Patrick. We love Patrick. Says, look, it's B. Without my emoji. But I want to add my emoji to it. It'd be, it'd be cute. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, and that's the one. 
Uh, that's the one that uh, Kathy said, I seen the cloud rotation. Oh, okay. So Kathy, you were reporting rotation, not just that you got the notification, but that you actually saw it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Patrick is the man. Um, love that feedback loop was. Uh, Lizzie says that feedback loop was chef's kiss. Mwah. I think she's doing one of those. Yeah, that was pretty solid. Pretty solid. Um, I barely looked at that video, so I'm going to go take a peek at it now, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's. That looks really interesting. Is that, it looks like maybe a time lapse. I guess it's a time lapse. I wonder if there's any original video of it, but it's definitely interacting with the surface. It's probably a land that looks like a land spout sent to the NTP. Thank you so much. Yeah, that looks like a possible land spout there for sure. Um, did we, uh, Brennan, did we share that to the page by any chance? I just did. Oh, you just did? Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. Not a time lapse, says Bob. Uh, no, I think that I think his video is a time lapse. If you look at the water, yeah, it's 100% a time lapse, unless that water's traveling at 200 kilometers an hour. It is a time lapse for sure, but you can you can see, yeah, it's definitely way too fast. So it is a time lapse for sure, but even in a, even in regular motion, there's connection with the surface there. So that looks like it looks like either a water spout or a or a or a land spout. Either way, it's it's clearly connecting with the surface there. So thank you, Patrick. Appreciate that. <laughs> Shelby says, Adam's got like eight screens or something up and multiple chats, probably totaling over 1,500 people commenting right now. It happens that comments are missed, not personal. Three out of three. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, or sorry, she mentioned that. Yeah, that's true. Um, yes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. That's good. Oh, nine if you include my watch and 10 if you include the camera screen. But that, those don't count. Patrick says, I was nervous as hell when I saw it. I'm sure you were. That looked intense. Um, was there did you have any other videos of it, or is it just the quick time lapse and then you um and then you got to safety or that's intense. I can appreciate that for sure. Taylor says, I'm confused. I'm in Minden and there's nothing happening. Yeah, so the storm is kind of north of Minden. Patrick, did you want to? Uh, Patrick says, no, it was quick. Did you want to, uh, Brian says Minden has around 12 inhabitants. No, it's deaf. The population is, there's thousands of people there. But um, Brittany says, any chance of Tornado Ottawa? It's hard to say. Um, the storms are heading that way, but it's hard to say what they're going to be doing by the time they get there. But there is some risk of uh, uh, tornado risk in eastern Ontario. So we'll see. We will see. But it's uh, definitely not guaranteed. Holly says, Brian, try 6,000 people. That's right. And Brian's just laughing. He's just trolling us. Let's see here. Amazing person, 3409. Our favorite YouTuber. Awesome. The line of storms in Michigan seems like it's trying to connect to the cluster of storms in northern Ontario. Yeah, I mean, it's probably all cold front driven, I would assume. It's probably all connecting. Um, yeah, I should probably pull up, see if there's a, a new future radar. And we'll bolt that new experimental feature radar, which we've been working on, which is kind of nice. Let's see here. I, think, I have a feeling we're going to launch this for, uh, for the whole for the whole community. I think it's going to be pretty interesting here. So let me hit play on that. Cool. I'm going to bring that up right now. Let's see. So by seven o'clock, that line's already going to be moving into southwestern Ontario. Is that even earlier? That looks like it was even earlier than it once was. It keeps getting earlier. Like on the her, it's like it had them showing up like by around eight, but now it has them like over Lake Huron into Lake Sarnia and Grand Bend by seven. The earlier that gets, and remember we saw it over Lake Michigan, right? And then all of a sudden the next like update is like. It's way to the east. Jen Mason says, Tornado was reported in Minden. Is this true? I sent Jen, I sent that report out on this live stream. 
to the folks in Minden, which obviously you're in Minden and you got that notification. Um, we did have a report and a video of what looks like either a water spout or a land spout tornado. Um, a connection to the surface. So a possible possible land spout on that storm. Um, yeah. So it's uh, certainly interesting. And uh, Patrick uh, reported uh, to our Ontario Storm Reports page, and we shared it out to everybody as well, too. It may have been brief. It may it may be all done. I'm not sure. But uh, it certainly uh, certainly was an interesting report and one worth sharing. So, yeah, we did uh, we did send that out. ZR1 Gaming says, any updates on that possible tornado amended? Uh, I can show you where the storm is right now. I just wanted to take a peek into the future radar, um, see those storms eventually heading towards the Ottawa area around kind of 7, 8 o'clock. Um, looks like, I don't know, Brennan, did you just see that on the future radar? If you watch, there's a new storm to pop up on future radar, excuse me, kind of near Lake Simcoe, right about 7 o'clock-ish. I think it was about 7. Watch right now, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where did those come from? Let me see what... I'm just looking. Does that show up on her? I'm looking. This is certainly interesting. This line is flying in, flying in from Michigan. And it's going to affect I'll southwestern show Ontario what her this has. evening. I'll put it up. This is what... Yeah, sure. Throw it up. From Pivotal Weather. What time... What what time is what time is that? This one this is seven o'clock. This is seven oh, o'clock. Wow. And so then hers, this is eight o'clock. Wow, hers set up huge. Her and you can kind of see the like cells nine. over here. Those oh, okay, are probably so what are you're seeing there, on the yeah. future radar. And I then think so. this it is looks like future radar is picking up on future radar is picking up on uh, like a late like Lake Simcoe breeze that that is that is tripping them up. Yeah, you know I mean? like looks like a maybe a lake boundary or something. But there's so also kind of look at those there, cells but... over by uh, Kingston area. I noticed that I mentioned mm -hmm. in the forecast. There's some cells that were popping up over Lake Ontario, and like they develop into like a little cluster. Like that's uh, that would yeah be yeah I see that around right six Yeah, that's showing up very similar to to our future radar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Well, that's that's you know sometimes the her and our future radar is like night and day. They're like totally different. But right now they're like really the same. Like watch this. You can see right around. Well, the models have been all over the place the last day. They but have. They now, seem now to they're be finally, agreeing now. <laughs> they're finally agreeing. They went back to uh, yesterday. We eight, do we have an eighteen? Yeah, they went back to what they were yesterday. Exactly. Do we have a? We do have an eighteen Z. Nam, because I bet you that I wonder that's uh, interesting because we yeah. probably already have that. It just started. Like, um, so, crazy. so the storm north of Bancroft is showing uh rotation right now. Um, showing what looks like a rotation couplet. I'm gonna flip over to that right now. Let me let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, on King, let me just make sure I have the latest frame on King City radar over by Bancroft, even though it's this far out. Uh, what am I seeing here? Is that the that's 36? Okay, on the next update, should we get a next update very shortly? Um, this storm cell, which uh, which is further to the northeast, this actually strengthens right here. So, this storm right here, um, north of Bancroft, heading towards kind of the Maynooth Craigmont area, um, it strengthens on the next frame, and uh, which we should I should have an update pretty soon. Let me just make sure. Uh, do we get it? There we go. That's the new update. Okay, so you can see it's got kind of a little bit of a hook here um, north of Bancroft. And there you go. So we actually a little bit of a couplet and uh, and a bit of a hook there on that storm. So I think I'm going to post rotation on that one because again, this is this is as good as it gets for for radar data out here. We don't we, this is all we have. We can't use Franktown. All we have to do is base it on King and base it on uh, I wonder if we can get Bancroft from the U.S. radar here, but I'm not sure we're going to see much now. So the closest radar we have is King, no, so and it's got and it's got rotation couplet right here. So, I mean, mm -hmm. we don't have anything else to go and on. Then there's so I think Appleseed. I I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> South of it, Apples. there's another one. Oh, uh, which which one? Right there. Oh. Oh, you mean this? Right there, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that. Okay. 
So oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, Apsley. You're thinking of Apsley, yeah. Apsley. I thought you said Appleseed. <laughs> I Apsley. probably did. Absolutely. No, but yeah, this is still I think this is standing out as yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna post about this little cell right here right now because again this is all the data I have. And the environment's strong, and we just had a reported land spout, which looked like a land spout. I mean, we don't really have great velocity out there, so all right. Here comes another one. Um actually uh, that area was already underneath the uh tornado reported. So They've already got that going for them, but um, because I've made a giant polygon again, me and my giant polygons today, I'm going pretty large scale at the moment. But yeah, I want to get very specific with this cell because this cell definitely has a couplet. It might be elevated. It might be higher up in the storm, but hey, what can you do? It's all we got. Um, I'm going to go out towards Petawawa. You can't see what I'm doing. Hold on a second here. You can't see what I'm doing. Let me just make sure the direction it's going. I think it's going to the northeast. Oh, it's kind of going north. It's kind of going towards Maynooth. On that last frame, it kind of turns, strengthens, and heads a little bit north. So I'm actually going to make the polygon go all the way up to Deep River. Uh, let's do that. Okay. I'm going to send this one out as well, too. I'm just going to go minor on it right now because I'm going off of a lot of information here, but uh, near uh, on this storm heading north, northeast towards Maynooth. I like to call it Maynooth, but it turns out it's pronounced Maynooth. Um, and it's uh, 349. Uh, let's see here. That looks good. 349, yada, 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 minor rotation detected, and I'm sending that to those in the path right now. Oh, I just turned to 350 as soon as I hit send. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when that happens. You know what I, I we have to program in? It's like the most trivial the most trivial thing. Oh, Travis Farncomb, uh, interesting too. Travis Farncomb says, wondering if this is just condensation coming up off the trees looks like it has more motion. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that it's a. When I first saw it, I didn't realize it was a time lapse. But now that I know it's a time lapse, it it's it's interesting. But Travis says maybe it's just condensation coming up the trees. It's possible. It's possible. But uh, I don't know. Pete, uh, Patrick was pretty pretty convinced. He said it made him quite nervous when he saw it. So, um, but who knows? Let's see here. Oh, we have a bot. We have a bot on Twitch. Is that like our first Twitch bot? Want to become famous, it says. Uh, oh, how do you get rid of it? Oh, I have to go right to Twitch? That's so brutal. Oh. You can get rid of it. Really now all the bots are going to go right to Twitch. Twitch. How, why do they do this you to me? Oh, great. I need, to put in, I need to put in a code now. <laughs> Login <laughs> verification. Okay. Uh, let me sure I get it right. Okay, I got it right. All right, give me a sec. I got to get rid of our bot. Who does this? Okay, where is our channel? There, channel. There we go. Okay, we are live. Where is the bot? Whoa, it's in real time because I just heard basically what I said immediately. Wow, we have 50 folks watching on Twitch. That's cool. Okay, let's see here. Where is the bot? Okay can't find it it doesn't show me old chat messages that's great that's fantastic <laughs> show me old chat messages i can't even see the old chat messages spam again <sighs> please spam again bot so i can get rid of you all right i'll just leave it you need a mod i said yeah not a bad idea okay let's see here interesting Okay, so oh, I think people were reporting um, it and it got closed down. Oh, they people reported it and it got there shut down. Go. Thanks, folks. Appreciate that. Appreciate your help on that. 
Uh, someone said go to your creator dashboard for that. Uh, maybe. Maybe that's the case. Where is it? Anyways. All right. Um, hmm. Stream manager. I don't see it. Oh, maybe I do. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. You folks are awesome. Where did it go? Where did it go? Maybe it's already gone. Sorry, folks. I just have to get rid of this bot. It's annoying spam. I think it's already gone. I can't find it. Yeah, I can't find it. If the it, count so was deleted, then you probably was... won't be able to see it. Yeah, I don't even see it, so it must, must be gone. Okay, anyways, back to what we're talking about here. Um, yeah, if enough, pe enough people uh, report it, then it's gone pretty quick. Can you please cover Bancroft area against this Jessica Johnson? I can. Kathy says, what is bot? It's uh, it's just a spam account. Someone's spamming. Let's see here. By bot, they mean robot. So it's like a robot spam account. Um, I'm taking a peek at the Bancroft area. The main storm we're watching is kind of over Maynooth right now that we were talking about. And uh, north of Bancroft. So right up here. And it's moving to the northeast. So it's not a concern for Bancroft at this point in time. But what's coming later is impressive. Let's go back and take another peek here. This is what's coming later for Southwestern Ontario. That looks busy. That certainly looks busy. Hmm. You might have to do a we might have to, at some point in time, shut this first live stream down. Maybe take a take a food break or something. I guess it never ends, though. Because the stuff is moving out east. And then the stuff moves in from the west. So maybe we should just stay, stay alive. Oh, we got the latest. Nam. See if I can put it up. Sure. Thanks, Stadium Property Stars. Appreciate it. Another super chat. Thank you kindly. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Much obliged. There we go. This, okay, so that's wanna, 7 o'clock. Yeah, this is 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Wow, that's, seven that's really yeah. north. That's mm -hmm. strange. But it does come so south, eight. Like you see. That's 8. See. So there's 8. And it kind of breaks Nine. apart. Ooh, but... it really pushes south. Mm-hmm. And that would be 10. Whoa. That's a beastly line. I mean, this is... A I love how this, like, goes over Toronto. It's the weather bubble. And it just fizzles, fizzles for you in Toronto? Mm-hmm. Everything does. Yeah, Atlanta's got a good point. She, she says it's got a north-south orientation already, and Nam's trying to bring it, like, from the north going moving south. Um, so Nam looks like the outlier because the her and our future radar looks pretty, pretty coordinated, right? I think future mm -hmm. radar is onto really a good. little bit more of the right, the right idea. I think it's more that the cells from the north over northeastern Ontario comes down to the south and like forms into that line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. But yeah. Um, yeah, Travis might be right. That might have been just condensation coming in from the trees. It's a time lapse, so it's it's hard to tell for sure. But it, it but it could have been a it could have been a brief land spout, possible. Or it could have been a brief water spout. It has a lot of motion. I think that's what Travis mentioned as well, too, is that it had had motion. But I don't know. It's hard to tell. Yeah, when I first saw it, I was wondering if it was like a water spout because how it was like it kind of looked smoke coming up from the ground. So I was wondering if that was like water did, or something. It did look like smoke, but but sometimes that can be that it can just be like the very very bottom of of the condensation funnel, mm -hmm. or like you know for a land spout, it's you know it's literally it's literally coming up from the surface. So trying to connect with the with the cloud above.
Okay, so Alana just said that she's talking directly with Patrick, and he said it was moving. Um, it was moving over the trees. It was not connected to the water, and it was not stationary. So he just had he just filmed it for a quick little bit, and then went and took shelter. I'm, I'm presuming. Um, but he said it was it was not stationary. So it wasn't just like this fog coming up from the trees. It was it was actually moving. So that sounds more to me like a, a possible lance boat. So we'll see. Um, Stan sent a super sticker. Thank you so much, Stan. Appreciate it. Stan Pollard. Pollard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Duncan says, how about Marmara? Um, that's a good question. I think Marmara is fine right now. And there are some storms uh, heading your way a little bit later. Maybe they might miss you to the north. So uh, Stan says, great work, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you kindly. And uh, yeah, so let me just take a peek here. Where is Marmara? Down in here-ish. I always think, think about Peterborough and then where did you go? I should know by now especially after that big event we had um tweed there we go sorry what <laughs> what'd you say elena elena's trying to help me oh i'm not even showing what i'm looking at One second here hey there we are okay i think you're in here ish ish why? Why doesn't it like me? There you are. There's Marmara. Okay. Um, yeah, so there are storms to your west. They are moving northeast. So it's possible that you will see uh, these head your way. Obviously, you're getting, you know, a little bit of rain. Um, it's hard to say that those will be severe. Um, but you might see a thunderstorm. We'll see. Um, Maynooth had a interesting signature on his latest frame, but it's so far away from radar now that we're it's tricky. It's tricky watching radar all day. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Let's see here. Manuth. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I swear I got a lot of sleep last night. Jay says, Minden Landsboat, you had Cassie, Kathy Elizabeth report on here. She saw rotation in the clouds in Minden, so likely was a spout. That's a good point, Jay. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you, Elena, for bringing that up. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing person 3409 says waiting for the 19Z. It's weird to say 19Z HRRR model run. And that's an interesting point. And something I found out about um, the uh, the her model runs is that uh, um, so typically, you know, most models run four times a day. They run at excuse me, 8 a.m. I believe it's 2 p.m. And then, uh, what was it again? Yeah, and then, so it's 8 a.m., then 2 p.m., then 8 p.m., and then 2 a.m. And uh, so I've actually learned that uh, if you wait one extra model run, they get more if you, they get more data. So if you wait till the 19Z, 19Z, then that actually has more data than the 18Z, which is kind of frustrating because the 18Z goes out like 48 hours. So you're kind of basing it on they get they get what's called heard from the actual engineers. They get a rushed version of the sounding data, but then they get the full version of the sounding data for the next run. So if you check out the instead of checking out the 8 a.m., you check out the 9 a.m. run instead of checking out, you know, you check out always the one after when those because the also soundings happen four times a day, like they launch weather balloons and that type of stuff. And they're bringing in all that data four times a day. So, anyways, yeah. I'm geeking out again. Sorry. <laughs> Can't help it. And a geek. 
Uh, I'll go with that. Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, so it's kind of rough trying to track this Maynooth storm. I hope these values are just noise. Because they look pretty strong. 135 kilometers an hour? Let's hope this is noise. Probably noise. It's in a weird spot, but we'll just have to watch how that storm develops. Please turn on Franktown. Did Franktown start? No. Data error. One day we'll have data from Franktown. Somebody met us. I saw a comment. Uh, Coffini says, thank you for pronouncing the letter Z correctly. Did you send me that email? I have a feeling you sent me that email. <laughs> I remember um, that email. I got an email. Please pronounce Z correctly. I'm sorry. I was raised on Sesame Street. Sesame Street, American. We all said the alphabet. And at the end, we said Z. That's what happened. That's my excuse for saying Z wrong. Um, Jamie says, is Aurelia still under warnings? I don't think so. Are, are there any severe thunderstorm warnings right now? I don't mm, think so. Not that I'm aware of. No, it's just watches. But Aurelia was dropped from the watch, too. Oh, Aurelia was dropped from the severe thunderstorm watch? Yeah. It's just all at, out in eastern Ontario right now. But there isn't any warnings right now. Okay. Not at the moment, no. Okay. Um, I want to pull off some of these reports. I think I'm going to pull that tornado report from the app. and Because I'm not seeing anything wild on radar, but uh, who knows? Who knows what's happening there? Um, minor rotation. I'm going to get rid of that Halliburton one. And I'm going to get rid of the Maynooth one. No, I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to get rid of the Bob Cajun one. It's still on there for some reason. I'll get rid of that one. And the last but not least is that old Uxbridge one from a long time ago. Okay, all of those are gone from the app. If you if you're, uh, give it a minute and then refresh the app, they should all be gone. But uh, the, I'm just going to leave that uh, Maynooth one for now because there's still some interesting values up there and we're kind of running uh, or in the dark radar-wise. So we just have to deal with that as we as we can. Um, SG says, IntelliCast weather app. I remember IntelliCast. I think they got bought out. I think IntelliCast got purchased by Yeah, it just IBM. became Storm. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Intellicast, yeah. They, they basically all that technology that. <laughs> and then they amalgamate it all into one thing. Yeah, exactly. But I'm pretty, I, Intellicast is long gone, I think. So, uh, but Wonderground's still around. So they kept that brand. They they destroyed the Intellicast brand, but they kept the Wonderground, run, Wonderground brand, which is where most people put their weather I stations. Think... They connect it to Wonderground and then you can get all the data from there. So the UI that, Powers and telecast is still available. I've seen it by some US stations. Oh, really? TV stations. Oh, maybe they, they, you know what? Oh, maybe they had it like they might have. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Global News had yeah, some may have become... form of that. I don't know if it still exists. Yeah, I know what you mean. That it like, was that like web, a telecast. The web app, right? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that telecast one. Yeah, I re I used to love that one. I used to love the I love oh, the color favorite. profile of it as well too. It was my favorite too, yeah. That's too bad. R.I.P. Oh well. Hey, we um, need to bring it back. All right. <laughs> bring back Intelli Gas. I keep clicking on Frank down, just hoping that what it's gonna work. Like <gasps> <laughs> wish casting. Please give us please give us Frank Town radar. Um Let's go take a peek over at the Detroit radar and see how close the storm is to us now. Oh, hello. 
<laughs> it's not far. It's really racing. It was here. Then it was here. Now it's here. It's not far at all. At all. Oh, the SPC has pushed the slight risk into deep southwestern Ontario. All, like basically like Grand Bend to Long Point. Wow. And the an enhanced severe risk is right is kind of just southwest of of Windsor. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Kathy says looks to be some more rotation in Minden. She's actually there. Interesting. Uh, someone says, what's green? Yeah, Kelly says, what is green on your red radar? Oh, um, sometimes if I'm looking at velocity, green means the winds are going one way and red means the winds are going the other way. If I'm looking at this, what you're seeing right now, this reflectivity, green just means lighter rain. But if we're looking at velocity, whoa, some really strong ones in that line coming across. That's going to be interesting when this line comes. And like Alana said, it's very north north to south orientated. It's not like the NAM had it like this. right? The NAM had it like curved and to the north. But her and Future Radar have it very up and down. So there's that. That's going to be interesting when that storm comes in. So we're continuing to watch what we see out here in eastern Ontario. Uh, there still is a severe thunderstorm watch in place, and that severe thunderstorm watch, I believe, mentions uh, the potential for tornado development. But yeah, I don't think there's still... any. I don't think there's any tornado. Oh, sorry, any uh, severe thunderstorm warnings at this point in time. It's a weird no, tweet. Look at a weird tweet. What the heck is this? Oh, tweet? are you seeing them? Some, the ones that are AC like power weird, generator like... company. Yeah, I keep seeing that. I what? think they're doing like, it to get out. It says severe thunderstorm tornado warning. That's a weird. That is a weird tweet. Anyways, I think because it says when, like a possible to watch. That's what it is. Yeah, it's interesting when. It's kind of like, it's kind of like when brands jump on things that are viral. It's like sometimes they're like, "Well, hey, Twitter's we're, bad uh, for that." Yeah. I know what they you mean. It's like, hey, we're a we're a generator company that just decided to start posting about severe weather because that will help us reach more people or something. I don't know. And then they just and then they get the terminology completely wrong. It's not helping. Oh well. Anyways, it's okay. To each their own. So, how's everybody doing? Just looking in the comments. Uh, Esther says, definitely taking extra precautions with these Michigan storms. Yeah, that Michigan line looks nasty. Um, CCIURA34 on Twitch says, how long do you plan to stream today? I think we're going to stream until winter. So we're just never going to shut down the stream. And we're just going to, we're going to take shifts. And no, that's, we're not doing that at all. But, um, I think, oh, wow. Jen says the VTP is now at a five near Ottawa. Oh, let me look. That's not good. Martin Jones says apparently Franktown radar is having an unscheduled outage. Expect return to service tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow. tomorrow. Mm hmm. Uh, Brennan's going to bring up the VTP and right. oof, there it is. Oof, we got a five in front of that line. Oof. Patricia says maybe we should shut down the stream for a thirty-minute break before that uh, show arrives in southwestern Ontario. I'm, th you know, well, let's let's just keep it going. It's you know, what I mean? it's to shut it down for thirty minutes. I'd rather like if Bren wants to go eat some food, then he goes, and we'll just like we'll just oh, like I've swap been off. And fine. It's all good. <laughs> Oh, you've been eating that's this whole time, so I'm the only one here starving. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I had no, like I had a bowl, bowl of cereal of right now. Oh, it's not healthy. That's horrible. A whole bowl of cookie <laughs> dough. 
Well, just raw eggs. The whole bowl wasn't. Well, cookie dough is actually safe to eat now. Like the Pillsbury one, if you buy it, it's actually marked safe to eat raw. Interesting. What could go wrong? Because you used to have to like. <laughs> you used to have to like buy the premium brand of cookie dough, and it was like ten dollars for like a small little container of it that was safe to so eat. You're saying it was like the value. You're saying the value brand the cookie dough. The value brand of raw eggs is marked as safe to eat. No, the premium brand one, like the organic one. Oh, the premium. Oh, okay. Uh, that used to be the only one that you could eat raw. Now, how how could cookie dough? Not, how could the ingredients of cookie dough not be organic? Like, the I get the certified organic, but I'm like, it's like eggs. Anyways, right, let's not get into it. I know we're already into it, but let's not get into it. Um, uh, Coffini says, please explain the lines on that last map. So we were taught we were showing the uh, the violent tornado parameter um, and the and I'll anywhere in up. red, like Bren. Yeah. So if you see the areas in red, uh, as the numbers get stronger, so five is the strongest you can see there, which is up near Ottawa, kind of towards the top of the map in that bullseye. And then as you can actually see, there's a it looks like there's a three or a there is a three in Essex County right now. And there's uh, yeah, and there's a strengthening is. environment yeah, ahead of that line that's coming in. So if the VTP gets strong and that line comes in early, eek, that could be interesting. That could be interesting for sure. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um there's a lot of cookie dough discussions right now <laughs> in the in the comments. Let's see here. Uh, Jay says, if you can get video, send it to me via PM if you can, please and thanks. Um, Jay, are you talking about the the original video of of that uh, reported Lance boat potentially? Or Kathy says, what is VTP? It's no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I see. Oh, oh. So maybe he's talking to Kathy about about if she has video. Okay, cool. Um, whoa, Kim's got a good or Carol's got a good point. Cookie dough could be the new watch slash warning image. Oh, you just have cookie like, dough. Raw cookie dough watch, could be the watch, and then, and then you have a pan of baked cook cookies, cookie. and it's a cookie warning. Oh, even better, you have the ingredients for cookie dough. Oh, then we're done. This is not even this is not even cookie dough at that point. It's like no. Then we'll, we'll go even deeper. It's like the ingredients of cookies is like is the forecast. <laughs> no, that doesn't make sense. The ingredients of cookies <laughs> is the watch, and then the cookie dough all put together is like the watch with a tornado risk mentioned, and then the cookies is the cookie warning. I don't know. I got nothing. I have nothing at all. Let's see here. <laughs> Lizzie says, cookie warning. Give me all the cookies. <laughs> uh, Joanne says, tornado dough. <laughs> and mm. Canadian Milo says, I'm hungry now. And then someone's using my, clearly, my emoji. <laughs> I know it's not me, but it's totally me. Yeah, cookie is the tornado. That's right. Cookie would be the tornado. That makes sense. Oh, the cookie recipe is the forecast. That's perfect. We do a four panel. Cookie recipe is the forecast. The cookie ingredients is the watch. The cookie dough is the is a minor rotation updated. No. And then the cookie warning. Anyways, that's fine. Minor cookie. Cookie NATO. This is what so we're waiting for storms to appear. That's right. Normally I'll play music, but instead we're talking about cookies. Where's Liam? We need some fiddle. Um, that's my version of a fiddle. Uh, Megan says winning. Shelly says cookie dough could be the watch. Yeah, cookie dough could be the watch, but the ingredients have already come together. So maybe cookie dough is like the storms have initiated, right? 
cookie dough is the storm initiated. And then once the cookie has formed, that is the tornado warning. This is deep. This is very deep. Getting deep. This is very deep. Where this is this is we're going into extreme meme territory here. That's right. <laughs> Lindsay's trying to remember or mention that we're professionals. Are we? All right. I mean, that's debatable. It's debatable. I mean, we, I think there's some things we do really well, which is watch radar, track rotation, forecast storms, talk about cookies. and then the rest of it is all talk about cookies. The rest of it is all just silly madness. But yeah, there's a, there's a few things we do marginally, marginally well, um, pretty well at times. Let's see here. So that storm is now even closer. Every time I check this storm system, it's closer. If you're in southwestern Ontario, this is coming your way. Uh, maybe we should go take a look at the latest future radar. Ay, 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 ay. Let's see here. Oh, I can hear Brent clicking. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going to find you some yeah. noise canceling software that there's probably a VST plugin that's similar to NVIDIA Broadcast that is like noise canceling software specifically for uh, Macs. So, yeah, that would be cool. All right. I'm going to show the latest. There we go. Okay. Let's take a look at the latest future radar. We have an update. Cookie dough could be the watch. That's right. I believe it. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, Bob is pulling out, oh, the classic D where he says, with this picking up speed, does this have that derecho quality? Um, it's really, really, really hard to say. Uh, by the way, look at, look at what's happening in, uh, did, look at what's happening see in Bruce Adam. Peninsula there see on Future it. Radar. Did you see that? Did you see what was happening in Bruce Peninsula there? Watch this. Okay, so there's that line coming in, which looks quite a bit different now on this latest run. Why does it separate? What is happening? That is completely different. And then it shows Ottawa getting a pretty intense storm. <laughs> wow, it totally falls apart. What is Future Radar doing? And then this crazy storm goes over Bruce Peninsula. Why is it so it much like different? It's like a barrier over Lake Huron. Luke. What the heck is that? So different. That was completely different future forecast, which means it probably pulled in new. It probably pulled in 18Z sounding data. And then it changed things, but maybe it's just, you know what, though? Future Radar has a, traditionally had problems with these big, fast moving lines coming in from Michigan. So maybe it's just maybe it's just having issues with it. But wow, that totally changed. The last one was crazy storms all the way across southwestern ontario and this one just totally fizzled that storm by the time it hit us that's really different wow that's interesting will that be what occurs i'm not sure so far if we take a look at radar we have a beastly line heading that way so we'll see we'll see but that would be great i'm i'm ha i'd be happy about that i'd definitely be happy about that if uh if this thing fizzled out and then therefore there wasn't anything intense. Jordan says storms always fizzle over Windsor. Well, not always, but recently for sure. Recently for sure. Lisa says, what's the forecast for Ottawa? Well, that's a pretty strong environment out there. And future radar shows a pretty intense, uh, shows a pretty intense um, uh, cluster of storms heading out that way. Uh, Caffini said something that I'm not going to share. And uh, I'm actually going to, Put her in a timeout. Because let's not say things like that. That's not good. Okay. Um, we'll see, though. I mean, again, we get we get new future radar updates every 15 minutes-ish or so. And, uh, yeah. And, the, it, you know, another run could totally change it. So, um, amazing person 349 says, check out velocity from Grand Rapids radar. Lots of areas of ro rotation along the, the leading edge. 
which could bring QLCS tornado potential. Yeah, that's what we were thinking with that line is there is some QLCS tornado potential uh, for sure. Paranormal Heart Podcast says, I can't find where the rotation was in the Ottawa Valley. I don't think there is any rotation in the Ottawa Valley at the moment. Brian says the VTP for Ottawa is crazy. Yeah, was that like a five or something? It's strengthening for sure. Um, let's see here. A new severe thunderstorm watch now for southwestern Ontario, Brian. Ahead of that line, they've uh, they've issued a watch. Yeah, I see that. Uh, Daniel asked Brian where he's seen the VTP. Weird. If you uh, if you Google uh, SPC mesoanalysis and you go to composite parameters, you'll find the violent tornado parameter under that. Let's see here. Cat says Ottawa, Cobden, and Pembroke tornado warning question mark. No. There's a severe thunderstorm watch that mentions the potential for tornado development, but there is no tornado warnings right now. Uh, Danielle, uh, VTP is the violent tornado parameter. It just means that the uh, environment is uh, reasonable for tornado development. So it means that the ingredients are there, but it doesn't necessarily mean there is going to be um, is going to be a tornado. But it's possible. Spank the monkey says <laughs> or gave us a six nine nine super sticker. I read that before thinking about it, but. Uh, <laughs> My goodness. Thank you very much, Spank. I appreciate that. I just read it out and went, uh, why did I do that? Okay. Uh, Daniel says, is five the highest of VTP? Say something no. inappropriate. Send a super yeah, chat. Yeah, exactly. Send a super chat. I won't think about it and then just say whatever the name of your channel is before thinking what I'm saying. Halfway through, I was like, oh, why did I say that? Um, Daniel uh, says, is five the highest NTP? No. NTP goes up to 12, maybe even higher. So it's definitely, definitely not the highest. Uh, severe thunderstorm watch for London, for Chatham-Kent. Yeah, southwestern Ontario is now getting severe thunderstorm watch. Um, uh, Lisa says, sorry, Adam, is Ottawa still in the tornado risk area? Yeah, there's still potential uh, out your way. Uh, certainly still uh, potential out your way for sure. Um, Cole's talking about a bunch of damage reports. I'm assuming he's talking about on that line in Michigan. Is that is that what you're referring to, Cole? Please let us know. Seth talks about us checking the storm tops. Uh, yeah, we can. That's it's sometimes a good idea to check, you know, the echo tops and all that kind of stuff. Sylvan says, "Can you bring up the risk map? We sure can. We sure can. Let's do it." Here we go. Here is your risk map. As you can see, uh, late evening risk in southwestern Ontario, which we've we highlighted, and it looks like that may be coming to fruition. Although, um, <laughs> uh, Dave Matthew nailed it. He goes, "LOL." Just like an anch anchor man reads everything on the teleprompter. <laughs> yeah, it's basically what just happened. I just <laughs> blindly read read the name of the channel. Good thing it was marginally. It was marginally bad. If it was way worse than that, it would have been bad. Um, everybody wants to know how to find the VTP now. You know what we should do? We should actually, we could actually add the VTP to our app or to the Instant Weather Pro product. It would be kind of cool to build the VTP right into it. So then instead of having to jump back and forth to that thing, we just click an overlay button and VTP would like show up on top of the radar and we could actually see where the environment was. That would be pretty sweet. That would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you can go to uh, Mesoanalysis. Uh, Brian Collins posted it on Facebook there. Uh, it just If you just Google SPC Mesoanalysis and you look through the composite parameters and you can find Supercell in there and you can find significant tornado parameter, the STP, which is the original VTP. Um, but the VTP is just kind of a collaboration of, of different tools all squashed into one. So it's kind of nice to be able to see. Um, Alex says, can we see the future radar? Yeah, we're just going to wait for another update here because it was... It was drastically different from the previous run, so I'm just wondering if it's going to change again. So we're just gonna we're just gonna wait a little bit and uh, and get the latest uh, update from that one. So just give us a little bit, and I'll bring that back up to make sure we have the latest data. Alexander says, "What is VTP? Everybody wants to know what VTP. Is. It's called Violent Tornado Parameter. It's just a meso analysis. It's it's an analysis of the environment to let you know uh, if it has if there is the ingredients 
for tornado development, but it does not guarantee tornado development. Um, yeah. Kathy says, what number of VTP, I'm assuming she meant, should we worry? Uh, you shouldn't worry at any number of VTP. You should only be concerned if there is a strong storm within that environment. Anything above a VTP of one or two uh, usually uh, has the potential uh, to be uh, pretty intense. But Chris says like a three or higher, I think. Yeah, I mean, VTP one has, we've, there's been tornado production of VTP one. There's been, tornadoes have been produced in a VTP two. And, uh, you know, in very rare cases, tornadoes have been, um, uh, tornadoes have been, you know, they've happened when the VTP wasn't even existent at all. But that's very, very rare. Very rare. So let's see here. Rachel says, Penetang is sunny and lovely. Safe here on the boat? Uh, yeah, I think you're fine uh, in Penetang machine right now. Um, I don't think there's anything uh, until maybe way later tonight. Uh, let's see here. Lisa says, hey, Adam, where is the storm hitting right now? Well, we do have some storms in eastern Ontario, although we don't have radar coverage over there, which is brutal. We have, excuse me, we have, uh, we have radar in the U.S. and radar... In different places in Ontario, we can try to mix together to try to get a picture of what's happening out east. But uh, ultimately, we don't have the radar that we want. Uh, Brendan, those uh, those storms are actually developing, like you were talking about here, um, heading into Prince Edward County now. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Well, at least we have Prince decent Edward radar County. there. Yeah, we got radar pretty close by, so we can keep a, a good close eye on this area. Um, and heading into Kingston now. Kingston's about to get a storm as well, too. So uh, let's see if Frank Town's up. No. No. They said it was an unexpected outage, which means you're probably going to win that bet that it's not going to come up today, which means if something went wrong with it, that they're not able to just quickly turn it back on. Like if, it was, if it's a scheduled maintenance, then they can, they can plan to have it turned back on. But um, if, uh, if it went out unexpectedly, then it's probably going to be down till tomorrow. Um, hmm. How hot is it in this room? Oh, just just a cool twenty nine. Let's see here. I got. Uh, so Lorkin said I got a notification from the Environment Canada app before I got it from the Instant Weather app. Didn't know if it's just my phone or anybody else has a problem. So um, when we send out notifications f that are for smaller areas, we're usually as fast as their app, if not in some cases faster. But if it's a giant watch, um, we haven't dedicated massive server power to be able to, you know, send out a huge watch to everybody instantly. So that's something we're going to be working on. Uh, there are a few different ways to do this. One is to spin up a bunch of tiny little servers. So that like if you have a if you have a list of let's say you have a list of 50,000 people that need to get a notification, then you can just put a whole bunch of like tiny little servers that can just eat away at that list really quickly. Um, but right now we just have kind of one big server that serves for everybody. And in most cases, uh, we don't even get close to 100 percent on that server to send the notification. But when we have these giant watches that are like, you know, all of southwestern Ontario and we have tens and tens and tens of thousands of people using the app in that little area, then it takes a little bit longer for the watch to come through. But for warnings, they're usually small and they come through instantly. So, um, yeah, anyways, that's that's why the watches are a little delayed. Uh, but uh, we have a plan to either do that strategy with the with the tiny little servers or to potentially just just get a much larger server for for our notifications, because we've had quite a lot of people uh, join onto the app now. And so we have to we have to basically scale up our notification infrastructure to be able to to get watches out super fast. But watches are usually issued, you know, hours before weather happens. So it's not super duper critical that they come instantly. Warnings instantly. Of course, that makes sense. You want that right away. Um, uh, <laughs> a nice YouTube account said, I got you. Thank you so much. Appreciate the extra uh, super chat. Thank you kindly. It's very nice. I forget what that name of that YouTube account. Well, I can't remember right now, but uh, thanks for that. Appreciate that. Thank you kindly. Um, Corvette says, your app is much better than a different app. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you kindly. Um, 
Oh, strong rotation being picked up northeast of Chaplow in northern Ontario. Uh, luckily, it's not a very populated area. C A S M R. Let me double check here. We should actually be we should be watching up there. That's a good point. There it goes again. Uh, amazing person thirty four nine being awesome. Okay, so by the way, if you're ever looking up north and you see this mess, this is called range folding. You have to go to tilt two. I'm at. That's a feature we're going to add where tilt two is going to be is going to be automatic when. When they're using this long range strategy and you have this like horrible folding, we're going to go to straight to tilt two. Uh, this is interesting. Yeah, some really strong values here. 103. Let me go back here a frame. Oh, yeah, it was ridiculously strong. Wow. I don't know how we missed that. I guess we were looking to the south, even though there's like literally nothing going on in the south. That's a, that was a crazy strong. You were too busy mezzo. talking about cookie, was, though. We we're talking about cookie dough and we totally missed this super duper strong mezzo. That's what happens. It's annoying. Was there I hope there was like a severe thunderstorm warning on it. Probably. Probably. Was there was yeah, there a tornado that, warning? That area is under a severe thunderstorm warning. I don't think there's any tornado warnings. No. It's weird that it was like, look at this. It's like kind of weak and then insane and then weak. So I wonder if it any of it could have been noise. And it's at an interesting spot of the storm too, where it's like just kind of in the middle of the storm. It's not even on on it's not even in a notch. I wonder if we go to correlation coefficient, if there is a debris signature there. Um let's see, let's go back a frame. Yeah, no debris signature at all. Ah an interesting feeling about that might not i mean there's this is probably like a billion trees right here so if there was a, a violent tornado being produced right in this particular spot you would see a very strong blue debris signature here but i don't see anything so i wonder if that may have been a little bit of noise because you can see further up the road you can see this is all like noisy this is all noisy garbage so um it's possible that this is just some interesting folding happening here because uh, it, it literally happened for one frame. But yeah, that one frame was certainly, that would certainly pique my interest if I saw that. Um, yeah, but uh, it's possible that it's nothing. Uh, I guess, it, you know what? If you go from that other radar station, it looked pretty interesting there too. You go from uh, the Smooth Rock Falls radar station, it looked pretty strong there, even from a distance. So yeah, so certainly some rotation in there. But no debris signature, which is interesting. So, hmm. well, it's worth watching, though. But yeah, I guess it's kind of heading towards the Timmins area. So we should really keep an eye on that. So thank you, uh, Amazing Person thirty four oh nine, for that uh, heads up. Appreciate it. Jay says, unfortunately, I think that the storms earlier and the rain now in Kawartha Lakes is going to kill the environment for later tonight with the line. It's possible. I hope so. You say unfortunately. I say fortunately. I have kind of a unique perspective. I don't want severe weather to happen. A lot of folks want severe weather to happen. I mean, of course, they don't want it to impact people, but I just, I'm under the idea this is a populated area. Pretty much chances of it impacting people is, is pretty good. So I know, there's a lot of sunshine coming in from my window. As you can see, this bright, this spotlight that's on me right now, it's coming from outside. I can't, and I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Anyways, I just want to mention that. You wonder why there's a spotlight on my shoulder. It's from the sun. So I guess the sun's out in Barry. Kind of nice. Um, yeah, it's possible. And again, I hope so. I hope it I hope this line completely dies out. That would be great. But if you need rain, I mean you're probably gonna get some. The line is kind of weakening though. I don't know, like velocity wise, it looks still looks pretty strong. But reflectivity wise, it's getting a little messy. So maybe future radar is onto something. Maybe it's onto something with that potentially uh, tapering off a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. There's a lot of reports of damage, though, on that line in Michigan. Oh, they did put a tornado was also possible in the severe thunderstorm warning. Up north, I think that's what uh, Cole's mentioning here. He's talking about uh, up north that uh, they said uh, severe thunderstorm, or sorry, uh, tornado was possible on that severe thunderstorm warning. Amanda says, Adam, it's 29 degrees in your office. I think you need to drink some water. That's right. I do. J 
Jay says, I don't want the severe stuff. I just want the lightning photos. I mean, inherently lightning is severe, but but of course not. You're talking about like damaging ones and stuff. I agree. Yeah, I mean, as long as there's if there's crazy storms, preferably if they happen in a field where they don't affect somebody, that'd be great. But there's just so much population here that uh yeah, it's just when there's severe storms, it's inevitable it's gonna affect someone. Someone's property or injuries or worse. Okay, so Carol says, where is Amherst View? And then Abe says, just outside of Kingston. So let's take a look at this Kingston storm. Hmm. I'd love to be able to use Franktown to look at it, but all we have is the New York radar. <laughs> it doesn't look too severe or anything. Just looks like some torrential rain, probably some lightning in there, and uh, some gusty winds, but nothing too spectacular, at least from KTYX radar. It'd be nice if we had Frank Kingston down. was just added to the severe thunderstorm watch. Oh, to the watch? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Hmm. So... Connor uh, Mockett on Twitter says he's got eyes on a possible lowering around the Foy Mount Eganville area looking west from three kilometers west of Cobden. So where is that? Foy Mount. Hmm. Where is Foy Mount? Goes I believe around. that's up by that's Renfrew good. area. Oh, okay. Where, sorry? Uh, Pembroke? I see Cobden right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Where is it here? Going. Wow, we really have nothing to go on radar-wise. So it's a good thing there's spotters out there like Connor. We really have it's no too bad idea. There isn't there a radar all. up there. I know. Imagine if there was a radar right here <laughs> called Franktown. I'm, just I'm sure you know what. I'm passing about the radar. You know what? It's. I'm sure the radar techs are even more frustrated than we are that it's down. So, <laughs> can you imagine if that was your job, like to make sure that the radar stays up, and then a big severe day comes through and it's down? So. Yeah. Oh, uh, Matt. M Matt says the her is still showing powerful storms blasting through southern Ontario. So, yeah, I can pull it up here. I got it. Hey, you got an overlay. That's nice. Hope it works well. Fancy. I, it's not properly aligned, but That's it works. Nice. It's pretty close. It's close. That's close enough. I made it while I was live cool. streaming, so I guess I get some credit there. <laughs> Yeah, that's on the fly. It's good. What uh, you want to go through the timestamps here, and and which yeah. what run is this? What radar run is this? This is the latest nineteen Z, and then this okay. would be each six o'clock nineteen Z, and then seven o'clock. Wow. Eight o'clock. Yeah. And nine o'clock. And ten o'clock. Cool. So kind of. All right. Yeah. It's still. That's still coming through pretty strong. Mm hmm. Interesting. So right there would be eight o'clock. Yeah, eight o'clock already hitting London. So. Hmm. All mm -hmm. right. Well, could be a busy night. But based on radar right now, I would say it might be earlier. I think. Probably earlier. The her uh, her is also historically slow with um, these these fast these fast moving lines coming in from Michigan. So because this is five o'clock right it. here, and they're even further east yeah. already than that is four o'clock four forty. So let's see. Because um, that would no. be no. What's that? No, that's it's pretty close. 
If you jump back to my radar here, that would be five o'clock. This is, oh, this is six o'clock. That's six. So that's twenty-two. Because this is right now, and it's basically five o'clock, and it's not at that peninsula yet. So sure. it's pretty close to where the her has it. Maybe there's a new future radar update. I'm gonna go check. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. I think we have a new update. Should be. Let's see. I have a feeling it's gonna trend similarly that the last one did, but let's find out. Da, 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 da. Dorian says, why is my instant weather app clear? Nothing on it. Hmm. You might want to uh, kill the app and then reopen it again. You might want to close it, fully close it and reopen it again and then try radar again. Probably because there's so many users on the app right now that uh, sometimes we have to, we, we, with the, with the app itself, we automatically spin up new servers as more users are on it. Um, and then, uh, yeah. And then, Sometimes you might load it during one of those periods where we're loading from or we're spawning a new server and there's kind of a little window in between where you might get caught in the middle. And uh, so if that happens, then definitely uh, just go back into the app and, and try it again. And it should get better. Let's see here. Okay, one second here. I'm just trying to get the latest feature radar. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, it still looks pretty similar to the last run. Yeah, it still looks pretty similar. Wow, it's really changed a lot. I have to block this window because there's just like, it just seems odd that there's a giant spotlight on me. It's like it. <laughs> I'm just going to stay here. I get a sure tan. The police are looking for you. And the <laughs> looks like a police yeah, helicopter spotlight. Uh, yeah, this it's not a place of It's just just the sun. Just the sun. Okay. Um let's see here. <laughs> yeah, I want to show, show you this latest. I swear, I swear. Okay, so uh <laughs> if I go to here, okay, here is the latest. And one second here. And you can see it still has that same vibe as the last time. Where it shows some shows some big storms heading up through Wyerton and uh, Bruce Peninsula, but the big line comes in and then fizzles. Wow, that's a big change. That's crazy. Mm, Debbie says her radar on her phone shows nothing. That's odd. Let me see. Let me see. I get radar. No problem. Good for me. I don't know why. I hit play. It works just fine. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's odd. Mm -hmm. The weather chopper, says Julia. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda says, you sing a song. It might be a time to sing a song. Let's see here. Oh, Scud just over Belleville. It looked like a. It kind of looks like a funnel cloud over Belleville, but he said it's Scud, which means it must not be rotating or anything. Yeah, so I bet you there's folks in Belleville wondering what they're looking at right now because it looks like there's kind of a lowering Scud. Uh, Brennan's going to bring it up on the stream here. Yeah. So this is this is one of those classic times where this might look like a developing tornado or funnel cloud. But uh, this gentleman, Bran, Bran WX, um, has mentioned that uh, it's just scud, which means it's just floating there. It's just still. Um, it's benign. It's just it's not spinning violently in a dangerous uh, storm. It's just a scud cloud. So that's great uh, detective work on his part to figure out, you know, if it's actually rotating or not. Now, there's been times before where. Some people thought it was Scud, and it actually ended up turning into something interesting. There was actually a time one time I was following a storm, and it was not rotating. It was just just very still and boring and, and, and not doing anything. And I decided to leave that storm, and eventually that storm had a 
uh, a land spout tornado was was reported on that same storm. And I was shocked because I was like, this storm is boring. It's not doing anything. And then it must have just hit a, you know, a, a lake breeze or something and just obviously spun up and got more interesting. So I was completely shocked. I was like, are you kidding me? I left that storm and it produced a land spout tornado after. Anyway, so I was I was completely shocked back in my days when I actually followed storms around. Now I just follow them around from my chair in the basement with radar. It's safer that way. Let's see here. Um, All right. We just sit and we wait. Sit and we wait for the storm line to come in. We'll see. It might pop out some storms ahead of that line, though. So that could be interesting. That could be interesting. We'll have to wait and see what happens here. I should check on that storm in uh, northeastern Ontario as well, too. That's kind of the storm that... Uh... Juliet says, will you ever storm chase live one day? Or no, I did storm chase live uh, many, many years ago, back in uh, 2013 and uh, 2014. Um, but uh, yeah, probably not. I mean, it's like there's there's lots of skilled spotters out there. And uh, I mean, you really have to have a team because if you're if you're storm spotting by yourself, it's like the definition of distracted driving. You know, you're you're thinking about something, even if you're just thinking about the storm over there. And you're looking at the road. Your your mind is still somewhere else. So, um, yeah, it really is the definition of distracted driving. That's why if you are going to be a storm spotter, you know, you need to have a driver, someone who's just their entire purpose is to look at the road and drive. That is so so critical. Um, and then you know, and then the person in the passenger seat can be looking at radar and checking models and doing all that stuff. But uh, it's super critical that. Individual people have individual jobs because if uh, if you get distracted by a storm, then it's you know, what I learned when I was out there was at some point in time, I realized it's probably not the tornado that's going to get me. It's probably me distracted driving, smashing into something that's going to be the problem. So, hey, look at that. We got company. Let me bring up my you can't see me anymore. Baba. How did you take up most of the screen? Oh, that's Brennan is in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're muted there, Liam. Are you back hey, there? How's, how's it going, everybody? Say hi to Liam. Liam, what's up? Sorry, it took me a while to get my setup all done with the green screen and everything. That's all so. good. <laughs> That's all good. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. I'm looking, catching up on what I missed all today. So, check out northeastern Ontario right now. Oh, I gotta pull up the app. Um, I remember the URL. That okay. is, uh, that's quite a little couplet there. I think it is, I think it's pretty substantial. It's been going for a while now. <laughs> I think there's a severe thunderstorm warning on it with the mention of the tornado potential. Oh, did um, we, did we th- lose Franktown? Is Franktown down? Franktown is down. Oh. Welcome to the party. <sighs> Franktown's been down and it's going to be down till tomorrow. <laughs> hey. Oh. There's Brennan. And, uh, hey, Brennan. I had to get a cord. Uh, <laughs> no worries. As you can see, oh dear. That is quite the mezzo. I think it probably mentioned rotation on this. I know Environment Canada already has uh, severe thunderstorm warning on it with the mention of tornado potential, but it's kind of coming together pretty severe good. Severe thunderstorm warning was just issued for Eastern Ontario. Oh, maybe on that uh, that Storm Connor was on? Bay, Renfrew, and Sherbart Lake. So I think, yeah, that would be. Yeah, that's yeah, that's based on his report, I'm assuming. Yeah, that's right. Okay, but it so... Um, the tornado. It does not? No. Okay, it's all good. Um, I think... Uh, I think I pretty should good. probably post about that storm up north because it's good. looking pretty nasty. But where exactly is the strongest part? Um, uh, 
Uh, oh, there's the uh, alert map. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. And thank you, Juliet, for the question. Um, Brennan, do you want to you want to rhyme off the uh, the alerts there while you have it up? Yeah, for sure. Um, so the severe thunderstorm warning that was just issued was for the Berries Bay, Renfrew, and Charbot Lake area. And then we have the severe thunderstorm watch that mentions the risk of a tornado still in effect from stretching from Corfa Lakes all the way into the Ottawa region. And then a second severe thunderstorm warning has been issued south of that, but it doesn't mention the risk of a tornado for Prince Edward County and Kingston and Brockville. And we also have a new severe thunderstorm warning watch that was just issued within the past hour for southwestern Ontario that includes Windsor, Sarnia, London, and Goderidge. And the severe thunderstorm watch that was in effect earlier has ended for the Orangeville, Barrie, and Aurelia area. Perfect. Thank you. Um, there is a new severe thunderstorm warning, or maybe that's the one that just came out. Is that just um, issued? Oh, I see that. Amworth. Yeah. It was just added. Yeah. I'll add it to the map. Okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, Stephanie says, where is Adam? Um, that's a good question. Where am I? Oh, do you mean like <laughs> where am I located? Um, or like where I am at this stage in life? Is this like philosophical? Um, okay, I'm located in Barrie, and maybe did you mean like how come I'm not on the screen? Here I am. Hello, if that's what you meant. And if you meant where am I in life? I don't know. I got some thinking to do. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot. A lot of, this guy needs to do some thinking. That's deep. Um, <clears throat> that's real deep. So uh, I want to post about this rotation, but where I'm trying to figure out exactly where. Uh, it kind of fizzled a bit. Eh, I'm gonna leave it. I'm going to leave it. We'll see. Um, randomly hearing some fans. Liam, is your noise canceling on? Uh, I will double check. <laughs> One second. Feeling it's not. Just like every time you touch the desk, like boom. It's all good. I was already giving Brennan a hard time about that earlier, too. <laughs> I'm going to get you. I'm going to figure out a way to get you. Well, I know Liam, Liam has uh, NVIDIA broadcast, which is helpful. Um, Oh, Seth says SBC has moved the 15% win risk eastward into Ontario. Yeah, they uh, they definitely um, they definitely pushed it. Let's see here. Uh, Brenda says we don't know who Adam is. We hear he works out of his basement. <laughs> I certainly do. <laughs> we all do. Like there's we, as opposed to like spending all this money in some office, which is we don't have to travel to, and uh, we just all work from home. It's much better that way. Because then we're all over the place. Liam is in Hamilton. Brandon is uh, from Bracebridge, but he's in Toronto right now. And uh, I am Barry Boy. Always in the Barry. Allison says he's in the basement. That's right. Where it's safe. <laughs> Always in the basement where it's safe. <laughs> Lord, of the three, Lord of the of the Fries says, where is Adam in the timeline of his life? Is he at midlife? More at seven. Yeah, I think we need to do a whole live stream on that. On where where am I specifically? Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Um, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's certainly getting deep here. Okay, so uh, yeah, the storms in eastern Ontario are they're looking interesting, even though we don't have much radar coverage for them. But let me bring that up now, so we can kind of take a peek. Is Franktown back? No, I keep clicking on it, optimistically hoping it's going to do something, but it does nothing. Uh, what's going on up here? This is interesting. A ah. little bit of kind of minor rotation northeast of Wilson, which is uh, south of uh, what park was that? Centennial Lake Provincial Nature Reserve. Kind of a little bit of minor rotation there. Um, Camel what? shoot. Cole keeps, Cole keeps sending me stuff. Uh, camel shoot, yeah, that's right. And uh, I guess I basically got an Apple Watch just so Cole can bzz me all the time. <laughs> I feel uh, that too. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on Do Not Disturb real soon. Um, that's all good. I appreciate him sending stuff, but he's sending it to the chat there. It looks like what was that? 
what was that report he sent? I didn't see. One second here. Uh, Liam, yeah, still. I can, still? yeah, still definitely. Really? Oh. All yeah, the warnings all... in the U.S. got downgraded to six mile, 60 miles per hour. Okay. But now, now, Liam, it actually might not be still in. Back up to 70. It might be Brennan. So it might not actually be you. What is it? It's hard to tell. I was just it telling Liam be, that. It was was asking, my it's still here, though. It's probably my I can't hear anything right now. Okay, so I, I, turned down my, okay. I turned down my mic sensitivity. Yeah. I okay. think it's better. It's better? I think it's good. I think okay. it's solid. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what Liam sent in the weather chat. Oh, I see. It was a damaging wind report from Shepherd, Michigan. Interesting. Yeah, the, the winds coming into, going into Lansing, Michigan look crazy. Like 100 and, I saw 115 kilometers an hour. Uh, that's from Detroit radar. So... Hmm. Wow. James says, hi, Adam. I am back. Thanks, James. Glad you're back. Welcome back. Let's see here. Uh, Juliet says, will Instant Weather ever get a member from Mississauga? Uh, maybe. I don't see why not. It's hard to say. We got members from all over the place. All over Canada. But... Uh, but yeah, quite a quite a few places in Ontario as well too. Let's see here, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, Mr. B says, "You think it's okay to go for a walk in Aurelia in the next or so?" Um, I don't see why not. If they meant I think hour, it's fine. I I think you're fine for the next few hours. The next yeah, you're fine. What? Walk it up, walk it up, go for it. Give her. Um, yeah, I think you're fine for sure. And then we're going to get a bunch of, we're going to get, as soon as I answer one, like walk request, there's going to be 75. Can I walk in <laughs> Mississauga? Like, is, <laughs> is Frank town up? No. <laughs> Keep checking. Can I walk to Frank town? <laughs> I, I do. Can well, I Brennan and I made like a bet. Like we made a gentleman's bet of will Frank town come up? And I didn't realize it's, it's an unexpected outage. I thought they were just like working on it. So I said, yeah, it'll be back. I bet you they're going to put it back up. Like just as these storms go in Eastern Ontario. And then we found out it's an unexpected outage, which means there's no change. Why don't you come up after like, it'll come up after we finish streaming. Yeah. It'll probably come up. Like yeah, the minute. second we're done. Yeah, exactly. They might get some storms overnight. So we'll see. We will see. Um, Jackie says, Adam, has the radar changed at all with that big band coming in at 8 p.m.? It, you know, future radar has changed drastically. It, we were looking at some future radar, Liam, at, at one point where it was like this huge red cluster going straight through southwestern Ontario. And then all of a sudden I said, hey, let's take a look at the newest future radar update. And it was just like the line just fizzled and then almost nothing went into southwestern Ontario. So her, right. the her 19 z uh, is still looking pretty impressive coming through Sarnia into the London areas around seven, eight, nine o'clock. Uh, but uh, yeah, but we'll have to see. Philip says, "Have you checked Franktown recently? Maybe it's up." <laughs> I, can't. Wait, I haven't. Check Let's, see. Let's check again. You ready? Right. Drum roll. Watch it be up. No. 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 Franktown is not up. So we still just sit and wait for the line coming from Michigan. I have reflectivity reflectivity doesn't look as great as it once did on this line. It it did, I mean the velocity still looks good, but reflectivity was like a sharp red edge and now it's this like yellowish greenish mix. I have a feeling future radar is onto something and we've actually looked at several future radar updates since and they're all kind of not that great. So it splits right before Chatham. It like splits and goes, like if anything. I know exactly. Like, of course, it does. Kingsville. Or Patricia and Lindsay are our Chatham team members that uh, we do often have the twelve C. Wonder why twenty Z. Her. Oh, twenty said. Let me see if I can get it up. Okay, look at this. We even have overlays. There we Fancy. Are. Somewhere. All right, let's see. 
I have to figure out what I'm okay. That's eight o'clock. Oh. Yeah, so okay, five o'clock. Let's see. Guess we're there right now. Six o'clock. That's pretty close to where it is. Yeah. Big split. Seven o'clock. And there is some like little pop up cells down here. South of Sarnia. Yeah, there might be might be something in front. Mm-hmm. And then that's eight o'clock. What's well, eight? It kind of dies out. Hmm. I can't go past eight. <laughs> this is like the furthest it goes right now. But there's some interesting stuff going on in Ottawa too. Yeah. Maybe some kind interesting of stuff in Ontario. Time. Nosferatu says, Adam, are you taking song requests? Funny you ask. I'm like <laughs> chopped liver around here when Liam's Liam's around. <laughs> We can get it's like great music. i gotta play four gigs a week and then i come on here and you put me to work i just finished a gig actually that's where <laughs> i came from that's where i had to run home from oh cool so, oh nice where would you where'd you play I was, I was playing oakville at a retirement home so oh, that's great yeah awesome. cool where in oakville uh just the oakville uh senior center or it's like oakville's uh, it's on it's on uh lakeshore so it's just right on the lake oh, shore. It's right on lakeshore yeah. yeah they got a beautiful lakeshore there it's nice mm -hmm. I don't know why like Brian is pushing for me to sing the Pokemon theme. I don't even I don't even know it. I mean I know it, but I don't what know. What is it. the Pokemon you know? theme? I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, uh Alana says we're canceled for not knowing the theme. That's why she needs to be on here. <laughs> yeah, maybe Atlanta can come on and sing the Pokemon theme. <laughs> <laughs> he said some things we can't repeat. <laughs> uh, oh, dear. Oh, maybe something going on. And uh, I was watching this little cell here. This Bell Heck, Bell Rock, Oak Flats. Kind of got a little hook on it, actually. Eastern Ontario. There's nothing happening right where the hook is, though, but there's something going on south of it. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this is pretty brutal to deal with this radar outage when we have storms in Eastern Ontario because, like, this is, like, the main risk area right now, and we can't get close to these storms. We, we can only look at them from a, quite a distance. From a distance see here um yeah it's frustrating it'd be nice what's to have happening a radar up near like, st marie it'd be nice to have like a radar rate at like petawawa like that'd be a good good spot right there the to blocks. put a radar in petawawa yeah that'd, that'd be fantastic i know it'd be amazing Ooh, what's going on up north whoa i was just gonna mention that yeah i clicked on that i got an that idea where we can put storm. the radar Frank that? <laughs> you know me, it'd be amazing. One day, like if somebody if I win a lottery, I'm gonna buy a I'm gonna buy a mobile radar station. And then anytime we have a crazy risk going on, I'm just gonna like drive that truck and set it up wherever the risk area is, so that we have like like one minute intervals or 30 second intervals, you know, like it'd be sweet. <laughs> Have super duper high res real time radar wherever the risk area is going to be. It would be tricky though, like where to put it. Like today would have been a tricky one. So we put yeah. it in Barry, we put it in Petawawa, and then like you know Barry didn't really happen. So do we drive? All of a sudden somebody starts driving it as fast as they can out to Pembroke. Yeah, it doesn't seem it doesn't actually seem that safe. It seems like a horrible idea. I changed my mind. Yeah, future radar just shows all the storms dying before Hamilton. Yep. Well, of course. Yeah. Of course. For Liam. That's my fault. Makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nosferatu says put a radar in Goebbels. <laughs> <laughs> I still like to call it Gobbles, but it turns out it's not. Um, Jen L says Sunny here. In... Goebbels. Sunny here in East Willemberry. You guys rock. Thanks so much, Jen. Appreciate it. And thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you kindly. 
Um, Daniel says, Pokemon, it's you and me. I know my destiny. Pokemon, oh, you're my best friend in a world we must defend. I'm thinking that's the song. Thank you for that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So you just sang it. I guess I just sang it with, with little inflection. Little inflection. Let's see here. <laughs> uh, Greg says, latest feature radar seems to be putting back some energy around 9 p.m. Stratford, Kitchener, Waterloo. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Let me see. Um... Hmm. Yeah, the top here. of the line seems to regenerate a little bit once it gets back on the land on future radar. Cool. Um, Charlissa, 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 Charlissa says Adam, the weather network is forecasting strong storms for Huntsville from 10 p.m. till 2 a.m. Any truth to this, their radar looks a lot different from yours. So uh, we talked about this many times in the live stream, but certain future radars, such as theirs, what they do is they take past radar and they just move it in the direction it's going. So you'll notice that when it's in the past time frames, it's flexing and moving around and looking really organic. And then as soon as it goes into the future time frames, it just freezes and slowly drifts the way it was going. So assuming those storms are not going to change shape or speed, or anything else, and they're just going to keep going in the direction they were heading, then maybe that's possible. But if those storms fizzle in any way, or change shape, or die out, then that's probably not the case. Although Future Radar did show some interesting storms heading through the Bruce Peninsula, so maybe those could track to the east and maybe affect Huntsville overnight. It's possible. So, um, yeah, it's certainly possible. But yeah, if you just take past radar and move it forward, it's it's kind of a, a crapshoot. Someone needs to now. Someone needs to songify that unenthusiastic version of Pokemon with a full orchestra. Says Brian. Well, we have the fiddle taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's as full as orchestra gets. Unless Brennan's gonna get a triangle. Maybe Brennan get a triangle. That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> Once in a while. If you got a bunch of different triangles all in different keys, that could be pretty sweet. We'll just have to get you uh like we'll get you uh what are those things called? I forget. Steel drum? We'll get you a steel drum. That'd be cool. All right. So Sarah says I had to leave for a bit. Can anyone update me on the future forecast? Um that's a good question. I think I was going to pull up Future Radar to see if anything has changed. <laughs> Paranormal says, we need Adam Brennan and Liam singing a song. Adam and the Twisters. <laughs> I like it. Okay. So here's your latest Future Radar. Let me just hit play. Get it moving and bring it up here on the string before it changes. Ah, there we go. What's it going to do? Oh, it's kind of back. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's well, that's way different. I'm telling you, that one run was so drastically different. I knew something was weird with it. This is kind of back. Kind of back. We'll see. Let's see. So this is 515, 530, 545, 630, 7, 30. That looks strange. Like eight, it kind of like mirrors it. 30. Yeah, you know what I think it's a mix of is it's a mix of kind of what the weather network is doing where they're where they're moving the past radar forward. It's mixing that with the model mm -hmm. data. So that's why you sometimes see them kind of like converge and then the the old stuff dies off and the model data takes over. It's it's like this mix between the two, I think. Um which kind of makes sense. But uh you can see it, the model data is trying to do something with it now and then it dies right before Hamilton. Yeah, it splits around Hamilton and misses Liam entirely. So and Liam likes storms, so this is why this is why it splits. So, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, Vanessa has an interesting story. She says back on May twenty first, the Doratio day, 
The future radar showed the storm would come to Kemptville by 6 p.m. The storm got faster and hit earlier. Got home 10 minutes to spare because I saw recent radar and I had 20 minutes to get home by my bicycle. Wow, I'm glad you got home in time. You did not want to be on a bicycle during that storm. Oh, my goodness. So glad you got home in time. And that happens a lot. Yeah, with these, especially with these really fast moving lines that come in from like Michigan, coming from the States, um, <laughs> these MCSs and these M. CVs, and when they're coming in really quick, um, often future radar and the models have no idea. Like, they can't pick up on that speed. And so, yeah, that happens. So, especially in that case where it was a legitimate uh, derecho, um, yeah, it was faster than all the models said. In fact, the models barely even talked about that storm being anything special. And then if you look at the model data that happened right as it was happening, it finally started to pick up on it. But but all the model data from uh, before that know. had no idea. Yes? There's an interesting storm in eastern Ontario. Going Pull it up. Right. Right, right outside Bob's Lake. That Bob's Lake. Yeah, 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 right yeah. Here. And you're looking at KTYX for that? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? That is something. Dang. That is rotation. Good call, Brennan. Look at these eyes. Let me just check. Frank Town's up. <laughs> it won't be. That's gonna be a no. Of course, it's a no. Um, yeah, I see that for sure. Bob's Lake is that? That's going northeast. Let's see here. Yeah, Should and it's an right in the here, I'm assuming. TP. They can try. No, don't. Oh, it worked. It took a while, but it worked. Oh, and it's skipping some frames for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, so it's moving to the northeast. Okay. Yeah, I that's see that. That's all I was trying to say. Yeah, it's a little choppy. I don't know why it's skipping frames. We got to figure that out. Okay, so it's only on US radar. It's in the butt. Okay. All right. I'll go post about that right now. Bob's Lake. And Cole Lake. <laughs> Where is Bob's Lake again? One second here. Like north of Kingston, just right north of Kingston. Yeah, I see it. Okay. All right. Um, so about Lake. I see it there. Okay, cool. All right. So, and it's right at that bend. Okay. So, give me a sec. I'll post about that. And I think it's heading up towards what Smith Falls. I'm guessing. Yeah, about there. Let me just see here. Yeah, so some rotation. There. I'll, I guess I'll go minor. What, sorry? Yeah, I was just saying, kind of going to Smith's Falls, maybe a little to the south. Is it going more Somewhere. east? I'm going to animate it here. Hold on. Yeah, it's trying to go northeast. Yeah, it's pretty much going that way. Okay. All right, so to Smith Falls. And yeah, I'm maybe I'll extend it a little bit further to the southeast. But it is kind of going northeast, so yeah. Northeast. All right. Yeah. Hmm, I just heard myself back. I think it's from through Liam's, maybe. No, I heard that as well. Oh, was that Brennan? <laughs> uh, on the storm near Bob. Bob's Lake. Um, <clears throat> maybe it's better to stop mentioning like the tiniest little places and actually talk about like where it is. The storm north of Kingston. Give people a better idea of where exactly it is. North of Kingston, tracking to the northeast. There, potentially. My headphone gave out. Oh, that's why I could. That's why I could hear yeah, myself was. through your own. <laughs> yeah, it falls. Okay, cool. So uh, 517, and there's the date. So it looks good. Clickety, clickety, send, and there we go. Okay. I posted minor on that one. Okay. So, Liam, did you see we had a, um, we had a uh, report of, of, of a land spot earlier, which is an interesting video because it's a time lapse. I, I and it saw almost looks that, like yeah. this fog. Did you see that? It almost looks like this fog condensation 
Yeah, I mean, uh, Brennan. We... Oops. Hold on, hold on, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Uh, Hope, Hope Town. Look at the latest KTYX and look further north. And out of nowhere, a strong mezzo just popped out of nowhere near Hope Town, which is. Uh, I don't know if we'll have that latest frame yet on Pro. Might have to check on Looking. another option, but uh, but uh, yeah, I don't think your oh, are dogs are restless. Storm is coming. One sec here. Uh, let's throw it back over to. Uh, oh, I see where you're talking about. Up here. Yeah, up there, and the next frame after that gets even stronger there. So, um, yeah, wait, wait till that next frame comes up. I don't know if we have that yet. This is 05. Yeah, there's a new frame that comes up. For some reason, we're not. Oh, oh, we have the 11 frame. Yeah, that is. No, there's a frame. There's a frame even past that. So, no, there's a frame even past that. So, uh, I think we're loading US on a strange time. We're not doing. We should be doing. I think we're trying to assume it's every five minutes, but it's not, and that's why it's it's coming up in a strange pattern. So we need to tweak that. No, um, I think yeah, that's there's the latest definitely rotation. Maybe. No, latest is uh, fourteen, and that's eleven. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, anyways, but um, yeah, that storm definitely all of a sudden strengthened a lot on the next frame. So. Um, I'm going to send a notification on that one as well, too, because it's certainly standing out here as... Uh, where the heck is that exactly? It's just north of where I sent that last notification, yeah, I believe. North of the Blaine town. Town, right You near. can even see it on Blaineville. Oh, really? If you look at Blaineville, yeah, what? you can see it. Yeah, northwest of Blaine. That's what I'm talking about, exactly. Okay. Um, yeah, check Blaineville, Brennan, see if you can see it on that. Yeah. And that might be going towards Ottawa, actually. Yeah, that would be going oh, yeah, pretty can. northeasterly. I'm going to notify those in Ottawa on that one, because it's kind of heading that way. Let me just animate it here. see which way oh the latest update is weaker than the last one so it was very it was very one framey yeah it looked good for one frame oh and it's merging i think it's a merge signature i'm not gonna send that all right all that for nothing i'm not gonna send that yet but let's keep an eye <laughs> on that one only we had a radar uh, right there I know, if only I have a Frank Town Raider. Sue says, hello, Adam. I upgraded from the basic plan to the pro plan. What is the advantages of the pro plan? Um, so uh, it gives you a five-hour future radar, and it also removes the ads from the app. So if you still see ads at the bottom of the app after you upgrade, then go to the upgrade radar page again, which you can find in the menu, and click uh, enable and restore purchases. And that will uh, remove the ads and then reboot the app, and then you're good. That should be fine. Severe so thunderstorm warning just issued for that area. Makes sense. Yeah, I see that there. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Some storms, hey, are Frank, make, some storms are beginning to make their way into southwestern Ontario, just out in front of the line. Just looks like oh, really? uh, some heavy, moderate to heavy rain, but other than that, not much. Hmm. Let's see. I see. You mean like the storm in Windsor right now? Yep. Yep. Just some pop up yeah. little cells in front of the big line. Interesting. Kind of. And it's only what? It's only five o'clock, and there's already pop ups going in southwestern Ontario. So we'll see. Uh, Al Alonia or Aliona? Aliona? Liona says, do you guys think that there's going to be a tornado or do you think there's not going to be one today? Um, it's hard to say. There's there's an environment in place. So, you know, uh, we can we can we can speculate, but it, ultimately we have no idea until we see some strong rotation and then we can try to pinpoint where things are going. But uh, yeah, but it's for us to say there's going to be one or there's not going to be one. That's going to be complete speculation at this point in time. It's hard to say. Is there an environment that has the potential 
to produce a tornado? Yes. Is there going to be a tornado for sure? I don't know. Ryan says, did I hear Hamilton gets missed again? Well, that's what Future Radar says, but that's not guaranteed. Hamilton could see a storm. Because there are storms in the um, there are storms in the Hamilton area on Future Radar, and that means that maybe one of them could actually end up affecting Hamilton, but it's not it's not for sure. Not for sure. All right. Um, you know what? I'm going to grab a bite to eat if you guys don't mind. I'm taking over and yammering on for a little bit. Let's grab some food and then come back. Is that for cool? sure? Mm -hmm. All right. Sweet. I'll be back. Brennan and Liam will rock it for you. For now. They're Peace. awesome. I'm going to come back. This is going to be fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> we promise we won't break anything. Maybe. All right. Try not to break things. Maybe. Oh, there you go. And then, oh, let's see if we can get oh. split screen. <laughs> there we go. There, there we go. go. We're about it. Okay. So we will just take a look at see what these storms are doing up here. I won. Oh, we're stuck on that frame. Uh, the 11 frame, yeah. We're not getting any new frames. I hope it's not down now, too. If we lose, I don't APYX think it, well. because I see the frame on um, radar yeah, scope. Yeah. So I think okay. it's just an issue with what we're getting. Hmm. But we can see if I can get. <clears throat> I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, this line coming into southwestern Ontario, like coming from Michigan, it's very like this mm -hmm. very strong, just like it's like a nice edge. Like there's not, it's not even bowing. It's just a straight edge. And it goes all the way down to. Not. Whoa, look at the wind on this. Yep. But what I'm no. Okay. Uh, might be able to. Oh, yeah, I see that because Detroit's down too. Yeah. So we'll see if I can bring up. I'm wondering if this, if this is a split that we're going to start seeing. See how there's a little uh, crack in the middle of this one, just east of Lansing. I'm wondering if that's the split we're going to be beginning to see. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, I see that. So future radar might be correct. Yep. Because that wasn't there a couple frames ago. Right behind it. I wonder what. Oh yeah, we're really delayed. This is just. So, well, that is going. There we go. Pull up future radar here with Pivotal. Do we have more of the her then? Have, yeah, I guess more I'm going to see if there's the latest update on it. I can find where it is. There it is. Just refresh it to see what latest one we have. And it's still 20Z. So this one would be five o'clock and then six o'clock and seven o'clock and eight o'clock. We're still seeing some storms over in the Ottawa region, even after seven or eight o'clock. Oh, really? So Alana is reporting that, um, there's a tornado report on the storm in Michigan right now that is on the ground. Figuring out where that is. Do you know where, Lana? Howell, Michigan. 
Is it like on Twitter? Okay. Okay, thanks. Uh, probably. I'm gonna check and see if I can see this. Uh, yeah, there's a CC drop and everything. Mm -hmm. Howl. I'm trying to figure out where that is on the map. Do not know Detroit or Michigan very well. Howell, Michigan is just east of, uh, just down the road east of Lansing. So between, basically the middle between Detroit and Lansing. So it's probably this uh, right here. Oh yeah, I see it. But you can bring it up. When was that report from? That was from 522, that was five minutes ago. I'm gonna try to see if I can get the old frame on here. What station did he get this frame from? This screen grab? Because I'm not seeing... It might be the Detroit airport, maybe? I don't know if we got that. There... No. It could be that. Because, yeah, like I didn't... Maybe. Hmm. Oh, I got it. Yeah, Howell, I, I don't see that signature on the main line when I go back, but I mean, I, I, maybe I'm just not looking from the right station. Um, mm -hmm. It could be the airport one. Let me see. Let me look. But yeah, so if that's correct, then that, that whole... Everything seems to be tracking more, like... It's weird because half of the storms on with the store, like are tracking more northeast, and some of them are tracking more. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna try to figure out where that radar frame comes. There it is. Oh, oh, it's probably because Pro doesn't have the that frame. So it's delayed right now. Let's see if it shows up on radar scope. Even on RS, there's there's no there's no yeah. couplet from uh, KDTX or um, Grand Rapids. I just don't know where. Oh, what's this? Maybe. Actually, actually, I see a signature on the latest frame from that might be just, that might be just open air but on the latest frame from uh grand rapids just northeast of howell mm -hmm. so that might be open air um yeah i see that too yeah that looks like it's just in the middle of the uh like an inflow or something mm -hmm. um, yeah it looks like no i'm not seeing it and it's not yeah. even severe thunderstorm warrant, I don't think. Oh, maybe it is. Yeah. Never mind. There, this whole line has... It uh... is. Hey. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out where they caught that image from. Hmm. I'm not seeing yeah, that. I'm looking at it right now, the four pane one with. Uh, mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm not seeing where that was got from, though. Doing that. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder if it might be um, higher tilt. 
could have been. Yeah. Because there's like no, there's no information on what tilt it was on, or you, like again, the radar station in the screenshot. Yeah, I think it it's tilt free Grand Rapids. Okay. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna see if I can bring up. There we go. Transition. There we go. Mm. Go back here. This is what I think they were talking about. Right here. Okay. Thanks. I'll take a look at that right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. That velocity looks very weird. I've that does. Something like that before where it's a... It's not even like it's on the the plane, like the axis of it, but um, let's try oh. tilt two. No, still the same. Tilt three, tilt four. They're all the same. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one just outside of Amisoga. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It was very strong. Yeah, I'm wondering if is Adam here? Is that was that was there something put out about that for like a minor? I think it's under severe thunderstorm warning with a mention of a tornado risk. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Unless that's changed. I'm just gonna check CC. No. Okay, that's good. About... Yeah, it mentions the tornado risk. Okay. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm here. I'm just eating some mm -hmm. stuff. It's quite strong. There it is. Was this in northeastern Ontario? Yeah. Camascotia? Yeah. Like Camascotia? Yeah, let's not say. Northwest of Timmins. Yep. Wow. That looks pretty strong. Yeah, it's been going pretty... I'm surprised it's not in the tornado warning. Let's see if I can... Let's see what the storms are doing... Out east to change to radar scope. We will take a look at east. Oh, we have to do the obligator. Nope. I don't have any Frank Town yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> are you, are U.S. processing is just a little a little wonky. That's something we that's yeah. something on our list to do. So yeah, just, I just we, switched we just to like radio and frames. That's all good. I don't know what they're what's going on with. Why am I? I don't know why. Oh, there we go. I was like, where the velocity go? <laughs> Not seeing anything crazy strong out east right now. 
there is a storm near just outside of Perth that does have a little bit of wind to it, but don't hmm. think it'll pose much of an issue. It is under a severe thunderstorm warning, though. And then... Or watch it from quite a distance. The main concern right now. Yeah. There are some pop-ups um, showing up right now on um, Lake Huron. Oh. At least one of those winds are in that. Is it... Is that severe thunderstorm warnings right up to the border? Yep. Yeah, that I'm pretty is. sure there was, there was just a marine warning issue too for the uh, for the. Uh, yeah, I wonder what that says. Waterway. I'm gonna take a look. Mm. I can click on it. Special marine. Uh, just for a storm. I, I, I don't see. Yeah. Excessive 50 knots. Or just preempting the main line. Uh, what's going on there? You see, um, just uh, just west of the border, if you go like right in line with Amherstburg, there's a town called Clinton. You just go to the west and meet up with the mm -hmm. line. Check that out. There's some interesting signatures all up and down the line right here. Oh yeah. There's about three little signatures that I'm seeing. I mean, they're not perfect, but... I'd be... This one is really interesting. Mm -hmm. What's the latest? Do we have a model update? We'll find out. Do we? Nope. I'll, I'll pull up the latest feature radar if you want. Yeah, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. I don't have a way to uh, to do that yet. I don't have. Look it. I'm just. Uh, I use a. I use an app called Reflector Four, I think. Okay. And then I, and then I'm able to uh, mirror the iPad to the computer through Wi-Fi. Oh, cool. Which is my little thing. My little method here. Um, let me just see if I got the latest. Clean, did I tell you that uh, the new feature radar method we're experimenting with is uh, like? Uh, did you hear any of that? I read a bit of it in the chat. I think I was doing something else. I think I was working or something. Yeah, like or, like basically. 627 kilobytes for six hours of future radar data oh, as opposed to the six megabytes that we're that we're using right now so it'll be quicker to load then because i like i remember i was out somewhere without any with barely any data for the day oh it's gonna and take it forever was, yeah yeah that's six megs <laughs> will take forever that's right that's a really good point if you have spotty reception right then yep it'll be like night and day yeah that's totally right so and this is it right here so let's hit play It's the same data. It's just we're just using a, a unique process now to, uh, to so it's so it's not PNGs. It's like the raw data being processed. So, anyways, but it's it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and then it all tapers off into the evening and hours. So, Mrs. Hamilton again, and Mrs. Hamilton, of course, but of course, has to. <laughs> um, did Probably you guys want me to send the? Did you want me to send a tornado potential in that, in that northeastern Ontario storm? I mean, it's already warned with a severe thunderstorm warning that mm -hmm. that's a tornado risk. I mean, Brendan... yeah, but but who actually reads the warning details? And it's really yeah. close to Timmins. It's yeah. so close to Timmins right now. Yeah. Let me look at what. Let's take a peek back at it here. It's like, <laughs> yeah, this is not a nice looking storm. And there's a there's a quite a hook right here. No. I don't think the the strongest part of the rotation is actually going to affect Timmins, but Timmins is still going to get hammered by that storm. Let's see here. Uh, but maybe the really south side of it. It's going super northeast. So, <clears throat> and this is all kind of broad rotation, but yeah, there's like there's like that couplet right near the... Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should send a, just send a rotation update so just folks in that area know. Cause yeah, it's just weird. It kind of feels like it's even though it's connected a bit. 
Even though it's really rural, you'd be surprised how many people. I think it might be because it's right. It's right on the line of the radar. Where the radar is, it's like yeah, right along the right. south it's parallel about, line. Pretty close. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's crossing over that line. You make a good point. Let's do. Uh, let's utilize the nice part about mm-hmm. swiping here. Hook. Mezzo. Like I think that would be the couplet right in here. And there's kind of that almost a debris ball of. But is there any correlation coefficient? I don't think so. We got to take a look at southwestern Ontario quick too. Ah, uh, there's a little something there's something going on right in here. But it's kind of an. Uh, it's interesting. There's it's not nothing. Huh. I don't know. That's a, that's a tricky one. I think it's worth mentioning. All right, um, I can post that. We'll go take a peek down at southwestern Ontario here quick. So I'll definitely send that notification to the folks in that area. And you're right. Look, I can't believe we already have storms. It's only 543. <laughs> what is happening? That's what the herd was showing. Oh, what? It just says we have trouble streaming to LinkedIn. This may be an issue on LinkedIn's end. Did LinkedIn cut us off after four hours? That's what it is. LinkedIn cut Perhaps. us off after four hours. That's exactly what happened. We just were so I'm going to remove it. Appropriate enough. No, it's exactly four hours. It has to be. I'm going to remove it and then I'm, oh, going yeah. to, I'm just going to start it again. I'm just going to re-add it to the stream and we should we should re-go live on LinkedIn. Yeah, we're, we're live again on LinkedIn. How funny is that? Okay. So, I mean, we have we have Detroit. Hopefully we're getting good intervals. What does it say? 24? Yeah. Why is it so far behind? What the heck? It might be. You know what it might be? Yeah, I don't just... think we have that many servers. We don't have that many servers dedicated to to the U.S. processing. So I have a feeling that it's just being overwhelmed and it can't keep All up. of us doing it. That's what I think it is. It's probably yeah. not and helping then, you the frame counts down. And then there's like 20 people on the alpha test. And they're, they could just be randomly clicking U.S. radars for all I know. And that would probably just destroy the whole thing. So, yeah, I don't think that's going to help. Yeah, that's why it's at 24. It's way behind. That's way behind for sure. So, I mean, uh, all Canadian radar will be the most current. So, yeah. All right. So, so far, Southwestern Ontario is not looking too crazy. Should probably, like you say, pull up Detroit on another application. wonder if pull it up on Omega as well, too. Let's see here. I've got it there. There's nothing spectacular. No, those storms are nothing. But the ones yeah. coming in from you're right. That one, that that one that's just ahead of the line to the west, near uh, Ann Arbor, northeast of Ann Arbor, which would be mm-hmm. this storm right here. It doesn't show much here, but on the Detroit radar, it does. So this storm heading into it's probably going to cross Lake St. Clair if it keeps on the same path. I'm just going to animate that, and in the background, I'm going to quickly go send a notification to northeastern Ontario because that storm is ridiculous. <clears throat> I want to make sure those in the area know what's up. Okay, so do 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 do. Um. Oh, severe thunderstorm warning just issued for Windsor, Chatham, Kent, Sarnia. Just saw it. That makes sense. I'm glad they did that. Yep. Good. 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 You guys see the 41? I think they're doing that preemptively. Did you see the 41? They're doing that preemptively. Yeah. For the northern Ontario storm, the one by Timmins. Do you see the 41? I haven't seen it. No, what is it? Check it. It's uh there's a big there's a massive like there's a notch now and there's more concentrated rotation in there. Oh yeah. Yep. Whoa. Okay. Um I'm gonna go ahead and, and go tornado potential on that so that's nuts okay let's see here okay i just want to let them know uh tornado potential on the storm near cam is i mean north East of I'll just put up the alert map while you're doing that. 
And what time is it right now? It's 5.47. Here we go. That looks good to me. Clickety, clickety. Send, send, send. 5.47 p.m. That looks good. All right. I sent it to Timmins just because it's so close that if somebody's traveling, like they might only have Timmins on the app. It's just like so close that I was like, okay, I'm going to put Timmins in there. But I mentioned the details that it's that it's tracking northeast of Timmins. <clears throat> but yeah, I had to I had to mention that or I had to send it to them. Um, oh, cool. So severe thunderstorm warning uh, for southwestern, deep southwestern Ontario. Winds are yeah, and it winds mentions a hundred kilometer wind gusts. Whoa. 100 kilometer an hour wind gusts and P to dime size hail. Okay. Thank you, Brennan. Appreciate that. And the storms are moving really fast, uh, Alana said as well, too. Okay. So I missed a thousand comments. My apologies if I missed your comment. Um, so we just posted about this storm. This is, if you want to look at talk about rotation here, and this is. We have organized rotation. We went tornado potential mm -hmm. up here. There's a hook. There's organized rotation, and the storm is tracking northeast of Timmins. That's a nasty storm up in northeastern Ontario. Um, let's go talk about the storms that are going to move into southwestern Ontario. Uh, I don't think these first little pop-ups is what Environment Canada is talking about. Likely, they're talking about this strong line of storms that's about to move in from Michigan. Um, but there, but these little pop-ups could actually, because of strong environment, they could develop stronger. So. Um, they may eventually become severe, and this cluster to the left is going to be pretty intense as it moves uh, through deep southwestern Ontario. So that's going to be interesting for sure. I'm glad that uh, Environment Canada put out the severe thunderstorm warning on uh, that one. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty intense. And I've got some Gatorade. So there's that. Did you feed your cat? Yeah, that's nice. No, not yet. They haven't bugged me yet. So when they bug me. <laughs> oh, and I do have to put um, my son to bed tonight. So get prepared for that. There will be a window. A window of that <laughs> happening. Right around. Uh, a window of chaos. Window. He'll probably go to bed. There'll be a window of chaos where I'll be there. That's the thing. I'm still there with like an Apple AirPod in my ear. And I'm still like messaging you guys like, hey. Talk about stuff or something like that. Um, but yeah, so I'll be there in spirit. Let's see here. Uh, Emily says power is going off and on. Emily, where are you located? Apparently, 180,000 uh, people in Michigan are without power. 180,000? Mm hmm. That's what Cole says. Dang. All right. Well, let's see. We got to keep an eye on that. Well, let's actually. We haven't looked at uh, Eastern Ontario in a little bit here. So, what do we got there? That's that's an old frame. Let's see if Frank Town's up. Uh, that was nice. So there's there actually is a severe thunderstorm warnings in eastern Ontario, which Brennan has mentioned as well too, or put into yeah, his image there. Um, and uh, thank you. So as you can see in red, those are the severe thunderstorm warnings. So Smith Falls and surrounding communities uh, up to Renfrew, and then we have severe thunderstorm watch that still covers Petawawa, Pembroke, well, I think... all the way down to Prince Edward. Oh, did that get ended or? No, Ottawa was decided. Ottawa was added to the severe thunderstorm Please? warning. Yeah. I think it was. Okay. Let me see what was um, yeah. added. No worries. If you want to redo that okay, map, and then I'll. Yeah. 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 All good. No worries. Mm -hmm. No worries. Okay. So, yeah, we still have uh, it's pretty intense storms. Uh, it looks like in eastern Ontario, but we don't really have great radar coverage because Franktown is down. So, that is the eastern Ontario radar is currently down. So it's really difficult to find out the severity of what we are dealing with here. But it's okay. That's okay. We'll deal with it. We have U.S. radar to look at. We have the Montreal radar to look at. And uh, and we still continue to track uh, storms in southwestern Ontario and in northeastern Ontario. It is a busy day, folks. Busy, busy. 
this storm that's just northwest of Timmins is looks brutal and I hope everybody's staying safe up there because there's definitely a rotation notch and uh, and it's definitely an intense storm out there. So that's tilt two actually. Let's go back to tilt one and see. Yeah, that's tilt one. And it's, it's rotation for sure. So yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty intense storm. I hope everybody's staying safe up there. Pretty strong region of storms in northeastern Ontario. Did I say northwestern? I hope I said northeastern because I meant <laughs> northeastern. And, and then we have, uh, and then we've got storms coming in to southwestern Ontario. I'll hit play on that. Oh, you can't see it because Brennan's got the alert map up. Okay, Brennan, do you yeah, want to run through those alerts again? No, no, no. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so the severe thunderstorm warning has moved east towards Renfrew, Ottawa, and Smith Falls. The previous severe thunderstorm warning that was in effect for the, let me double check what those areas were, the Sherbot Air, Lake area and the Tamworth area have ended and they've been downgraded to a watch. And the severe thunderstorm warning continues to remain in effect for deep southwestern Ontario, including Windsor, Chatham, Sarnia, and a watch going up into the London, Grand Bend, and Goddard area. Perfect. Thank you. But there is a, right, lot so a lot of green getting, on the map. A lot of what? A lot of green, a lot green. of ended? Yeah, which is good. Yeah, that's absolutely. Slowly, sure. but surely. Slowly. And we'll see what happens too, because it's, it's like that one section of it is being ended and then the next section coming in is, mm -hmm. is being added so we'll have to see how, the, how far this line goes um <laughs> the time capture I says i said crackers but i think it's snacks either way i'm referring to adam's cat when will it make its appearance <laughs> snacks will be on the live stream at 7 42 i believe at 7 42 is when he's slated to show up on the live stream now, whenever he's hungry, he'll come and bug me, and then you'll get to see him for a second, and then I'll go feed him. That's how it goes. There is another cat back there, but you just never get to see her. Her name's Penny. And she just sits in her cat tree, and I, that's basically what she does. Okay, so, um, yeah, so pretty interesting line coming in. I wanted to see if there was a new feature radar update. Yeah, her just started the 21Z, so I'm waiting for that. Something. Something to talk about. Um, that's Otherwise, something we'll to talk have about to go while back we wait for this. Oh, let's not go back to cookie dough. Just, <laughs> just Liam doesn't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, Liam missed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Um, I'm going to scrap the minor rotation Whoa. that was north of Kingston. And I'm going to Detroit scrap is the looking minor rotation. Strong. Let me put that up. Was that a was that a comment? There we go. Yeah, Detroit Which is looking noise. strong. Ooh, still strong. Yep, still strong. So, ouch. Yeah, that's a pretty nasty line of storms coming into Where southwestern Ontario. So. City names are super small there, so it's hard to see, but. It's all good, yeah. but that's that's the line that's coming into yeah. southwestern Ontario at this point, and so to see how that does develop. Okay, so hope everybody's staying safe. I can't believe all these folks have continued to hang out on our live stream. So thank you so much for continuing to hang out while we watch radar and carefully, carefully track these storms i think i yeah i think some too many people have been loading us radar so i think our the minimal servers that we dedicated to us radar have exploded i'm pretty sure that's what happened so we'll just have to keep swapping back to other options it's all good no biggie oh i wanted to see the latest future radar which i have here so let me pull that up let me just hit animate first there we go uh oh i'm gonna get to it quick it's, ah it's already in. all right <laughs> So, this new radar, we can tilt quite a bit. Let's see here. 
Okay. Let's see. We're just trying to... And this goes all the way to 1145, which is pretty useful. Yeah, so that line moves in. Um, maybe some cells ahead of it. The line kind of does some weird mixing. And then... Yeah, and then it kind of falls apart. Right, right about Hamilton. It's where, Liam, it's where it falls apart. Oh, <laughs> come on. That's what happens for Liam. Always for Liam. Severe thunderstorm. You guys are Kingston. awesome. Thanks so much. Oh, for Kingston? Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I don't know if it's a flood thing or maybe winds. I'm not sure. Probably that one. There's some storms over in Lake Ontario tracking along the border. It's probably what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, Road Rage Gamer says, hello, I'm new to your stream. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. But I got a severe thunderstorm warning and I have big phobia. So I hope it isn't a bad one. Uh, let us know uh, where you got the warning from and we'll take a look at that storm. No biggie. No biggie. Um, let's see here. Vanessa says, you make storms easier to deal with. Thank you so much, Vanessa. Appreciate that. Uh, we have a uh, oh, compelling tornado question here. warning for uh, Kate Timmons. Of course. We have a um, uh, question, a very compelling question here. Oh, wait, that's not the question. Where did it go? I put up the wrong thing. Oh, man. Why did I put up that? But I'm not yelling in real life, so that's clearly not. This is the question I was talking about. Andrea says, why is Franktown down? very important question yes. uh, they it said an unexpected outage so something went wrong with the radar which means uh, the chances of it magically coming back up while we're tracking these storms is minimal so i initially had a feeling i had a gut feeling that maybe they would because sometimes they do that they'll, they'll be working on the radar they'll be doing scheduled maintenance and then it's like a big storm day they basically make a few shortcuts to get the radar going quick and then they take it back down after and finish the repairs um, but in this particular case it said an un unscheduled uh, outage. So here is your tornado warning for oh, uh, just to clarify the road. The strongest rotation is northwest of Timmins, um, which I should probably pull up on the radar. So just in case it changed magically. But uh, from what we saw, the, we don't the strongest rotation is impacted yet. That's looking. That oh whoa now it's really strong. Brandon, switch back over to radar for a second here. You got to see this northwest yeah. of Timmins. The the I, I really radar. like. Oh, right, I'm, I know I'm working on. Um, the uh, <laughs> so I, I really like to talk about uh, radar on the stream. Like often we talk about rotation, and you know, there's a lot of times we're looking at minor rotation, this and that. This is this is very evident rotation. So especially if we go back a few frames, you can see how it. You can see how this storm is turning. So this is velocity, by the way. So this is wind. So one color is the wind going one way, and the other color is the wind going the other direction. And so as you can see, like just watch this as I wrote as it rotates. You can really see it right that last frame. It went and it just like crunched together to create this. And if I swipe over, you know, it's right at this kind of hooking section of the storm. And if I swipe back, you can really see that this is a rotation couplet. You can see the green is really feeding in from this side. And you can see the red is coming uh, down from the top like this. And together, it's just... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. It's hard because I'm, I'm inverted here. So I think, yeah, it's going like this. You can really see that it's doing this. So uh, that is a rotation couplet. And I hope everybody's staying safe in that area. This is northwest of Timmins. Um, how many folks did I notify? Oh, there was 356 in the area when I sent that notification at 547 uh, there. So, yeah, so now a tornado warning from Environment Canada. I hope everybody's staying safe. Uh, to clarify, the strong rotation is not going into Timmins. It's going northwest of, it's actually northwest of Timmins, but the direction of the storm places the rotation northeast of Timmins, and that is why we mentioned um, in the actual details of our rotation update that the rotation is tracking northeast of Timmins, currently northwest of Timmins. Um, uh, so, oh, somebody said tilt two is nuts. Let's see here. Uh, Dominic. Oh, Dominic. Hey, there's Dom. We got to get Dom on the stream, by the way. Dom's awesome. 
Dominic is one of our team members and he is out in Eastern Ontario and he rocks. So we should totally get Dom on here. Let's see here. So uh, hooking storm, strong rotation couplet. And Dom says, take a look at tilt two. So tilt two is even higher up in the storm. And yeah, tilt two is nuts. And let's see tilt three. Let's just keep going. Until four. So yeah, it's supported up top for sure. Um, one second here. Yeah, it's definitely supported up top. So I'm going to switch over to correlation coefficient, which see if there's a debris signature. We can't see a debris signature here, and the radar's not that far away. So I'm wondering if it actually is producing right now. I have a feeling it's not, but uh, just based on radar data, I, if there was, I mean, you have to imagine how many trees are in this area. Like, like there's basically trees everywhere. So if there is a, if there was a tornado going through, a debris signature should be a likely thing to see, and we're not seeing it really here. Um, there is some drops in CC though, some drops in the correlation, but not. Eh, Hold on, let's let's zoom in on this couplet and see. There is a drop to no, only 0.9, so nothing too crazy. Yeah, so definitely, so not seeing a debris signature, but this storm it looks really, it looks like it's really close to producing tornado if it hasn't already. So again, if you are northwest of Timmins and northeast of that area. That's a storm to take shelter with. This is the most dangerous storm that we're watching right now. Besides this super duper strong storm coming in, um, some of the velocity signatures coming into uh, into Windsor right now are looking pretty nasty. Um, there have been a lot of uh, wind damage reports on the storm. There hasn't been as many wind damage reports l super, super recently. Actually, I guess there has over in Ann Arbor. There was some pretty substantial wind. Well, there's like so. there's over two hundred thousand people without power now in Michigan. Well, well, there's that. Yeah. So this the whole time the storm has been going through, it has been obviously producing significant damage. So, um, so damaging storm uh, that has been uh, producing significant damage in Michigan is going to be moving into deep southwestern Ontario. So that's a problem, I would say. Um. Let's see here. There we go. Barry says, anything near Cambridge? Uh, anything for Cambridge? Maybe later on. Liam, what are you pulling up for us there? I see something interesting that you're working on in the background. Oh, you're not even on the stream. Do you want me to re-add you to the stream? Um, blink twice for yes. <laughs> uh, no, he says no. Nope. Okay. No, right. I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm still trying to recrop. Okay, no worries. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. That's all good. Do your thing. No worries. Okay, so um, uh, Julie says under a tornado warning, I believe. Julie, where are you? Are you re what are you referring to? Um, if you're referring to Kingston, they're under a severe thunderstorm warning, not a tornado warning at this point. Um, Smith. Kurosaki on YouTube had a question, but I didn't see it, and then followed with a question mark. Oh, I look. I see total spammer. I'm going to have to block that person. Spammer on Facebook that might have been missed that's trying to like, hey, can you please add me as your friend? To like some random person in a comment, which is brutal. So okay, I've, I've if you ever see the, that garbage... Uh... I've got the video here. Just ignore it. I'm just going to put up a uh, banner uh, here. Uh, can I add a banner with the name or do you want me to just put it in the chat? This is um, from Twitter. Um, uh, if you want to just, well, yeah, you you can do a banner if you want. Or do you want, you, you want me to do it? I can do it. I don't someone, said, the someone, said, someone said Amber Alert for Northwestern Ontario. I think maybe they meant an Amber Alert tornado warning. Like people refer to them as the same thing. Yeah, but I think tornado maybe they warning meant tornado warning for, to a lot of people. Yeah, and so they said for north western Ontario, but I think they meant northeastern. But maybe there's an actual amber alert. I didn't I didn't get one though. I mean, even well, if there was an amber alert in Amber alerts are usually in, like, done provincially. Yeah, so we would have got in that. Ontario we didn't would get one. So this is Whoa, this is in Liam, Kingston. What, whose video is this? 
This is from YGK Sky on uh, Twitter, and it's in Kingston. So I'll, just, I'll freeze frame it. Is there, there. any? Um, well, that's quite no... a shelf. Yeah. But that's, yeah, I just, I found that that was like the yeah. latest thing on uh, on Storm on Twitter. I figured I'd share that. Oh, that, um, that looks wild. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the, the leading edge of the shelf cloud there, which almost looks like a wall cloud, but because they're because it's moving from right to left in this video, it's the leading edge of the shelf, which often gets mistaken for uh, a wall cloud, but it's de this is definitely leading edge of the shelf, but it looks pretty intense. So hopefully everybody in Kingston is staying safe as well, too. We should take a peek uh, at Detroit's that. Detroit's looking well. very strong. Something yeah, it looks that. really strong wind wise. I know. Yeah, like it looks look really over here, strong. Whoa, it's, just north yeah, of it's actually intensifying. Whoa, it's intensifying. Yeah, Brennan, your thing's so that. fuzzy. I can't even see one city name on there, but don't worry about it. It's fine. It's, I don't know. It's just, it's just a fuzzy mess. But now it's, it's clearing up a bit. Eh, it's mm -hmm. a little bit better now, but the names are so small. It's almost like, whoa, Probably there's a new it. update. Hit, hit, refresh again, refresh again. Hit play. If you hit play, it'll refresh. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. The last update. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Going that right into winter. Bananas. Oh man, yeah. If you are in, uh, if you're in Windsor right now, if you're in Essex County, if you're in Chatham Kent, if you are east of Lake St Clair, um, and if you're south of Sarnia, there are some super strong winds coming in right now. Super strong. Oh, so hopefully, uh, oh, you found spammers. Let me see. I'll get him. Yeah. Oh, you already got, got him? him. Hey, you fast. I got him. Always. Oh. So Joseph's. Hold on. Joseph says Amber Alert equals missing child. A child missing. Yes. No. We we get this, but we're saying that um, often people refer to the tornado warning that comes through like an Amber Alert. They refer to it as an. I got an Amber Alert for a tornado. That's just they're just so used to that sound coming through, for um. See, exactly. So this is this is the comment. This is. People say this all the time. So Grayson Sim says, Environment Canada issued an Amber Alert for Timmins. So Environment Canada doesn't issue Amber Alerts, only the OPP do. Um, and so, but I'm, I believe what Grayson is saying is Environment Canada issued a tornado warning for Timmins, which is the case. Yes, not an Amber Alert. So we realize that an Amber Alert is, you know, for missing missing children um, or, or for usually for uh, what abducted children. But yeah, but that's not the case in this point. We would all know about an Amber Alert because it would be province-wide. But this is specifically a tornado warning for Timmins. This has nothing to do with Amber Alerts. Okay, so, uh, yeah. It almost looks like it's speeding up and increasing in strength, but that's also just because of its placement versus the radar. Mm -hmm. I wonder what it looks like from... Um, you know what? Try TDTW. Try the airport radar. Airport, yeah. It doesn't look... As strong, but there's a couple little pieces in there that are like super cute. QLSC, super strong. Uh, there's really strong winds right now in Amherstburg. If you're in Amherstburg, let us know what you're experiencing. If it's safe to do so. Oh, and it just cut off. They just put the triangle of of silence, the cone of silence, just totally cut off Amherstburg. But right before it did, there was pretty strong winds on that storm in Amherstburg right now. Um, thankfully, under a severe thunderstorm yeah. warning, but nothing like what's coming up north of it you see the cone of silence? Really you see anything. that triangle cut right out yeah no no go back one frame go back one frame that the cone of silence yeah. totally sliced it out if you go if you literally scroll back one frame um, oh. yeah <laughs> look at Amherstburg. you see how it got strong there for a sec whoa what look at the frame before what's, what's this no what? oh, uh can't right see south of taylor cursor. there no i yeah oh right i can't there. see your cursor no right there uh, that's like a tiny little couplet. This is, you know what these are? These are little yeah. QLSC embedded embedded rotation couplets within this line. So could this line produce tornadoes? Yeah. I'm going to go with yeah. This line is bananas. So, but damaging wind gusts for sure. But, uh, but yeah, there's, there's certainly, uh, certainly some, some tornado risk in there. Uh, if you even look at Robin says, I'm in Harrow ju just outside of, oh yeah, on that one slice of, yeah. I'm in Harrow, just outside of yeah. Amherstburg, on Lake Erie. The winds are kicking up. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Uh, Ange says, tornado warning for Timmins, apparently. Yep, we were all over it. Thank you, Ange. Appreciate it. Whoa. Yep, yep, yep. It's gotten even stronger here. It's even stronger. Uh, scroll down. Is that rotation on south? Look, look south. Right How there. Far? 
right west of Amherstburg. Yep. Zoom in on that. Yeah, and actually, I wonder if TDTW picks it up even more. TDTW has put a TVS there. Tornado vector signature. Um, that's pretty strong. Is that where is that going to hit? That might actually go south of. Might head more towards Point Point Pelee. Um, also to to the north, Brennan from Detroit. Uh, there mm -hmm. is. Uh, I thought I saw something. Oh. Something over Lake, Lake St. Clair. Oh, over Lake. There's Saint like Claire. a look over Lake St. Clair. There's a little. Yeah. There's a little something something, but it's it's weird. It's on kind of like the backside of the storm. It's in a weird spot, but that's something worth watching. But yeah, uh, Windsor's about to get hammered by super strong winds. I know we have a ton of folks in our community from Windsor. We are about to get hammered. I know they're they're under a severe thunderstorm warning, and they already had some storms. I have a feeling I should send another notification because this seems like it's. They're like, oh yeah, severe thunderstorm warning. You know, I, I hate that that happens to be uh, the perspective from a lot of folks, but you know, unfortunately, it is in some cases. But this is one of those times where it's like, mm, maybe we should send an extra notification to say like, you know, significant damaging wind risk because this line is bananas. If you there's uh, some strong you, winds in here. If you take a look at everything from Cleveland, it looks it looks kind of messy, but there is a little bit of a, an interesting signature just just northwest of Detroit. It's pretty far away, but from the radar, but just just take a look if you want to. Okay, I will. One second yeah. here. I think I should just send a notification to all those in the path of this one and say, and say, I know they're already under severe thunderstorm warning, and of course you should take that seriously. I just kind of feel like I want to emphasize that that there's quite a damaging wind risk on this. What do you guys think is a good idea? Mm hmm. Because even look at the before it went out, that Amifer storm. Yeah, you can kind of see it pop I up. Actually, you know what? I know exactly why we're sending this because I'm also going to mention um, embedded rotation. So, mm -hmm. yeah, let's say, ro yeah, rotation and significant wind gusts. Rotation and significant winds. We detected uh, embedded areas of rotation on this large storm line that is moving east into s deep southwestern Ontario. Yeah, and this is at 6.15. And there we go. 6.15, clickety, clickety. And uh, that looks pretty good. Rotation and significant winds. Okay, I'm sending that right now. To 20,000 folks that are in that area. Holy moly, we got all the folks in that area. Okay, yeah, they need to know about that because it looks it looks pretty intense. And there is little pockets of rotation and the pockets of rotation keep changing because it's all QLCS, so it's going to be like really brief and then change and then brief and then change and then... Okay, so sent that out. Hopefully everybody is going to stay safe in southwestern Ontario. Brennan, I got to... Oh my goodness, that's Whoa. strong. Um, uh, you know what, Brennan? Let me bring it. Let me bring it up on on my uh, iPad because it's got... going to what? I was going to show the ra uh, the airport radar again. We've finally got more. Oh, they they removed the cone. Coming. Yeah. Um. Yeah. There's just uh. There was just significant tree and hydro pole damage reports just north of Detroit. Um. Here, Brennan. Let me let me pull this up. Uh. Quick. I should be able to do this yeah. here. One second. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That's like, yeah. 120, 120 kilometer an hour winds reported. Uh. Like on. Well, these are radar indicated on. Uh, Look at this report. South of Taylor, Michigan, it says. One second here. Try to get it. This report says lawn furniture. Oh, display small twigs broken. No, there was a bigger report than that. One second here. This one. Wind damage. This is one inch tree limbs, shingles blown off roof. Yeah, these are, this is ridiculously strong right now. If you are in, um, 
if you are in Windsor, I mean, you already know what's going on because it's already hammering there, but it is coming in. We posted significant wins. It's coming in strong, strong. Oh, a uh, live shot. Oh, yeah, we can pull up the Detroit. There's a Detroit webcam. I totally forgot. One second here. Detroit webcam. River cam. You can even, like, take control of it. It's from the Detroit Historical Society. And let me see if I let me see if I can pull it up here on the stream. I should be able to get this up here. Hold on. Um, can I take control of it though? For 59 seconds, I have control. Okay. Whoa, the camera's shaking like crazy. Let me see if I can pull this up here. Hold on. This should work if I go to this. Yep. There we go. Um, uh, I should. What if I go to this? Nope, that's worse. And how about this one? That's still bad. Uh, how about this one? Mm, it's reasonable. Okay, so... Um, oh, I have to get... <laughs> sorry. I have to get camera privileges. Oh, I can't have camera privileges for... for fi People have to fight for the camera privileges. So you get like a minute. You get a minute to have the okay. camera. But the winds going into Windsor right now are ridiculously strong. Super strong. 50 knot wind gust recorded, says Cole. Let's see if I can get control of this camera. Let me have control. Must have control. <laughs> One second. This is the Detroit River. I got it for a minute. Okay. What I like to do is zoom right out. Look at the winds in the water. It's bananas. Holy. Okay. Um, so I'm zoomed right out. Let's go take a look here and try to take a look at this storm. Yeah, if you were on okay. a boat or something on uh, Lake St. Clair. Yeah, not it's bad. Head, head, head. Look at this. Back. Uh, how can I? Oh, snacks. Come on. <laughs> okay, everybody wanted the cat. He decided to jump on my thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is me holding him upside down. He doesn't care. He's just like, yeah, whatever. Upside down kitty. <laughs> okay, one second here. Snacks. Obviously, he wants food. Hello. Okay. Um. Yeah. Whoa. This is the craziest view. Am I gonna lose control in two seconds? No. Give me control back. Ugh, I lost it for three minutes. Probably. Someone's probably gonna move the camera. A viewer. Probably someone watching right now. Yeah. Just another. There's probably someone. Yeah. If you have control, just... Of this, just leave it where it is. I'm secretly <laughs> controlling. Is it, it Brennan? It's was it Brennan? No. It was Brennan. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm gonna try to move this because it's annoying. There's an uh, here's some tree damage in Michigan. Oh wow! Actually, we should be able to get higher resolution here. Look at this. The camera is like wiggling hard. Yeah. These are strong winds. Holy! Brennan, in the background, you want to take a look at the. Uh... Just west of Amherstburg, over the over the waterway there. Yeah. On uh, Detroit. Yeah, there's a yeah, there's rotation right there for sure. Yep. Yeah, I sent rotation to the entire the entire line coming in. Oh yeah, so, Windsor's really uh, getting it right now. Windsor's getting hammered right now. The winds are crazy. Holy moly! I hope everybody's staying safe. Look at this. Look how low the cloud deck is too. It's like super low. It's like hugging the water. That's not good. The lower it is to the ground. There's a there's some there might be noise, but I'm seeing 134 kilometer an hour from uh from Cassett, by the way. Oh. Um uh there's a little rotation couplet on Cassett um north of Thamesville. We got the I know we're like watching we're watching, trying to watch Deep Southwest as well, too. Now we're going to get really busy. Look, you can't even see on this camera. It's ridiculous. Okay. Oh, my goodness. It's ridiculous. Okay. Um, wind's super strong in Windsor, says Melissa. Incredible. Yeah, so there is some rotation heading into Amherstburg. And there is some rotation um, north of Chatham-Kent and uh, north of Thamesville that I need to send out a notification on. So let me just switch over to... Um, Radar for sex, so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, there's rotation right here on the storm uh, near Florence. Uh, on that storm right there, there's a little bit of rotation that you can see right here. And uh, let me just see if it's in the previous frame. 
Uh, new thunderstorm, gusty thunderstorm warning issued uh, for or Thedford. Sorry, I'm just clicking on the link. Uh, for sorry, Watford, yeah. Pinery Park, Eastern Lampton, uh, Lampton County. Oh, so sides coming up here. East. Yeah, yeah, that's a little minor rotation right there near Florence. So I'm going to post about that right now. Give me just a second here. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, so that is, I see that storm. Okay, so it's right on that southern piece of that storm. Okay, and is it going northeast, I think? Let me hit animate and see. Yeah, northeast. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to send a notification to those in the area just to make sure they know what's up. Uh, that's heading northeast. Might actually head towards London. I'm not going to notify London just yet because I want to see how it develops. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely keep a really close eye on that one as it gets closer to London because I know we have so many folks in London area. But before it gets there, I'm just going to send a minor notification to areas southwest of London. Um, minor rotation detected on the storm near where? Uh, I'm going to say the storm southwest of London. Uh, in the Florence and Croton area, tracking to the northeast towards Newbury and surrounding communities. This is uh, 624, but we'll be watching that really closely. And if it does continue to strengthen, then we'll send a notification to London for sure. But uh, 624 looks good to me and send. Okay. So, um, yeah, that camera looks bananas right now. Okay, so is there still the tornado warning for northeastern Ontario? I think probably, right? Yeah, I just uh, checked. It's still in effect. Still going? Okay. Okay, so there's that storm, and then there's this beast that's happening in Windsor right now. Windsor looks super duper strong. Um, yeah, let's see what's the what's the latest Detroit frame we have. Probably not that recent. I don't think so. Yeah, I think I think our U.S. radar station processor processing server. Yeah, it exploded. Somebody's been loading too many U.S. stations. No. Oh well, the Canadian still works. So, um, yeah, so we should get a new frame soon. But if you were in deep southwestern Ontario, this storm is bananas. Um, yeah, it is really, really strong. I hope everybody's staying safe because it looks intense. Okay, so, um, extremely loud thunder in Ottawa. Let's go take a look at eastern Ontario. We know that that storm's coming in hot. We know it's really, really strong. We hope everybody's staying safe. It's going to move right through the Lake St. Clair area. Damaging wind gusts are certainly possible. It's a beast of a storm. Why did I click on Franktown? Okay, so... Yeah, Ottawa's getting that storm now as well, too. Um, nothing looks too super strong from the Montreal radar, which is the closest one we have. Um, let me just double check on the U.S. radar that's to the south and see if it shows anything intense. It shows quite a bit of lightning and some and some gusty winds. Eh, some pretty strong winds in there. But uh, nothing too super duper intense. I mean, it is under a severe thunderstorm warning from Environment Canada. And, uh, and there's some pretty strong winds in that signature. But besides that, oh, that's interesting. Um, hey, guys, take a look at KTYX and uh, take a look at southeast of Kingston. There's some interesting stuff happening down there right now. Mm -hmm. um, I'll look. Oh, I see Brennan's got, Brennan's got the uh, warnings up. Brennan, do you want to run through that? I'll just move to, I'll do that after because I have to update it. A watch is just standard. Okay. No worries. Up. Here, throw it back to me, and I'll. Uh, right, I'll right, I already right. have. I already have it pulled up here. Yeah, it's all good. Oh, okay. I'll pull it up. There you go. Yeah. So let me do uh, this. No, this. If one. you, if you can pull up the camera at one point, I've got a really good view of the the water. Like the winds and the water look insane. I've I've got control for another thirty seconds, but. Um. Control. There it is. Whoa. 
Yeah, the water looks nuts. Oh my goodness. That camera's just wobbling in the wind. That camera never wobbles, so it must be pretty strong winds there. Um, yeah, that's pretty intense. So hope everybody's staying safe with that one. Let's jump back to uh, 98 kilometers an hour. This was US reported at Windsor. 98 was reported at Windsor? Mm hmm. Jeez. That's not good. That is not good. They're getting hammered. Hope everybody in Windsor staying safe. Everybody in place staying safe. Essex County. 112 kilometer an hour gusts at the border, says uh, Cole. Oh, I oh, just looked at the current conditions on the Environment Canada website and um, Windsor Airport reported 100 kilometers an hour just now. Whoa. Um, Cody says Windsor's bad. Teffy says, I almost lost everything on my front porch. Um, folks are talking about anything, any rotation. There's nothing, nothing that we're seeing as far as strong rotation, but we're seeing significant damaging winds. So, you know, you don't need rotation there for it to be a dangerous storm. Um, significant damaging winds for sure. Yeah. So, uh, um, also I might be, we might be seeing some rotation, uh, south of Kingston that I was just trying to show. This is, this is on the radar scope app. We're having, uh, some issues with our U S radar processing. So uh, we pulled up radar scope here and right near Cape Vincent, uh, southeast of Kingston and moving to the northeast. We are seeing some rotation uh, on this particular storm here. Yeah, it's kind of broad, but it's certainly there. Uh, we just got a, an update from the uh, Windsor storm and it looks intense. Oh, my goodness. Well, There's the tornado warning has been ended. I was going to say that. Yeah, <laughs> you beat me to it. Oh, for uh, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, Brennan knows you just got to force your way in there to get a word in edgewise with me. Um, <laughs> side note, really strong winds down here near Willowwood and uh, little hints of, of some embedded rotation there as well. So again, this is the uh, radar from Detroit. Oh, you know what I like to always do here when we have... I always like to look at the airport radar. Uh, Cole is yeah, saying the warning was updated to 110 kilometers an hour risk. Pretty high. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, if you're east of Windsor, if you're in Essex County, um, so that includes, you know, Leamington, Point Pelee, and Bell River, uh, Tecumseh, Tilbury, and of course, eventually Mitchell's Bay and Waltzburg, Chatham Kent. I know that uh, uh, Maybe. Patricia and uh, Lindsay on our team always think that Chatham Kent's going to get missed. So, you know, there's a there's probably there like a one percent chance that this uh, this storm splits around Chatham Kent just because of, of them and uh, what keeps happening to them. But uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, whew, it's pretty intense. Nosferatu says, "Is this is that a duratio? Um, I believe a duratio has to have uh, at least 130, 120 or 130 kilometer an hour winds to be classified at that level. But it doesn't matter if it's 110 or 120 or 130. Like." you're dealing with uh you're dealing with significant damaging winds here and you know and and they can change on a dime too so uh yeah you definitely want to uh you definitely want to be safe with this matt says uh radar shows it breaking up as it moves east it's possible but i mean it it, it also showed it breaking up before it really hit windsor and it's it kind of did break up into a few different clusters but it's it is strong let me flip over to uh instant weather pro here uh, this is radar scope you're looking at now, but I'm just going to flip over to our in some other pro, and I want to take a look at uh, Franktown. Nope, <laughs> and I want to see. Uh, uh, I'm just hoping one day Franktown comes back. It's not happening. So uh, strong winds into Ottawa as well too. We're trying to cover a lot of areas here, folks. Strong winds into Ottawa. It looked like there was uh, some uh, some rotation potentially south of Kingston. So this actually would be in. Um, Mark Robinson from the Weather Street. Network is reporting that there's big lowering north of Thamesville. He posted the video. Oh, that's, the, that's that cell. That's the cell we posted about, right? Yeah, that's the rotation we posted about. Uh, very much a supercell north of Thamesville. It's only 6.30. Why are these storms here already? What is happening? This wasn't supposed to happen until 7 or 8 or 9 o'clock. Yeah, Thamesville still has that rotation that we were talking about and Mark Robinson's confirming it. He's right there. And that rotation continues, uh, which I will show you. Uh, oh, that's his video. Whoa. 
Mm-hmm. Whoa. Okay. So, um, whoa. All right. So here's the rotation that uh, that Mark's watching right now on the back, right on the southern side of that storm near Bothwell. That's where it is right now, that rotation couplet. And that's uh, Mark from uh, the Weather Network is on that storm right now. And yeah, we have multiple frames. So we posted about rotation one, two, three. It's actually kind of going a little bit more east. It used to be going really northeast, but now it's heading east almost directly towards Bothwell. So Bothwell, Newbury, Wardsville, Woodgreen, you're going to be wanting to get prepared with that one. Um, oh, Rob says it's pronounced Thamesville. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, you're going to be wanting to get prepared with that one because it's uh, it's rotating and it's moving east. So yeah, just like we talked about earlier, these storms that are popping up in front of this big line are going to have some some potential here. So uh, thank you, Cole, for, for bringing that to our attention. Appreciate that. Um, and uh, yeah, this is pretty intense for sure. So Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, that line moving into uh, Windsor is intense. There is some pretty strong storms. Uh, I'm going to flip back over here again to um, another app, to Radar Scope here, just to see the uh, um, to see what we're dealing with here in deep southwestern Ontario because our U.S. radar processing on our pro app that uh, it's... It's in alpha stages, so we just need to make some changes. But um, it uh, seems to be overwhelmed with too many radar stations. So, um, yes, so things to fix with that. But nevertheless, we're going to pull up uh, radar scope here and see. Yeah, there's some pretty intense storms uh, still going through Essex County. And I would not be surprised if we had some damage reports with, with winds that strong. I mean, all you need really is 90 kilometer an hour winds for uh, for damage. And we're already into the 100, so... Um, yeah, really strong signature near Comet, C-O-M-E-T, and uh, heading towards Harrow as well, too. Um, yeah, there's lot, there's multiple pockets uh, along this line of really, really strong wind gusts and uh, possibly some embedded rotation like we, we posted about. Uh, hey, it's made. Uh, one second here. Says, any rotation in Essex? Um, yeah, I mean, there is embedded rotation in this line. So I would say yes, especially down here, that Harrow cell. Um, there's multiple areas here that could be uh, basically a QL, QLCS tornado potential, which basically means it's embedded within within a line, uh, and that's a problem. So, yeah, if you are in that area, let me pull up. Uh, there we go. And there's there's a the latest frame, and very 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 strong wind gusts moving through Lakeshore, uh, through Bell River, heading towards Stony Point, Tilbury, Chatham Kent eventually. And yeah, that line is nasty. So let's see here. Uh, Chris Graham said, any risk of north of Windsor? Example, Sarnia, Point Edward. Um, that's a good question. There are some storms in the uh, heading towards the Sarnia area. They don't look as strong wind-wise, but it's, it's not out of the question that they could bring strong winds with them. So um, that might change at some point in time. We'll have to see. But uh, yeah, it's... Uh, uh, we just saw a tornado forming in Amherstburg. A lot of rotation coming to the ground, said Lisa. Oh my goodness! Yeah, you know what? There has been definitely some some uh, some signs of embedded rotation in the Amherstburg areas. So I I wouldn't be surprised. So thank you very much, Lisa. I hope everybody's staying safe. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lulu on on uh, YouTube says, any way to get rid of the nude spammer? <laughs> Oh, oh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so uh, there's a few reports that uh, um, and we need to take a peek at the Lindsay posted to our uh, Canada weather chat or internal chat. Um, by the way, just so you know, um, yeah, the, there's no way to get rid of those bots because they keep they keep adding more and more bots. So we keep blocking them and they add a new bot. All of a sudden, the new bot spams, and then we block it, and the new bot spam. So this is YouTube for you, is that we keep getting these brutal spam bots, but uh, yeah, we keep trying to block them. So that's why. So there's no way to get rid of them, because they have a thousand accounts. <laughs> so there's nothing we can do about that. Um, I'm going to flip back to... Oops. Flip back to... That's not the right map. There we go. Okay. So I just want to take a peek at that rotation that Mark was talking about. Um... 
And uh, let's see if we can take a peek at that. Yeah, so heading some towards tree Newbury, damage. Wardsville. Uh, tree out. damage in Windsor? Okay. Here we are. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Uh, wow. That looks pretty intense. Um, ouch. Hope everybody's uh, hope everybody's okay. That's a that's a big tree down. And the severe thunderstorm yeah, so warning was just extended to include London, Goderidge, Grand Bend. Bring that up. Makes sense. Cool. Thank you. I gotta go take a look at Eastern yeah, Ontario. Yeah. We don't want to forget about our friends over there. Um, Brennan, do you want to? run through those i guess people can already figure that out but basically from windsor to london yeah, up to goddard it's and... basically windsor to london up to goddard and then um i believe the one that in windsor mentions unless it's been updated it might have been updated because of the one in windsor mentioned 110 kilometers an hour winds but the the new one that was just issued that includes london goddard and grand bend only says 100 kilometers an hour so I'm not hmm. sure if it's been updated yet. Maybe they think it, it might be weakening slightly, or who knows? Well, Windsor would have had it the strongest, and they're only reporting 100 kilometers an hour. So that's probably the maximum. Yeah. Um, I am seeing rotation and a little bit of a maybe possibly debris signature near Comet, which is in Essex County. So um, if you're in the Comet area... That looks like it could be potentially dangerous. Um, I mean, that whole line is dangerous ultimately, but yeah, there's uh, there's definitely some uh, some stronger signatures showing up in that comet area with that couplet down there. So yeah, definitely some uh, embedded rotation. I'm gonna post about that as well too. Just taking a look at Eastern Ontario, uh, still looking actually looking fairly strong, uh, and especially in South Ottawa. Uh, for strong wind gusts, so um, not as intense as what they're experiencing over in Windsor, of course. But uh, but of course, you know there is uh, severe. Uh, someone said Comet and then Comber. No, it's C O M E T. It's actually west of Arrow. It's called C O M E T. It's right on the water, right on uh, uh, not Cottom. It's uh, Comet. Literally Comet. C O M E T. I live in Essex County, Windsor. Where is Comet? Comet is just west. It's between Colchester and Willowwood. I'll I'll bring it up here one second. I'll show you on the radar here. It's right down here. Where'd it go? One second here. <laughs> I wonder. So it's just northwest of Colchester. Where did it, or is it? I don't even know. It's going to show up on here. Might be like. They might be referring to this here, which is Ambassador Beach. I think that's what they're referring to. It's just it's on a, it was on radar scope that said Comet C O M E T, but uh, it's not even showing up. And we have like a crazy database of little towns here, so it's basically I think they're talking about Amb Ambassador Beach area. So it's west of Colchester. So this might be moving towards Harrow, I would think. And uh, the latest update, it looks a little bit weaker, but the strong winds are still pretty intense. So, um, yeah. Again, hope everybody's staying safe because this these lines are these lines are bananas. Pretty intense for sure. Okay, so there's that. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Zach says you can see rotation in Chatham Kent. Thank you very much. Um yeah, so it's not Cottom, but it's uh, that's all Colchester, someone said. Okay, so it's basically Western Colchester is, is actually what it's supposed to be. So, yeah, not. Not. Uh, not Comet. I don't know why a Comet is showing up. Yeah, you know what? As they zoom in, it's Ambassador Beach. So that's what they're talking about. So I don't know where that little town came from. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, so Ambassador Beach, west of Colchester, there was there was some rotation, but uh, it may have weakened at this point in time. Uh, but there's still super strong winds, and uh, looks like Chatham Kent's going to finally get some rain. Uh, yep, and probably some really strong winds with it as well too, especially the ones in behind. Okay, I got to look around at a lot of different storms right now, folks. So we're going to be uh, it might be difficult for us to answer your questions in the comments, but we'll try our best. 
but uh, we are peeking around at a whole bunch of different stuff. We're trying to keep an eye on eastern Ontario. We're trying to keep an eye on northeastern Ontario. We're trying to keep an eye on southwestern Ontario. And then some. Let's see here. Okay. I think I'm just going to leave this radar up while we keep an eye. Oh, a tornado west. possible tag added to the Windsor and Chatham warning. Hmm. Really? Maybe based on some reports, I would assume. Yeah, I'm just looking at what it says. 110 kilometers mm. an hour, impeded time size hail. A tornado is possible. That's not good. Okay, that if I if you were listening before when I mentioned there's some rotation near Kingston, it's actually it was south of the border and it looks like it's going to remain south of the border, but it may cross back around uh, Alexandria Bay potentially. Um, it may cross back into the Rockport area, so we'll see. But that rotation remains basically south of the border at this point in time. But I'll keep checking in on that. So that's something we have to watch. Strong winds in southern Ottawa as well too. And as you can see, uh, Brennan's got the uh, the new alert with the dashed line, which mentions uh, that there is tornado potential. Even though it's a severe thunderstorm warning, there is tornado potential, as he's highlighting right there. You can see uh, all those dashed lines, uh, that that area. So Chatham-Kent, Tilbury, Leamington, Essex, Windsor, Colchester, Harrow, McGregor, Essex, uh, you know, that whole area, basically. They are saying that there is tornado potential for that particular area. Okay, so. Wow, we had some downtime there on the on the stream, but that didn't last very long. Mm -hmm. We were sitting around talking about cookie dough. Once he came back. And <laughs> and then yeah, and now we're now we're into it here. Um oh and I see, and Brennan's got the uh, severe thunderstorm warning uh, in eastern Ontario, oh, which is north of still Kingston. Updating that. Where did that or did that, did that end? I Give see. me a minute. There we go. I'm still up. No worries. Good thing I mentioned it. <laughs> no worries. It's all good. Uh, so any has anybody heard anything else from Mark? Did he see? I guess if, if there was something else for him to post, he would have. Um, if something, you know, touched down or whatever. Because I know he said there is Supercell that he was tracking north of Thamesville. But uh, that rotation has been some... In a good way. Yeah, the Newbury storm. There's an interesting signature here, but it kind of looks like it might be noise because the main section of the storm is more up near Newbury. So, interesting. Um, let's see here. Yeah, still super strong winds moving into Essex County. Uh, new updates showing intense winds still. Um, they're starting to move. Uh, they're, they're, out, they're about to move east of uh, Lake St. Clair as well and into areas like uh, Sombra, Wallaceburg, Mitchell's Bay, St. Clair. Um, the strongest might miss Sarnia. Let me go take a peek from, uh, from Exeter here to see what Sarnia is potentially getting. Uh, where do we go here? Yeah, so the strongest winds might actually miss. Oh, okay, Miranda's reporting that the winds are super strong in Sarnia. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm just saying that the strongest uh, the strongest part of the storm may miss Sarnia, but Sarnia still could be severe, and Sarnia is under severe thunderstorm warning as well too. So, but the winds to the south are just absolutely ridiculous. South of Sarnia are bananas. Okay, strong winds in Sarnia says Mary. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate that. Thank you kindly. Uh, Joseph says free on iOS and Android. I think he might be referring to our app. If you have not downloaded our app yet, uh, you can get it at instantweatherapp.com. Head over there, download it for free, add your locations, and uh, and uh, yeah, you should be I able to. I believe that squall uh, warning was just issued for the Windsor area. So I assume it mentions oh, with water spout potential. Water spout. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if we posted it, it has water yeah. spout in it. Um, Steph Kuhn says tornado warning in Timmins, but I think that ended. Did it not? Uh, you guys mentioned yeah, it ended that earlier. Yeah, ended. it did. 
yeah. So the tornado warning in Timmins has ended, but there's still a severe thunderstorm warning in that area. Um, mm -hmm. Alan says, how do you share pictures? Alan, you're on Facebook. So you uh, the best way to share pictures with our community is to join our Facebook group. It's called uh, Ontario Storm Reports. I will try to find the uh, little pop-up here. One second. Ontario Storm Reports. There we go. So if you go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Ontario Storm Reports, uh, you can uh, post the images there. And our team is always watching that page. And, uh, you know, as much as we humanly can, and uh, especially right now, and if you uh, post your report there, then we can see that. And not only we can see that, but everybody in the community can see it as well, too. So uh, hopefully that helps. Let's see here. Let's see. Uh, Elena says, they have a page called Ontario Storm Reports. Make sure to include location. Yeah, so it's actually a group. So there's the difference between a group and a page. So Ontario Storm Watch and um, Instant Weather Ontario, those are both pages but Ontario Storm Reports is a group, and the difference is, is in a group, anybody can post to the wall, whereas in a page, only our team can post to the wall. I mean, you can post to the wall as well, too, but I'm not sure how many folks actually check the community wall. Um, it's not often people post there, uh, but sometimes they do. So uh, often what does happen, though, is people actually go to Ontario Storm Watch, and then they post it on that wall, and then nobody checks that wall. Whereas if you go to Ontario, make sure you go to Ontario Storm Reports. It should say the word reports. And it's got about, I think now, something uh, preposterous, like 127,000 folks uh, in that community. So if you see uh, a group called Ontario Storm Reports and it's got north of 100,000 members, that's the group. So go to that one and then uh, post uh, your, your report there. Yeah, Abby said, fair. Adam said we might miss the hardest part of the storm, but we'll, but we'll be hit. Yeah, the, so the Sarnia area doesn't look as strong as, as the storms to the south, but that doesn't mean it's not severe. It just doesn't look as strong as the insanely severe storms that are south of it. But, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Lindsay just told me that uh, we got a report on Ontario Storm Reports of some pretty intense damage from Windsor. So I'm going to uh, pull that up on our group right now. Give me one second. And then she says it's pretty, pretty bad. Uh, let's see here. Hope everybody's okay in Windsor. Uh, wow, yeah, is it is. The, I'll see if uh, I can bring it up. Is it that uh, Haley, Haley Marie Croft? I already got it here. Uh, is it the Haley Marie Croft damage? Thing? Is that the one? Uh, let me it see. says South Windsor. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yes. All right. So, yeah, it's right here. So, uh, Eek. That tree is just smashed down, and oh my goodness! Hope everybody's okay. Eek. Uh, Cole says over the river on asset. I'll go take a look. One sec. Yeah, there's something going on there, Cole. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. uh, let's keep scrolling here. This was uh, this was from Amherstburg. That may have been when they said they thought a tornado was touching down. It looks like the edge of the shelf, but it's really, really low to the ground. Super low to the ground. So I can understand why folks thought that that might have been a tornado. And it's not entirely uh, out of the question that um, that a tornado could have touched down from, from a sh the edge of a shelf that's that low to the ground. Again, there could be embedded tornadoes in this line. So, um, well, look how dark it got in Windsor. That's bananas. Ouch. And so that's from Casey uh, Meany. And uh, the video uh, earlier was from Haley Marie Croft uh, that was posted of that damage there. So, oh my goodness! I hope everybody's staying safe. It's, this is uh, this is pretty intense. Okay, so let's jump back to radar. We want to take a look at what Cole is talking about over the lakeshore. And uh, one second here, let me just do a swipe. Whoa! It is certainly looking pretty nasty. That's the forty-two frame. I don't know what the latest is. Oh, okay. Thank you, Lana. Appreciate it. Um, I think he's probably talking about probably talking about that, which is west of Wallaceburg. And so uh, there's some merging happening in there. So that might just be a merge. 
emerge between two cells. Uh, thank you so much, Jen. Appreciate it. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, if you look at tilt two, actually, there's some pretty strong signatures there. So there, that might be some better rotation. There's a like tornado warning area. in the U.S. just directly southeast of Kingston. Yeah, that was that. Yeah, mm. that's that's. Yeah, that's that's what I was talking about with the rotation. Um, it looked like the, it looked like mainly, why did I click on Franktown? It looked like mainly it was going to stay, uh, it was going to stay south of the border, but it might, it might track back in, but I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. One second here. Let me just flip over to, uh, radar scope here. One second. Uh, this, there we go. Our U.S. radar is having an issue right now, but uh, we'll use uh, radar scope in the meantime. And uh, that is the tornado warning, which is south of the border. Um, thank you very much, Lindsay. So we're hearing some reports in Ottawa of pretty intense storm. And uh, yeah, Lindsay has a pretty interesting photo from Ontario Storm Reports that I'm going to bring up. So um, just so you know, so this tornado warning that's right up against the border, it looks like the storm is trying to stay south of the border. So we're going to continue to watch that. But the strongest part of the rotation, which is here by uh, Lafargeville, Lafargeville, Fargeville, um, it seems to be heading to the northeast, but so far uh, not necessarily looking too, too, uh, intense there was some rotation there for a second uh near mallory town but that may have merged and weakened i guess that was merging um so let me jump back to uh instant weather pro here and take a peek um at ottawa so folks are saying that intense looking storms in the ottawa area i want to go take a look at that report that uh lindsay was talking about as well uh sierra's asking about ottawa too so it looked like uh some pretty intense uh winds again we don't really have great ottawa radar coverage right now because frank town is down so this is a a sad reality right now where we have one of our main radars uh one, i say our canada's like environment canada radars um is down near ottawa so uh, we can't really get a really good reading of that particular storm but uh, but it is possible that it could be uh, intense, and it's under a severe thunderstorm warning right now as well, too. So um, let me just go find that Ottawa report here one second. I know Brennan's bringing up the uh, the warning map there. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, Sarnia is getting pretty windy. And... Uh, Thank you, Lindsay. Appreciate that. Let's see here. Where? How far down is that post? One sec. I'll just I'll just grab your link here and pull it up. Oh. It was three minutes ago, so it should be fairly recent. Brennan, can you switch over to? Uh, oh, it was just three minutes ago. Yeah, it somehow got buried down the page, but it was three minutes ago. Um, Brennan, can you switch over oh, yeah, to you my screen for a second? Yep. Yeah. It's all good. So this is that that cloud from Ottawa, which is uh, pretty intense. It's intense looking. It looks like it might be elevated, like further off the surface. But uh, and this is like the front of a shelf cloud. But it does certainly look pretty intense. So uh, again, not as intense as what's about to hit Leamington right now. And uh, I mean, not about to. They're already getting hit in Wallaceburg. Um, deep southwestern Ontario is getting hammered by the storm. For all the folks that said Windsor never gets any storms anymore, uh, I think you may have changed your mind. So that looks pretty intense. So, okay. So still continuing with the damaging wind risk through deep Southwestern Ontario. There is some wind risk in Ottawa as well too, and parts of Eastern Ontario. Um, there is still some pretty intense storms that are in Northeastern Ontario. There is a tornado warning that is kind of near the Kingston area, uh, but it looks like the strongest part of that storm is going to stay stateside, at least for a few frames of radar. So we'll check back in with it. And that is Here's your current... Here's a picture of the storm near summer. Petrolia. Uh, just outside of Sarnia. Okay, yeah. It's a nice shelf club. Mm -hmm. And a rain corn behind it. Wallsburg's getting hammered, <clears throat> says Kim. Hammered. Um, 
Canadian Milo says strong winds, almost as strong as a hurricane hit near Windsor. Yeah, that I mean that's you know, you're getting into hurricane wind speeds and you're in the you're into the hundreds, hundred kilometers an hour or more. You're into kind of weak um hurricane speed. So yeah, it's it's not good. It's not good. We've seen some huge trees down. Hope everybody's okay. Whew. Okay. Pam said, uh, not at my house. Pam, can you clarify where you are exactly? Emily says, Brat. Oh, Brantford has a warning too. Um, I think uh, you Brantford have a watch. has a watch. Correct. Yeah, you have a watch, not a warning. Better. That's uh, I think even better would be the poutine, but you know. True. <laughs> yeah, Brantford but has a watch. You can right see now. the watch there. Yeah, and watch in yellow. There it is. And then warning in red, exactly. So uh, poutine watch, you've got fries, you've got cheese curds, you've got gravy. Um, get ready to act when you're in a watch. And then when you put it all together, you have got to order poutine, poutine tonight. I think it's poutine type of night. Making me hungry. Yeah. Uh, what's mm -hmm. the, what's that, what's that poutinery that's got like the all that eighties memorabilia inside? Oh, smoked smokes poutine. Uh, that's, that, or smokes poutinery. Yeah, that place is this. That place is awesome. Um, let's see here. Okay, uh, hold on. Scrolling through our comments. So many comments. Oh my goodness. Uh, Kara says, mm, "Poutine, I'm hungry." Dustin says, calm down and leave me tin. Just rain, just rain really now. Thank you very much. Uh, we're seeing uh, there's a substantial wind damage report from Leamington. One inch tree limbs broken, shingles blown off uh, in Leamington. So clearly it was pretty intense there. And those that those super intense winds are going to continue to move east. And man, did they show up earlier? How many times did we look at how many future radar and model runs? And I mean, yeah. It's I think a pretty the her was the best. It nailed it. What it nailed it when it started to get earlier, but don't forget that the her said this line's not even coming in until 10 p.m. as early as this oh, morning. Yeah. Like this morning, it was like, no, nope, nothing's gonna happen. It's coming in super duper late, and then all of a sudden the her is like, no, 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 it started to catch up, right? And that's, I mean, that's where a rapidly updated model is like pretty much the best to look at because, um, you know, it can really, uh, it can really make the difference for sure. Uh, let's see here. I'm just taking a peek here at Chatham Kent. Um, there's a little bit of maybe some embedded rotation here south of Wallaceburg near uh, Electric and Baldwin. This is like a ah, <laughs> <laughs> I always do that to myself. I can't believe I have so many things I can look at, but I'm actually not looking at this. I'm looking at this here. This is actually a little bit of embedded rotation. Uh, let me swipe over so you can see. Right here, west of Baldoon, uh, west of Electric. Uh, right here, there's kind of a tiny little rotation couplet. Uh, so that is something to watch. Let me just go back a few frames here, and we'll see what it does. That was that that was that storm that was coming off the water. So, yeah, it looks like there is a uh, uh, maybe an old field Electric Baldoon. Uh, a little bit of rotation coming in south of Wallaceburg, coming in off of Lake St. Clair. And uh, and may continue to rotate as it uh, tracks to the east, but uh, certainly a little rotation couplet in there. Um, I think I'm going to go minor. Actually, never mind. I already highlighted that whole area with embedded rotation. So everybody in that area has a notification that says there's embedded rotation within this line. So it, when when storms are going this fast and they're this widespread, you kind of have to go the blanket uh, the blanket notification because. You know, it's like trying to keep up with every little rotation in, in a mess like this is it's basically impossible. So, yeah, that's why I went pretty, pretty large, expansive uh, embedded rotation notification. I don't know. I'm just trying to rhyme now at this point. There's just it's very, there's a lot of rhyming words there. Um, uh, looks like Mark Robinson posted a uh, whale's mouth, which yeah, is the backbone of the storm in Bothwell. Cool. Mark's on the ball. If we all remember, uh, Mark did a fantastic job uh, when Windsor Windsor got hit by an EF2 tornado, and uh, Mark Robinson was on the ball with that one and spotted it on the ground. Uh, so there's the, what we call a whale's mouth on the backside of that storm. So that basically, that's the that's kind of the non-severe side of the storm, the backside. 
Uh, but yeah, it looks like a pretty intense uh, whale's mouth there. So that means that's also a good sign of an, an intense storm. Uh, Stan Pollard says, is it just me or is Adam's audio cutting out? Is, can everybody, it might be the platform you're on. And if the audio keeps continues to cut out, you might want to refresh it. It could also be my system. So it. Oh, it's when I change screens. I'm just going to stop talking when I change screens and then start talking again after that. I think it's a good idea. A lot of people say it's cutting in and out. It's just when I just when I'm changing between screens because I got so many things connected to my computer right now, so many. Let's see here. Cuts in and out on Twitch. Cuts it out. Everybody, everybody's hearing it. Okay, definitely me. Uh, I heard it cutting out like five minutes ago. Someone said, "Okay, hear it on Twitch." Yep, sounds good. Appreciate that. So, uh, so I'll definitely change screens before I talk. Yeah, still that little hint of rotation there down in uh, deep southwestern Ontario. Something to continue to watch. Um, how hot is this room now? 30. It's now 30. <laughs> Can you see this is sweat beaming off my head here? Holy. Okay. Uh, there is a... Um, SPC has issued a... Um, a mesoscale discussion that totally covers basically Chatham Kent to Grand Ben, uh, which is odd that they'd cover. It might just be, the, oh, you know what it could be? Lack of fidelity. Remember we were talking about this, that um, on certain radar apps, they have the warning polygons, but they're not actually super, uh, the fidelity has been watered down. So that might actually be what's happening with that mesoscale discussion. But nevertheless, it also could just be uh, how it's happening. But um, well, the winds right now really that are them. moving scale they just like trace them so often like even the spc stuff often there's comes into yeah but there's there's no there's no by hand it's all it's all automated sure. zero by hand so it's yeah but it's uh but again it's watered down they're just they're just limiting the latitude longitude af after the end of the point so they're doing like two points instead of like five or six um anyways we'll improve on that with uh with what we launch in the upcoming weeks and months and days um, <clears throat> uh, but these winds, I don't know if Brennan, if you're looking at, uh, Exeter, but the winds coming into Grand Bend right now on that line looks much stronger yeah. than what even Sarnia ha experienced. Um, let me see here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. The winds oh, coming yeah. in here, 92, 88, um, yeah, pretty strong wind signature in here that's moving into excuse me, Grand Bend and uh, St. Joseph, Zurich. Yeah, that whole line. Southwestern Ontario. Wow, this line did not disappoint. It it kicked up in speed. It kicked up in speed big time. And uh, yeah, Baldoon Electric, still seeing that rota little bit of rotation. So that's two, that's two or three frames in a row. I think I'm going to send a notification just to those folks to let them know that there is some minor rotation there that came off the water because it's worth paying attention to. It's actually moving southeast, maybe towards Chatham-Kent. Daryl, Chatham-Kent, Pinehurst, Botany, Beechwood, Appledore. Um, seeing a little bit, just some minor rotation, but prevalent enough that I want to send a notification for it. Um, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, and actually, is it being picked up? Where is that? It's actually being picked up by... Cleveland. So that means it's being supported up top. So yeah, I'm sending a notification on that for sure. Okay, sending a notification right now. Give me just one sec. I will take care of that. What a busy day. Okay. Um, let me see exactly where that is. Baldoon. Baldoon. And where is that exactly? Grand Point, I see. So it's kind of like the Grand Point area. And let me just make sure. Okay, yeah. So I see exactly where it is. Okay, so just coming straight off the water, and it might be heading down towards. It's actually going southeast, which is strange. 
Um, I'm going to highlight about half of Chatham Kent. And then I'm going to do quite a polygon here. Okay. Uh, that looks good. Eight. Okay. Minor rotation detected near Baldoon, tracking to the east southeast, potentially towards Chatham Kent. Barrel, etc. Et I'm Excellent. not sure where this is from, but it's a really nice photo. I would assume it's the southwestern smoke. Ontario storms. Okay, side for that. Then. Oh, mm -hmm. is that uh, is that Paxton? Alluring storms, cool. Is mm -hmm. that your place? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, that's a Larry Storms. It's uh, our friend Pax in there, and he's uh, got quite the shelf. Holy, he says hot damn, Ontario, I love you. Yeah, that's quite a shelf cloud. If you're into storms, that's pretty. That's pretty wild looking. Um, I did send down a uh, minor rotation detected to uh, the north side of Chatham Kent and areas like Baldoon and Darrell, just from that particular storm. So, um, yeah, seen some minor rotation on that one. So that's worth watching. Now, what's happening here? Let's see. It might be, it might actually be a merge. Those cells could be merging, and that's what the signature I'm seeing is. But um, nevertheless, it looks pretty intense down there, so it's worth mentioning. Oh, dear. Let's go take a look at Eastern Ontario. We haven't taken a peek over our friends in the east for a little bit because of all this activity in southwestern Ontario, but we don't want to leave anybody out. Um. Whoa. That's that was the tornado warning. Yeah, that's something. Is it? That is something. So that's it the, comes to the north. Yeah, that's the, well, that's the same cell. Uh but it actually doesn't even. Uh, it looks w uh, way weaker from KTYX, but KTYX yeah. is almost like a bookend vortex, and f it it's really interesting. From really interesting. From which way is it going here? Is it going towards Brockville? I no, see, it's trying to head out to the U.S. Them, like, yeah, they just like go right up along right. the border. Yeah, it's trying to go straight up along the border. It may eventually cross maybe at Brockville, but I'm not sure. I think it's worth an, uh, a notification um, to, and also to mention that there is a, a big tree down in Windsor. If you want to bring that up from Tony while I post this, I'm just going to send a notification yeah, to those along the border and just mention. While I bring that up, I'll just bring up the current alert set in eastern Ontario, which is mostly severe thunderstorm warnings right along the St. Lawrence River, going up into the Ottawa region and Prescott and Russell, I believe that is. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we have severe thunderstorm watches still in effect for the Kingston and Smith Falls region. And I'll bring up the... Yeah. Tree damage in Windsor. There we are. Going on. We detect a rotation on the storm tracking along the international border border uh, in eastern Ontario that may affect the Brockville areas um, as it is uh, tracking to the northeast. Uh, it is currently under a tornado warning uh, south, just south of the border of the border and could potentially cross briefly into Eastern Ontario. Um, and this is 7, 11, 9, 6, 7. Mm -hmm. All beats, beats. So just wanted to mention, we had someone ask where... Oh, that's not the one. Well, anyways, that's related. 
Um, someone was asking where they can post pictures or videos of storms. Of course, please only do so if it's safe. Don't be going outside and be taking pictures when it's dangerous. But you can actually post them to our group. And I will put the link up. So it's facebook.com slash group slash Ontario Storm Reports. Or you can just go on Facebook and search Ontario Storm Reports. And you can post your pictures or videos there. And we can see them and bring them up on the stream if needed. Well, this is from Tony uh, in Windsor. Well, this, is, this is the same. It's related to that picture I showed earlier. I see. The video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, what a mess. Yeah, that's brutal. Oh, back. Latest watches and warnings in eastern Ontario. <laughs> Joseph, Joseph heard my have. Pizza Pizza song and says, call Adam for weather. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joseph. I appreciate that. Uh, anything else for Windsor, says Tasha? That's a good question. Um, well, Brennan, take a look at uh, take a look at Cleveland, if you can on your own device there. Um, yep, it's really got that storm I posted about rotation. Uh, I know it's merging, but there's something going on there. It uh, Whoa, yeah. not showing just near Chatham. It's just near Chatham. Yeah, it's near Louisville. It it looks like a really strong wind signature on on Exeter. I'll bring that up right now as well. Um, got to keep an eye on Brockville though, because yeah, that thing takes the looks... slightest left turn. Mm -hmm. What's oh, right? Yeah, I'll switch over one side. There you go. All good. Yeah, it kind of looks like. Yeah, so the Cleveland radar has been a little weird all day. Like it's just been shown like weird pockets of really high values. Although it happens, yeah. It's just you like are right. I think it has to do with the water. Ambassador. There's. Yeah, there's something Dr. Sills has mentioned before. There's something about the water that that can that can mess with velocity. Um, but uh, but there is you know there's a little bit of rotation in there, right on that right on this particular storm. If you look, you know this is right here, now, just north of Chatham, Kent, and you got like a little. This might actually be a little couplet right in here. Hmm. Interesting. Right near Northwood. So I did uh, send a notification to those folks because that storm was tracking to the southeast. This is the one that came off the water. Um, let's see. It was trying to go southeast, but now it's going more northeast. I hope my polygon covered that area. I think it did. Yeah, just north as we talked about uh, Daryl. Yeah, so my, the polygon would have certainly covered this. But yeah, we're seeing some rotation in there. Oy, oy, oy. What's going on here up near Goderich? Hmm. Busy night so far. At some point in time, I do have to put the little guy to bed, but that's probably... It's still summertime, so you can stay up a little bit later. It's okay. Um. Hmm. Whatever happened to Liam? He just dropped out on us? He's gone? <laughs> he went... You want to get some shenanigans? Maybe. Yeah, I think that's probably it. Probably what I'm yeah, I think that's doing. what it is. Yeah. Hey, more spam on YouTube. What are the odds? Um, I want to keep Yay. a really close eye on. Yay for spam! I want to keep a really close eye on. Oh, that Brockville. It's kind of going towards Brockville. Like, and it looks go back pretty strong frame. on KYTX, KTYS. Somehow it looks way stronger on, you know, I would love to see Franktown on this. I bet you Franktown gives us a better perspective. But clearly, elevated rotation, I mean, it, look at it, it's going, that's going straight towards Brockville. That's not good. Um, Jessica said, got a notification for Brockville. Yeah, we, there's a, there's literally a tornado warning just south of the border. Um, did they drop it though? Oh no, they did drop the tornado warning just south of the border because it's, not really a problem for them anymore, but it looks like it's about to be a problem for Brockville. So uh, it's elevated rotation. This is higher up in the storm. This is all the way from Montreal. We're looking at radar data from quite quite a distance. And the reason being is um, we don't have Franktown. Hey, is Franktown back up? No. 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 So 
I know it's not up. I'm just, I'm just going to do that every single time I have to try to check it. So, um, yeah, so Mallory Town area. Yeah, this looks pretty intense. They did mention rotation. Yep. Uh, amazing person 349, possibly a hook just south of Exeter. Can't get velocity scan because of close proximity. Minor rotation is visible from the King City radar there. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, 3409, amazing person. Um, we're actually uh, we, we're actually processing all 17 tilts of Canadian radar, and we're gonna add that to in some other pro. So, and this is specifically from a request from Dr. Sills. He's like, Can you? I'd love to be because when there's a storm really close to radar, you can only look four tilts up on all the existing apps. Whereas he says sometimes when you're actually looking for tilts up, if the storm is right on top of the radar station, that you're actually looking below the cloud deck, you can't actually see the rotation because it's too close. So if we could actually look at all 17 tilts, you could potentially look straight up in the air and see the rotation right on top of the radar. So anyways, so we're processing uh, all 17 tilts. Look at Exeter and... just west of Watford, east of Sarnia. Uh, I, are you talking about this mezzo here? This looks like a mezzo, no. but what are you talking about? Something over here? Oh, this. Is that the Baldoon? Wait, hold on. That's a merge. Not Wait, that. What are you talking about? Further north. Further north. So Just east things. of Sarnia. Um, oh, east of Sarnia. Okay. There it is. Um, are you talking right about there. this really strong wind signature? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that could be a little downburst. You're looking at, uh, what's the highest here? 96.48. I, this it's is all under a, a uh, severe thunderstorm days. warning, right? Correct. Yeah. And and how many frames has that been existing? Oh, you know what? It was just kind of starting and then strengthening mm -hmm. and moving east towards Strathroy and maybe towards London. And holy, yeah, it's going that's right really strong. towards you, London. You know what? Now is a good time to do, and I always forget to do this when we're in the we're in the in the middle of it. Is uh, Brennan, can you do me a big favor and check 10 meter wind gusts on the latest her? Because sometimes it'll just like show us something yeah. ridiculous that we are not even paying attention to. So, pretty, pretty pleased. I think that's always a good idea. Um, that and uh, UH tracks as well, too, please, just to, just to see if something is really cooking. But yeah, that looks bananas. That's really strengthening. Heading towards Watford. If you're in Watford, I'd be taking shelter with that one. That is a beast coming towards you right now. Um, starting to look like a spaceship coming into North London, says Ms. Esri. I think that's from this storm. Um, there's also this rotation signature down here, but I'm wondering if it's noise or if it's like a merge. Um, right near east of Glencoe. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know if that's noise or if that's rotation. It looks like a rotation. <sighs> and then there's also the stuff near Chatham-Kent, which looks continues to look strong, which we posted about near Daryl. Um, that could also be a merge, uh, a merging of two storms is what I'm referring to when I say a merge. Uh, not a merge, like going to the emergency room. But um, yeah, if you are in um, Watford, Kerwood, Strathroy, uh, and that storm seems to be moving due east. Let's see here. Maybe, yeah, it looks like it's going due east. Okay, I'm going to post. I know it's under severe thunderstorm warning, but I'm still going to post. Uh, I know folks hey, want more I got details. The latest details I'm going to pull it up. Sweet. So this is seven o'clock current. As you can see, there's the yeah. This is in miles per hour. So um, those yeah, are the okay. cells that were just moved through Windsor, yeah, and then up here is yep, the yep. areas where we are watching. But there is this one that's over Lake Lake Huron, just crossing over the Lower Peninsula of Michigan, and yep. it kind of like explodes. And you can kind of see it kind of like a little bit of wind there just northeast of Goderidge, just outside of King Carden. And it continues because that was mm -hmm. that's nine o'clock and then ten o'clock. And then there's some strong winds for the Niagara region too, just around midnight. And then it finally weakens. But that one would be interesting. I'm going to switch over to reflectivity to see what it's showing. Yeah, you can kind of see it develops into like a isolated storm there, and it moves into the up to hmm. the Barry area, but it dissipates. But yeah. that's interesting right then, there. Hopefully, hopefully it's elevated by that point and not I'd severe. Because that would um, be uh, 9 yeah. o'clock right there uh okay yeah it's just still potential there for sure 
Um, I'm going to go, by the way, take a look at Watford right now on Exeter. It's like super strong. And which way is it going? One sec here. Yeah. Yeah, heading towards Strathroy, maybe up towards London. Looks like it's possible. I'm going to send a notification right now, just saying. Yeah, it's tracking like almost due eastward. Maybe a little bit of a northward tilt. Not too much. The storm near uh, Watford, tracking east towards Strathroy and potentially towards London. This is a 722. And oh, I can tell this we have a lot of folks in the London area. This one tiny little polygon about the post is 90 or 9,068 9, people. Okay, that's crazy. Okay. Um, and that's 7, 722. Yeah, it's bananas. Okay, so I'm going to send that right now. And boom, sent that. Um, Yeah, damaging winds detected. I sent that out. Okay, so okay. Tracy says, "Woohoo, London here." Let us know when you got the notification. We just sent it out. Uh, Hydra out near Watford says, uh, "Lacken, thank you very much. Appreciate it." I'm in Watford and stormy here. No power. LOL. Um, Deanna says, "In windy, I just chased my stroller." Oh no! Oh my goodness. Um, Crystal says, "Minor rotation and." and uh, Brockville. What's that sound? Is that a <laughs> Brennan? Is that sound near oh, you? Oh, that's in the background. My neighbors oh, okay. are being rowdy. I was wondering what that was. Ah, uh, rowdy. That's all good. Uh, look at Thamesville on, on Exeter on a Monday. That's all good. Um, also, this too, isn't like Monday Blanco. energy that I expect. <laughs> it's all good. No worries. Um, Chatham Kent starting to look really interesting. Uh, was it minor rotation in Brockville? Yeah, I saw that. Uh, but that that looks like it's still like a merge, a merging of storms. Uh, I've got to keep an eye on all of that. And now let's go back to Montreal radar to try to see what's going on for our friends in Brockville. Um, rotate minor rotation in Brockville visually. Whoa, it's an interesting BWER. It's interesting bounded weak echo region. You don't see that very often. Um, yeah, that's strange for sure. I wonder if uh, Frank Town's up. Nope. That's Never nope. is. Never is. Never was. Okay. Um, <laughs> Brennan, do you mind intermittently? Uh, Muting your mic there, just so that's not uh, coming yeah. through. Because it's, it's, it's pretty apparent. That's all good. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Okay. That's better. All right. All right. Actually, Brandon, because I have to do the uh, the put the young guy to bed at some point in time. Do you want to go get some? Do you want to go with some food and take a break? I mean, it's up to you if you want to hang out. You can. But I was going to say, yeah. Uh, Oh, I'm fine right now. If you want to... You good? All right. No biggie. I just want to give you a break before Maybe I'll order some I leave routine. and never come... Leave and never come back. <laughs> you just leave me all to myself. That sounds like a yep. dangerous thing. I just turn off the computer. <laughs> or... Leave I, me or, alone Which does neighbors. happen. Which can happen with rowdy neighbors and rowdy community members. <laughs> which does happen, by the way, is... Uh, Occasionally, when I put in bed, it's so dark in the room and cozy. <laughs> Occasionally, I can fall asleep. I try not to, but uh, but I certainly can. So if magically I don't come back, then you know why. But uh, I'm sure you'll figure out the rest of it. Oh, search scene. Uh, you know what? We're at five hours and 45 minutes here. So we really only have... With the eight-hour time limit, we only have uh, two hours and 15 minutes left that we can stream before we get kicked off of all platforms, except for YouTube. And then, of course, we would uh, uh, we continue to watch 
radar as close as we possibly can. Hmm, what's going on there? Ah, oh, it's pretty intense. Let's see here. Uh, is that more stuff coming in behind? No, it's just a bunch of rain. Well, I have to say this line did not disappoint, Brennan, as far as, uh, you know, I mean, work. future radar is like, yeah, future radar is like, it's going to be amazing. And then the next future radar update's like, it's going to fall apart. And then we're like, what's happening? And then her is like, no, 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 it's going to happen. And so, yeah, it looks like. Uh, Here's like some more say, tree damage in Windsor area. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ouch. And uh, who posted that? Trying to get it. What's the name? Mike. Here? At Radio Mike 519. Perfect. Thank you kindly. Thank uh, you. Wow, that's intense. I hope everybody's all right. That's those are some huge trees coming down. I really hope everybody's inside when stuff like that happens. Um, looks like we have a photo on, uh, there's a photo on Twitter of the incoming storm in South London. Might be interesting to pull that up. Pull oh, up. you know, what we can do too. Uh, our buddy always has this great webcam, um, in London, a live webcam. Ooh, we can pull that up. I'm going to pull that up. It's not the, it's not the shelf isn't totally there yet. It's almost there. So as soon as it is, I'll pull that up too. We can. Oh, do we keep saying it wrong? Oh, it's it's pronounced Thamesville. It's not Thamesville. It's Thamesville. Even though it's Thame, it's Tem. Well, this I'm gonna go and re. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna do a campaign across Canada to spell every town the way it sounds. So all towns will be now renamed to Thamesville instead of Thamesville. It'll be Thamesville. That's it. I'm going. I'm doing a whole campaign. Who's with me? Renaming all <laughs> of Canadian towns just so I can say them properly. Who's with me? Uh, that's pretty intense. Where was that? Oh, Petrolia? Mm -hmm. Petrolia. Mm. Where's that? It's east of Sarnia. Do it, says Dallin. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Aaron says, like the river... Like, like the river Thames or Thames? Is that Thames? T H A M E S. The river is pronounced Thames or pronounced Thames? Probably Thames. Uh, Atlanta's giving me a hard time right now because I've never heard of the Thames River. Like the river Thames in England. It's like the river in England and in London. Yep. Wow. Not very worldly, folks. I just stay here in my bubble in Barry, Ontario. Yeehaw. Let's see here. Um, intense in forest, says Tracy. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Well, clearly I need to travel more. <laughs> this one time I traveled all the way to, to Oro. More. All the way to Oro from We need Barry, to travel to Goebbels. Is, I think we need to travel to London and figure out how to pronounce everything because everything in South Ontario is basically named. What was that, that amazing image where it's like, if you can't get to oh, Europe, yeah, just travel meme. around Southern Ontario. It's like Brussels and yeah, then like Paris, Paris and then London. and then <laughs> Just travel around Southwestern Ontario and you'll feel worldly. <laughs> I'll do it though, but I'll I'll mispronounce everything. Oh yeah, <laughs> like Thamesville. <clears throat> no more Thames. I don't know why there's a th in there, by the way. Oh, te. I see. Th is te instead of th. Anyways, let's not get into it. Hey, more spam. Got it. We always need more spam. Like, Alish is upset with me too. You've never heard of, of Thames River? Goes through from Tilbury through Delaware to London and the Forks in two different directions. Yeah, no, I, I've never heard of it. I like the Beatles. Does that count? Does that count at all? I don't it's think it's slightly it does. unrelated. I think it counts. Just slightly. I like the Beatles, Zeppelin, lots of things from that area, specifically rock bands. Okay. And I'm also a quarter British. Does that matter? I, obviously, I need to learn more about my roots. 
Okay. Neil says, it's okay, guys. Yeah, I should know better. I have to travel there, and then I'll know. And I'll be like, what's this Thames River? And everyone will hiss at me. Everyone will be like... <laughs> um, Jen says, anyone else having issues fetching data? Uh, anyone else's app having issues fetching data? It could happen. Sometimes... Um, Sometimes if there's too many folks on the app, then we have to spin up new servers. And if you if you load the app right in that little that window between when a server spins up, it's a very brief window. But if you load up that app at that exact moment, no, I'm not getting any uh, any can't load data stuff. It seems to be fine from what I've got here. Let's see, looking fine for me. Oh, you can't see the green bar because it's green screened. But anyways, yeah, it seems to be working fine for me. Anyways. All right, so just just try to refresh it, and it should uh, should come back. Ah, Patricia O'Reilly says Thames is pronounced the same in UK and American English according to the Cambridge Dictionary. Oh, so I'm actually um, a moron in multiple dialects. That's interesting. Okay, so I think a lot of people said I need to go back to school. That's right, I will heading back, heading back right now. I'm going to take the river there. But I'll take the river to the school. <laughs> All right, I'm moving on. It's been a long live stream. We've been live for six <laughs> hours. We're going to make it, folks. We can do this together. That's right. That's right. Oh, Chantel says, can we get future Rita? Thanks. That's Oh, we got to check on Brockville. Keep reminding myself, check on Brockville. How are folks in Brockville doing? Whoa. This rotation pretty close to Brockville right now. Um, from what we can tell. Uh, that's coming from Montreal. But there's an interesting signature from... That might be elevated. Hopefully it's off the surface and not affecting the surface. Um, because we're checking the radar that's just south of the border, and it's not too crazy, but the Montreal, that'd be so nice to have Frank on right now, but the Montreal radar is showing elevated rotation, um, kind of, and it's kind of a bookend vortex heading kind of towards the Brockville area, so hopefully that's not affecting the surface, but uh, yeah, but we'll see. Uh, Tomo says, these radar bars are just annoying. Can't quite tell if it's general rotation or just a fuzzy bar off auto radar. Yeah, the yeah, so that's why we do the noise removal as well, too. But we don't have noise removal in Velocity yet, but we will be adding it. So um, so that's something to consider. What's going on here? Hmm. Chesterville, maybe some a little bit of minor rotation near Goldfield and Gantley in eastern Ontario. Kind of a little pocket there we got to keep an eye on. Um, I'm just going to double check quickly to see if Franktown's working. <laughs> it won't be. Never. I know. No. One can hope. One can dream, really. You know what? I'll probably fall asleep when I put the little guy to bed. And then uh, and then in my dream, Franktown will work. And I'll be like, oh, I knew it. I knew it was going to work. But I'll wake up and cry. All right. Because it'll be 12 o'clock and the live stream will be long gone. And I'll be upset. No, I'm just kidding. I'll try my best to stay awake. All right. So there's that. Still some pretty intense storms down here in southwestern Ontario. Um, thankfully, the overall the winds are not as crazy as they once were. Um, yeah. Still strong winds heading towards Strathroy in London, but yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I think the her hinted towards that. It kind of showed that the winds would die off once it moved into southwestern Ontario, and it kind of has. Yeah, absolutely. That makes sense. Uh, Madden says it's bad in London. Ooh, I want to take a look at that uh, cool webcam. Uh-oh, where did it go? As soon as I mentioned it, probably a bunch of people loaded it and then it crashed. Okay, here. I think this is it right here. 735? Yeah, he's got it right on. Okay. Um, let's see if I can pull this up. Maybe this one? Hey, perfect. So this is uh, a friend of the page here. He runs... Uh, 
It's londonweather.ddns.net. Don't go to this website right now because we won't be able to use it anymore. Because if everybody goes to this website at the same time, the whole thing's going to explode. Unless for some magical reason, he was prepared for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people to go to this website at the exact same time, which is ultimately like a DDoS. It's like too much uh, connection requests for this server. Um, but if you do decide to go to it, then that's cool. I mean, he's got like, he's got an ad banner at the top. So I guess he makes ad money from it. So yeah, I mean, go to it. Good luck. Anyways, uh, you can see the shelf coming in right now. So this is a live video feed. It's, I, I love this study. I always check this for London video. So if you are in the London area, which I know a lot of folks in our community are, um, bookmark this website though, definitely bookmark it. And if you want to be like, what's going on from a really high perspective of the storms that are moving into London, Double check this website is super cool. So yeah, so it's uh, londonweather.ddns.net. And that should uh, give you an idea of uh, what's happening in London from this really cool high perspective. But hopefully everybody doesn't go to this website at the exact same time because I have a feeling then it will explode. But uh, hey, it's still working. I refreshed it, it's still good. So we'll see. But anyways, yeah, that's the shelf cloud right now. And you can tell he's always got the right time at the top, so you can always see exactly what the time is. So, uh, 737 uh, right now, and you can see the shelf cloud uh, moving in. Cool. Um, Brockville still looks pretty intense. Oh. I hope everybody in Brockville is doing all right. If, if you're in Brockville, let us know uh, what you're experiencing in the comments, please, if it's safe to do so. <sighs> oh, more spam. Hey, what else? Yeah, what I else got it. Oh, did I? You got it? Oh, you're too quick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dana Campbell says, Adam slash Brennan, I can't get stars to work on Apple, and I have the latest version of the app. Is something up? I wanted to send you guys stars. I just paid my yearly subscription, so I know it's current. Thank you so much, uh, Dana. I really appreciate that. Um, it might just be the app. You might want to try to uh, load up Facebook on a computer and, uh, and try that instead. What if they're instead. using Facebook um, on Instagram? On Ontario Storm Watch, I believe, because Ontario Instant Weather th- Ontario only has the stars. Yeah, that's a good point as well too. Ooh, by the way, crazy update to velocity near Park Hill heading towards Exeter. Really, really strong winds. Yeah. Um, for some reason, you can't send stars through Ontario Storm Watch, but you can send them through Instant Weather Ontario. I'm not sure why. I got to look into it. But anyways, um, but if you want to send stars, make sure to do it through Instant Weather Ontario but not through uh, Ontario Stormwatch. So that might be wise well too. So hopefully that helps. And a huge thank you to those who have sent in stars. Huge thank you to those who have sent in super chats on YouTube, those who have subscribed uh, to upgrade our free app to uh, get five hours of future radar and to remove ads from the app. Um, Those who subscribe to our text message alerts, those who subscribe on Facebook, on Patreon and all the different stuff. It all uh, all really helps. So thank you so much for all your support, everybody. We really appreciate it. Thank you kindly. Um, Coco says, what's the website for the London cam? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you can see it. Uh, oh, there's a Brockville waterfront live cam. Tracy just posted in the comments. So I want to pull that up. Um, but, uh, the London webcam has slowed down quite a bit. It's jumping frames now. It wasn't before you mentioned it. Yeah. If we all go to that website at the same time. The whole thing's going to explode because he probably just has it on a single server and that might not be able to handle all that traffic. But, uh, I wonder I wonder if he'd be able to, you know what, be, it might be helpful. I, I'm going to talk to him. It might be helpful if he was to just stream it to YouTube. Because he could still get ad revenue from YouTube. And then YouTube handles the traffic, not his own server. So, I mean, uh, you know, when we're watching on a live stream, that's when everybody wants to go check it out. But uh, for the general stuff, uh, it's possible that, uh, you know, for general day-to-day use, it's possible that it's totally fine. But... Um, all right, I'm going to jump to radar here. you got to see what I was talking about with this storm. Watch when I update this. It is strong. Whoa. All of a sudden, really, really strong winds just popped out of nowhere uh, right near Grand Bend. Talking 93, 95. Uh, that is intense. I, I have a feeling, yeah, they are under a severe thunderstorm warning, but that just exploded out of nowhere. Um yeah, that really, really strengthened. We thought it was kind of dying down, but that definitely. Um, Sud says not nearly as much AdSense on his own, on his own server. I mean, AdSense from YouTube can be pretty decent, I think. But yeah, but maybe it's, 
Maybe it's better if it's on your own server. Anyways, what can you do? Uh, Coral says Adam's mic is really choppy today. Yeah, my computer's being kind of choppy. I think I need AMD launch some new chips. So I think it's about time for me to upgrade. Brennan, can you check, take a look yeah, at that Rockville webcam? Because What was up? I don't even know where it is. Where was it posted? I was in the comments, but you can just I think you just search like Rockville uh, webcam. Uh, Windows 2K said AMD just had their event. Yeah, I'm excited to hear about 7000 series. It's going to be sweet. Maybe I maybe my stuff will stop being so choppy. It probably doesn't help that this room is 30 degrees. I bet you my computer would perform a lot better if it was cooler. Um, I also have liquid cooling on my CPU, but not on my video card. Anyways. All right. So... Um, I think she posted, Tracy posted the link for you. Uh, London Northwest is getting hammered with high winds and nope, thunder right now, it. says Tracy. Thank you very much. If it'll let me copy it. Oop. Uh, future radar, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, that's that link right there. Yep. I'm trying yeah, to highlight is, it. But it this is pretty like intense. Me. No, I don't think it'll do it that way. It's all good. Don't worry no. about it. Um, folks are asking about future radar. So Amber says check Grand Ben Yacht Club cam. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, those winds heading towards the Exeter radar station are super strong. Cross your fingers that Exeter radar station stays up. Don't change that. I'm always worried when I'm always worried when the storms are heading that way, like not gonna hang. Oh dear. It is hot in here. Ooh. Okay, so um I think I'm gonna I gotta crack that window. All right, so torrential rain northwest of London, says Cindy. Thank you very much. Yeah, those winds right now look super strong near Grand Bend, heading towards Huron Park, heading towards Exeter. Super duper strong. So, uh, yeah, that's not good. Not good. Um, let's zoom Here's in a on picture that. on our your storm report group oh. of St. Thomas, the clouds. Whoa, look at the shelf from St. Thomas. That shelf is crazy. Mm -hmm. Holy. Really photogenic storms today. Yes. I, I can see that. Yeah, that St. Thomas storm looks bananas. Wow. Um, if you are in Corbett, if you are in uh, Shipka, Kiva, Mount Carmel, Crittenden, uh, kind of near the Grand Bend areas, Dashwood, Exeter, uh, South Huron, I think I mentioned. Uh, so, so it's not Thames Road then, it's Thames Road. So Thames Road, Huronville, Lumley, uh, yeah, if you're in those areas, this storm just really, really ramped up big time. Heading towards Grand Bend, and then boom, you see some really high values right here heading in that direction. So if you are in that direction, it looks intense. Just says very strong winds and heavy rain, Mount Carmel area. I wouldn't doubt it. Um, let me see here. Yeah, the rain is really starting to impact on uh, our friend. His site is still up, though. It's still up. He's hanging on. It's hanging on here. Let's see. Here's his uh, webcam right here at uh, londonweather.ddns.net. And uh, it's hanging on. You can see how you can see how foggy it's starting to look over by the, the downtown core um, of London. And you can see that... Uh, because that's basically the torrential rain that's coming down. And those winds looks pretty intense. So, ouch. I hope everybody's staying safe. It's been a pretty intense day. Uh, those winds look somehow stronger heading towards Mount Carmel. Mount Carmel looks really strong right now. Here on Park, wind damage is, is probably likely. So that's a live view of London right now. His website's hanging on. Good job. Probably added some, probably heard we announced the live stream link and added a couple of sticks around real quick. 
Let's see here. Ari says, Adam, what are the chances of you putting a live webcam at your place for current very weather? I thought about it. There's actually, you know what? There's a bunch of great webcams uh, mounted to City Hall that I always check out. In fact, they've got webcams all over Barry, and I've got I've got links to them all, and I actually put them all in like a big mosaic so I could check them out. Um, I should probably, you know, what we 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 could do is we, we thought about it, and Brennan and I have been talking about it for a while. Is uh, is uh, maybe setting up a 24 hour live stream on YouTube it would be kind of cool. It could be pretty useful, I think, uh, in a lot of cases. So um, we thought yeah, about we it, and then we could do stuff like webcams on it. Exactly, that could just be part of it, right? Like it will like be radar, and then it'll be like you know like the forecast for a bunch of different spots in southern Ontario, and then um, and then show webcams, and then you know, and then we can like record some clips and mix those in with it. You know, that could be cool. Let us know if you would want us to do that. It'd be it'd be pretty cool. Um, everybody's posting links to the Brockville webcam. I'm gonna go check it really quick. I'm just gonna go check the Montreal radar. That seems to be picking up on this storm the best. It looks like the the strongest part of the storm is probably past Brockville now, but uh, Ogdensburg looks like it could be getting hammered. 105 kilometer an hour winds in the storm here, um, but it's possible that yeah, that storm's really intense, heading towards uh, South Dundas. Um, that storm is intense. So I hope everybody's staying safe with that one. Uh, let's see here. Pizza, pizza on YouTube says, damn, stream's still going. Oh, yeah, we're still going. <laughs> it's uh, barely, but we're still going. A, uh, a marathon. We're making it. Uh, Jessica says, is Brockville clear now? Yeah, if... Uh, if the storm is not in your area in Brockville. That could be it for a bit. There might be some storms later, but that could be it for a bit. I'm just going to double check to see if uh, Frank Town's up. Of course you are. It'll come up the minute the storms move out of the province. Yeah, some some guy like some sweaty technician comes like bursting out of the door. I got it working. I got it working, guys. And you're like, yeah, the storms are all done. Oh no. Connor says, Brothers what's the longest you've gone? I think I think we did an eight hour. I think eight hours is our maximum live stream. But I think we well, went longer one time because it was eight hours is the maximum of Facebook. I mean, we could start up and go live again but then all the links have to change it's like it's quite a process so we typically try to like figure out the, and also too you know we're humans so at some point in time we have to stand up and stretch and eat some food and stuff but um uh, we you? try to <laughs> occasionally i, I got some cheese that. and crackers in the meat <laughs> and some gatorade but um but uh i don't know what i was getting at oh yes we try to like figure out okay the severe weather the window of severe weather is about this eight hour window and so we try not to go live too early but not too late just so we can like be around Ooh, when things Hamilton got so, a severe thunderstorm watch yeah, Liam's gonna be running back here real quick <laughs> where did he mention did he mention where he was going or did he just <laughs> did he just leave Liam come back I know what it is. I said I mentioned him playing the fiddle, and he's just like, "That's it, I'm out here." It's like I had to play <laughs> fiddle all day at a show, and then it comes in the live stream. We're like, "Fiddle," and he's like, "No, uh, Mount Cal Camel, Carmel, Mount Carmel." Why do I keep saying Camel? <sighs> that was Mount because earlier Carmel. there was Camel something. <laughs> Mount Camel. <laughs> Why? Why have I done this to myself? Well, that would make sense if there's point... like two mountains together. It's like camel humps. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. Um, a hundred and one kilometer, one hundred one point eight eight kilometers an hour, really close to the radar station in Mount Carmel. If you're in Mount Carmel, if you're in South Huron, that storm is super nasty. It looks really intense on radar. Everybody needs to be in their safe place with that storm moving towards them because it looks intense. Um, let's see if we can get a new Raider update here. What is it? 942, 940. Oh, we do have a new Raider update, 948. Yeah, so it has moved now uh, east of Mount Carmel, and the strongest winds are heading towards Mooresville. 
Um, South Huron, still looking pretty strong. Maybe not as strong as it once did, but still looking quite strong. There might be a little bit of uh, water spell potential south of Port Stanley, this kind of uh, rotation here. Yeah, I've been watching that. Uh, there there be has some... been some indications. Yeah, some indications down there. And uh, what's going on here? I always forget that the center of my screen is actually very left. The left side <laughs> of of what what I show on certain. So all the time I'm like looking at storms. And I'm like, yeah, check out the storm. And it probably seems strange that it's in the bottom corner. I need to remember to put it way over here. Okay, I'll do that from now on. Oh, by the way, I'm moving a I'm moving radar around a lot, so I have a feeling that everyone's gonna say my sound is cutting out. So I'm sorry. I haven't heard any issues. No. Nope. Well, that's always good. Yeah, that Ogdensburg storm still looks pretty super intense. 103 kilometers an hour. 103. Let's see here. Steve says, do you think Bolton misses all this? Looks like it's a southeast shift on radar. Yeah, you might see some storms overnight, but it's hard to say for sure. Whoa. Tracy said, yes, my maple tree bending in half way down in the yard with the wind. Whoa. Uh, someone said it's actually sounding better right now. Oh, cool. All right. Lucan is getting hammered, says Nick. Sideways rain in St. Thomas, says Rebecca. Um, winds really picking up in southeast London, says Cheryl. Amazing person 349 says little hook and maybe some rotation on the leading edge southeast of St. Mary's. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. That's an interesting signature. I see. Okay. Amazing person, 3409. We have no idea who you are, but you're on every live stream and you help a lot. So you're awesome. You're amazing. You already knew that, though. It's literally your name. But I can, I can validate it. If you need, like, someone to sign off on it, let me know. Definitely validate that. It'd be like your resume. Amazing. All right. So that's the storms. I don't know, Brennan. They seem to be weakening somewhat. Although that one. Yeah, I have Exeter. a feeling that one year Exeter is still pretty strong. Um, the St. Thomas storm looks pretty strong. Not as strong as the one year Exeter, but I mean, it's further away from the radar, so it's not so clear mm -hmm. cut. Some of these storms are heading out over the water, which is good news. Um, what else is happening? Yeah. Huge crack of lightning northwest. Uh, London says Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. Appreciate that. Janelle says, got the alert for Hamilton. Can you please report on it? Brennan, do you want to oh, do... Uh, I can bring it up, up there. One second. There we go. Oh, it's a little... Sorry, let me get it back. A little off. There we go. That's better. So the severe thunderstorm warning has ended for the Windsor area. It's still in effect for the wide swath of southwestern Ontario, including Sarnia, Chatham, London, St. Thomas, Grand Bend, Goderich, Stratford. And the severe thunderstorm watch has it's been extended as far northeast as Kitchener, Guelph, Hamilton, and Brantford. Thank you. Yeah, that's St. Thomas storm. Uh, Piano is reporting, uh, David Piano on Twitter is reporting uh, intense bow echo following Highway 3 corridor into St. Thomas, then Elmer, or Aylmer, Al Elmer, I think it's Elmer, shortly after. He says, expects extreme winds. He said he just had multiple instances of damaging winds further west with less impressive radar returns and lighting. 
So yeah, that St. Thomas Bow Echo actually looks quite strong. I was just I'm just showing it off on the on the radar here. Uh, Cornwall is probably in the path of those damaging wind gusts. Is Brennan is Cornwall under a severe thunderstorm warning right now? I don't believe so. I can double check on that one. But last time I updated it, Cornwall wasn't. May have changed. Mm. No. I'm gonna send a or not. I'm gonna send a notification their way because that storm is heading their way. And uh, I wanna make sure they know what's coming. Because it looks pretty intense. So I'm gonna send a notification to Cornwall. Um, let me just see here. Yeah, it's it's heading that direction. It might miss them, but the winds look super strong, and it's heading towards Cornwall. Yeah, so here's I'm the current ahead. alerts for eastern Ontario. So basically, the only warning in effect is for the Brockville area and Morrisburg, not the Cornwall area. The Cornwall area is not even under severe thunderstorm watch. Strange. It is strange. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to send a notification their way just to say... Pretty intense, pretty intense damaging wind gusts riding the border. Um, yeah. Okay. One second here. Okay, we detected uh, rotation and energy in, in gusts in the storm that is tracking along the international border and uh, heading northeast and it may affect the Cornwall areas. That is at 7.58. Okay. Clickety. 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 That looks good. Oh, 7.59. Okay. And Just wanted to oh. update on the oh. severe thunderstorm watches and warnings in eastern Ontario. Uh, Sarnia, Chatham, and Straff, not Straff, right? Um, I believe that's the, the Watford County and Pinery Park area was uh, downgraded to severe thunderstorm watch. Hey, Brent, I, gotta, I can already hear the footsteps coming, so I got to rock. I gotta okay. go, but uh, uh, keep going for a bit. I'll, I'll again. I'll, I'm gonna have my too. headphone in. No, he'll be okay. fine. I'm gonna have my headphone in, and I'll be uh, I'll be definitely <laughs> ch chiming in in uh, in our team chat, and uh, yeah, and uh, and we can take a look at this. And if things continue to weaken, then are probably probably good to shut it down pretty soon. But uh, yeah, I think. Yeah. Anyways, I'll go for my bed. I'll, I'll try to be quick. Yeah, it's all good. I'll try to be quick, and we'll see I'll how it goes. And uh, and thanks for all your help. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Brennan. Appreciate it. Yep. Okay, so we're going to continue looking at the severe thunderstorms going through southwestern Ontario at the moment. So the main concern right now is heading into the Exeter region where we have some severe wind gusts. Oh. So right now, this area is the main concern we're watching. And it's heading to the northeast towards Stratford, through Exeter. And there's also more storms. Switch over to reflectivity to show you those. Oh, we're having data errors. That's fun. It looks like we crashed the platform. <laughs> we will switch over to the other radar. There, that's better. So the main concern right now is through the Exeter region, as I mentioned. And then we're seeing some development south of Port Stanley that could be 
maybe a water spout? Hard to say. It's right along the southern quadrant of the radar station, so that could be a shift. Um, so here's a look at the current radar as it tracks for the region. It's kind of tracking to the northeast towards Kitchener, Hamilton. We'll eventually get it, and then maybe the GTA, but... Models are currently suggesting that it will weaken by the time we get there. And we are also seeing some isolated pop-up storms to the north towards Goderidge, Lucknow. They don't look too severe right now, but models were indicating that they could be quite strong with severe wind gusts, but we're not seeing that at the moment. And we will also look at the latest model run to see what the pull that one up so this is the the latest per run for the models and this is the eight o'clock hour, which is right now. And as we can see, the storms out in eastern Ontario continue and the ones out in southwestern Ontario continue to track to the northeast. And let's look at the nine o'clock hour. So as we can see, there's still some isolated pop-up storms to the north along Concord and Sobble Beach area. And then the main line continues to track to the east, kind of taking a southerly turn towards Brantford, Hamilton, and by the 10 o'clock hour, this latest run is suggesting that they will weaken substantially before they get to the Hamilton region, which makes sense. And then people are asking about the, I believe the Lucan area. So we'll take a look at that. Switch over. Yeah, the Lucan area would definitely be where we're having some strong wind gusts at the moment. It's more to the north, so here on Park, Exeter, Elmville, Kirkton, Fullerton, heading towards Stratford. Let's animate that. So it's kind of heading towards the Mitchell area. with, And then there is some... Stronger winds showing up in the latest frame on the Stratford area. So we will look at the, Brad, uh, the Brockville area as someone just asked. So we will look at that. I don't believe... The severe thunderstorm watch was extended to include Cornwall and Mattsville. But I believe the warning's still in effect for Brockville unless that's been ended. I don't believe it has. Let me check. No, the warning's still in effect for the Brockville area, but the storm has passed that area, as we can see. And it's continuing to track towards the upstate New York and into Quebec at the moment. And Brockville is down here, so I wouldn't say there's much of a risk right now, even though you're under severe thunderstorm warning. The more of an issue is up towards Morrisburg, Cornwall, Mattsville, Winchester, that area could see some strong wind gusts, but the cluster does appear to be weakening. Look at that. Look at that. Don't have reflectivity at the moment, but I will bring up the latest watch some warnings for the Brockville area so you can see what I'm talking about. See that? I'll animate this. You can see that? So a watch was just issued for the Alessandria and Cornwall area. Cornwall area, 
And I believe a warning was also issued for the we'll switch that over to this area. So the current severe thunderstorm watches include the Gana Walkway area up into Kentville. Ottawa and Hawkesbury and Arn Pryor still have a watch that mentions the risk of a tornado, but that will probably be dropped soon because the storms have moved to the east. So the current issue is the Morrisburg area, Alessandria, and eventually Cornwall, which is under the watch, but not the warning yet. And the current threat would be 90 kilometer hour wind gusts with a bit of rain. And as we head towards the east, the west, um, the severe thunderstorm warning is still in effect for the Grand Bend, Goderidge, Stratford, London, St. Thomas, and Stratford region. Warning of the potential for a 100 kilometer an hour wind gust as the storm tracks to the northeast towards Kitchener, Hamilton, Brantford, and Guelph over the next few hours. And we'll look at some of your comments. So Mo wants to know if anything bad for Sarnia or is it done? And right now the watch is still in effect for the Sarnia region, but we don't expect any more development because the storm has tracked further to the east. So you should be good. And a report from the St. Mary's area saying it's picking up again. Sarah's reporting some crazy skies near Goderidge, and that would probably be the, the isolated storms that I was mentioning earlier. Take a look at how they developed in a minute. Here we go. So yeah, this would be the area. I don't believe there's any issues in terms of rotation at the moment. There is... Strong winds do continue into the Atsutter region, heading into Michael and St. Mary's and Stratford. And eventually the Kitchener region will likely see some storms, but it's hard to say if they'll continue as strong as they are, as it does appear that they're weakening a bit. And models do indicate that they will weaken throughout the evening as the sun goes down and we get less daylight heating, but we are continuing to see some pop-up storms ahead of the storm ahead of the main cluster. So Andrea is asking for an update for the St. Thomas area. There's still pretty bad with lightning. So as you can see, the cluster of storms is moving through the St. Thomas area with lots of lightning as reporting and it kind of is almost out and after it moves out in the next few minutes you should be good and i don't believe there's anything no you will continue to see rain throughout the rest of the evening and into the overnight but it won't be severe this is the main storm as we're watching and it will likely continue to weaken as it moves to the northeast towards the gtn or the niagara region probably maybe an hour or so uh, more severe weather and then it'll come non-severe and trinity is asking is there any tornado warnings in the saint thomas area so to clarify there isn't any tornado warnings or watches in effect throughout ontario at the moment and probably won't be for the rest of the evening because all the storms have weakened substantially. There is still the severe thunderstorm threat, but that's mainly a wind risk as the storm has formed into a squall-like line as it tracks to the east. So the main concern would be wind, which can still be dangerous, so treat it cautiously. And we have a report from the London that's says it's still crazy gusting here in London, massive amounts of rain. So yeah, another concern with these storms would be the rain, although they are tracking pretty fast, but a lot of these regions have gotten a lot of rain in the last week or so. 
So flooding probably can't be ruled out right now, especially as they track further to the GTA, which saw a lot of rain the last week. And I will continue to look through the comments to see. So Daryl's asking, will Kitchener get anything, please? At the moment, it does look like Kitchener will get some storms, and you are under severe thunderstorm watch, but it's questionable if the storms will remain strong enough as it tracks towards your region. You will likely see something within the next hour, at least some severe, uh, some thunderstorm activity, but they aren't looking too strong as they head towards the Stratford area. And Marilyn is asking, is Brampton getting anything? Right now, Brampton isn't under any severe thunderstorm watches or warnings. You'll likely get some rain later this evening as it tracks towards the east, probably around the 11 to midnight hour, but it won't be severe likely because it'll be very late and the storms will be weakening by then. So Ashley is asking about how will Brampton be? At the moment, Brampton is under severe thunderstorm watch and the storm is tracking towards you. You will likely see some rain and thunders, but thunderstorms. But at the moment, it's questionable if you'll get severe. Really, this whole cluster is pretty weakening fairly fast at the moment. You'll still see a lot of lightning and it'll feel severe, but officially, probably not. We'll look at, see what the Buffalo radar is showing at the moment. Yeah, that's not really that good. We'll look at Essendor again. So yeah, there really isn't that much severe going, severe winds going on at the moment. But Environment Canada does still have the severe thunderstorm wa warnings and watches in effect. And I just see that Woodstock and area has been added to the severe thunderstorm warning. We'll add that to the map. So at the moment, we have the severe thunderstorm warning in effect for the Gladridge area, heading into Stratford, London, St. Thomas, Tilsonburg, Woodstock, and Stratford, mentioning the risk of 100 mile per hour wind gusts. Locations impacted include London, St. Thomas, Stratford, Woodstock, Michael um, Mitchell, St. Mary's, Alma, Elmira, Listwell, Ingersoll, Tavistock, Tilsonburg, Seaforth, Belmont, Dorchester, Milverton, Ven Venestra, Lawrenceboro, Rossboro, Elmville, and Elginfield. So those areas could see 100 kilometer an hour wind gusts right now. And the severe thunderstorm watches continue for the Windsor, Chatham, and Sarnia area. But based on the future radar and where the current storms are tracking, I don't believe there will be a risk. That may even have been ended by then. No. So the, the severe thunderstorm watch that I would be concerned about is the ones for the Listowal, Kitchener, Hamilton, and Brantford region, which are definitely very real with the, the clusters of storms tracking through London and St. Mary's and Stratford and Godridge and just starting to get into the Kitchener region right now. We're seeing a few pop-up storms and then more, more pronounced storms with lots of lightning through Clinton, Lemonsboro, Seaforth, Kirkton, St. Mary's. And I just see that Cornwall has been added to the severe thunderstorm warning, while Prescott and Brockville has been removed from the severe thunderstorm warning. 
But the severe thunderstorm watches remain in effect for Brockville and Prescott, but it's unlikely that they will see anything. Bring that up. I will animate the current watch, the current storms as it comes through London. And as you can see, they're fairly weakening pretty fast, although that could be due to the proximity to the radar station at the moment. We're not seeing any really strong severe wind gusts at the moment, but Environment Canada does have that warning in effect at the moment, which mentions the risk of 100 miles, 100 kilometer hour wind gusts. Let's hope it's not miles. Um, and we did see a report in the Windsor area of the airport that reported 100 kilometer hour wind gusts as it, the storm tracked through earlier this evening. And there was definitely substantial tree damage from this cluster of storms. So it's definitely you should be taking seriously. Even if it's not severe, there's a lot of lightning and you should be in, please be inside when there's lightning. So Emily's asking, is there any tornado risk for Brantford at the moment? So at the moment, I would say no, because the storm is weakening and the environment is definitely getting weaker as the sun goes down and daylight heating is becoming less. But there is certainly some storm risk when it comes to severe wind gusts, lightning and flooding, of course. So you definitely should take that storm seriously. And there is a severe thunderstorm watch in effect from Environment Canada at the moment. And it will likely be upgraded to the warning momentarily once the storm tracks because we saw that the Woodstock area was added to the warning. So we've had a few questions about the tornado risk. Just to clarify right now, there really isn't any tornado risk anywhere in the province because the storms are weakening. There is definitely the severe wind gust, which is our main concern at the moment. And there isn't any current tornado watches or warnings. Um, out east, there is still the tornado, uh, not the tornado watch, the severe thunderstorm watch that does mention the risk of a tornado through the Ottawa and Prescott region. But that will likely be ended soon as the storms are tracking out of the province. And we did see a tornado warning earlier on the U.S. side of the border, just south of Ganaakwe. But that storm that prompted it remains south of the border. As you can see, we're going to get velocity this time. So there is some strong wind gusts going just south of Morrisburg along the, the St. Lawrence River, heading into Cornwall right now, which does have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect at the moment. The severe thunderstorm warning does mention the risk of 90 kilometer an hour wind gusts. And locations impacted include Cornwall, Longsot, Hosea, Ingleside, Marnentown, and Glenbrook. And that will be in the Cornwall region probably within the next five, 10 minutes. And I just saw that. Kitchener region has gotten a severe thunderstorm warning issued by Environment Canada. Rachel's reporting that Woodstock is really windy right now, which based on radar makes sense. As these storms continue to track towards the northeast, Heading into the Kitchener. Kitchener, as I stated, was just added to the severe thunderstorm warning. And you will likely see the severe thunderstorm warning added to the Brantford area and Hamilton, considering these storms does appear to be fairly strong. And as they move from the radar, you can see that it's picking up better on the strong wind gusts. So it's quite possible that we could be seeing some severe wind gusts through the Mitchell area, Stratford, Woodstock, 
heading into Kitchener, Cambridge, and eventually, as I mentioned, Brantford, Hamilton, Wealth, and even maybe the GTA, although by the time they reach that, probably be 10 or 11, and it'll be quite weak, but can't rule out some below severe wind gusts, and even that can bring down some strong uh, small tree branches. Team member Cole is also mentioning that while the tornado risk isn't that strong, we could see some QLCS tornadoes perhaps because there is some minor signs of rotation, a few pockets through the sulfur, sulfur area, Woodstock, Interkip. Although they're not too organized, the potential is still there, but the tornado risk is fairly low. It's not zero, of course, because whenever you have severe thunderstorms, there is. Oh, I believe we have some spam. Oh, of course we do. Gotta love the spammers. There we go. There we go. Dealt with the spammer. Hopefully that'll be the last one. Probably not. They'll be back. But anyways, there is some interesting pockets. What may be some slight rotation. This one just south of Embro. And then this one just to the south of Tavistock. Let's play that for a second. Let's see how it ends up. Oh yeah. Probably more downburst potential and strong wind gusts as you can see this one that's moving into woodstock if you're in the woodstock area you should be prepared for really strong winds probably within the next few minutes if not already to see elizabeth is asking about london so right now london is still under the severe thunderstorm warning but the storm has basically moved out of your region. You're still seeing some odd lightning strikes with rain, of course. But the more, the more stronger cells have moved to the east, as you see this line, slowly tracking to the east and northeast. So... The stronger winds would probably be felt in the Kitchener, Brantford, Simcoe area, along with Cambridge and Guelph. And then if it continues to remain strong enough, it will continue to, it could impact Hamilton, Burlington, Milton, Oakville, Fergus, and the Denville region. But that's questionable because there was some indications that the storm was falling apart a bit, but it does look to be holding its strength as it tracks it east. So if we look at the, the wind gust right now, the stronger wind gust is to the north, to the Moncton area, Mitchell, heading into Atwood, Newton, Milverton, and even possibly parts of northern Kitchener. Kitchener will also see the areas that are experiencing strong wind gusts, including St. Mary's, Tavistock, Embril, Woodstock, that strong pockets of strong winds will continue into the Kitchener and Cambridge area. And Laura's asking about the Stratford region. So right now, Stratford is in the middle of seeing some some stronger winds, but the stronger part of the storms is to your north through the Moncton region and Lakeside to the south. So you kind of 
are missing it to an extent, but of course you're still on the severe thunderstorm warning. And it is moving to the northeast towards Kitchener. And we'll take a look out east at the moment. to see what the Cornwall storm is up to. So this warning map is a little out of date from radar scope at the moment. So Brockville to clarify, isn't in, in the warning anymore. And there is still a severe thunderstorm watch in effect, but they likely won't see anything. So Cornwall will likely see some really strong winds within the next, well, immediately. There's a very strong pocket of winds just to the south. And I'd expect it to track right into the Cornwall region. So Cornwall should expect 90 to 100 kilometer an hour wind gusts at the moment. Just reading your comments at the moment. Elizabeth saying, can you check on the map quality? It's not looking too good. Only clear things on the stream is popping up, like stream comments. So has anyone else seen that issue? Maple and Luna said Wellington had a tornado. Did it? I haven't seen any reports. If you know of anything, I would highly suggest you post it to our group. If you see any pictures, videos, send it. Go to facebook.com slash groups slash Ontario Storm Reports. And post your pictures and videos there if you have any reports of a tornado or any storms. Yeah, it seems to be some people are reporting issues. I would maybe suggest going to a different platform. So if you're watching it on Twitter or if you're watching it on Twitch, if you go to our Facebook page or you go to your YouTube page, it might be better. And also, as Leanne mentioned, I highly suggest turning your phone over so you can get a widescreen of the live stream instead of having it portrait, uh, portrait mode because our maps are made to view landscape, which could help with the clarity. Yeah, it could also be my internet as it's a little bit finicky at the moment. Oh, the severe thunderstorm warning has ended for the London region. And as expected, Brantford and Wellington North has gotten a severe thunderstorm warning. So we'll take a look at those storms at the moment. So it hasn't shown up here, but Brantford and Wellington North, so the Fergus area, Arthur, has been added to the severe thunderstorm warning, and London has been dropped. So Ashley is asking what it's saying for Tilsonburg right now. So let's take a look. So right now you are seeing 
some strong winds with the strong storm as it tracks through your region. There is some lightning, but, and the severe thunderstorm warning is in effect for the region. However, it is slowly tracking out. You'll probably see a storm for another 10, 15 minutes, and then you'll continue to see rain, but the severe risk will diminish as it tracks to the north, east, towards Brantford. Jill says, what's happening with the Aurelia area? I don't think there's anything going on right now in Aurelia. We'll take a check. I'd be surprised if there's anything going on in Aurelia. Nope. It's clear. What are you experiencing? Anything? Although the storm to the north is getting fairly organized. Let's take a look. So through Belgrave, Blythe, Kinburn, Seaforth. And the Ethel region. Oh, our map just updated. You can see the Arthur area was added to the warning, including Kitchener, Cambridge, all the way down to Brantford as this line of storms tracks to the northeast. And we just got a latest radar update. So this is where it's tracking towards Arthur, Kitchener, and Brantford. And eventually it could reach into the Guelph, Milton, Oakville, Brampton, and maybe even Toronto region. Although models do indicate that it weakened by then. And we've had a few requests about the east. So we'll take a look at that again as it tracks towards the Cornwall region. It should be... Oh yeah, we're seeing some really strong winds heading into the Cornwall region. This might be highly elevated because the radar station is fairly way and we don't have Franktown, which would be our preferred radar. Though we might be getting better luck. Oh yeah, might get a better luck. Oh yeah. Definitely really strong through Long Salt, Cornwall. Definitely be seeing some. Oh, there's Adam. He might be here. You see? Anyways, Susan is reporting that Cornwall is getting heavy rain at the moment and wind. And just want to reiterate what Steve has been saying. The biggest threats right now are wind and rain. So... There isn't necessarily a lot to be concerned about right now, except for the strong winds. As long as you're inside, don't leave a lot of stuff that could easily be blown around. But as long as you're inside, you'll be fine. We're not really seeing any significant tornado risk. However, we have noticed a few spots of minor rotation. through the Norwich earlier, Norwich region, play that again. So there was some pockets a few frames ago, just outside of Woodstock and then south of Tavistock. However, they more morphed into strong winds. The risk of a tornado can't be ruled out, but it's not the main risk. The main risk would definitely be the strong winds. So there's definitely a lot of strong winds heading for the Brussels, Atwood, Milverton, Drumble, Otterville, Eden, Tilsonburg, Port Burwell, heading into Brantford, Cambridge, Kitchener, Palmerston, Arthur. You should be in your safe place, please. Especially inside because there's a lot of lightning associated with these storms. And of course, the strong wind gusts could could blow trees, limbs, any loose items. So definitely be inside. And 
There is also the risk of some flooding. However, these storms are moving fairly fast. Jess is saying, waiting near our fur, nothing is happening in Mount Furs for us. Well, at the moment, the storms are to your southwest, but they are tracking towards you. Environment Canada just issued the severe thunderstorm wa warning for your area. So it'll probably be another 15, 20 minutes before they reach your region. And there is some strong wind gusts with them. Oh, more spam. See, I told you they'd be back. Leave. Let me check the group chat. Oh, that doesn't work. Still learning here. Um, Kim S is from Kim S is from Wingham, and she was asked for an update on her region. So we'll take a look right now. So the storm is kind. Of, you are in the severe thunderstorm warning from Environment Canada. However, the strongest winds is slightly to your south, so it really depends where you are in Wingham. If you're actually in Wingham, you're probably will be missed, maybe. The stronger winds are for the Belgrave area, heading towards... Ro I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to attempt. Uh, Fort Witch, Harriston, Palmerston, Listowall, Guamstown. Rosse, and eventually Arthur. So Wingham is currently experiencing some lightning and rain. However, the sphere potential is probably more to yourself. So I would say you're pretty fine as long as you're inside. Danny says, uh, Woodstock, Tilsonburg is getting gone now. Wind started strong and picked up again. So we'll take a look at that. So yeah, the wind potential is really around the Woodstock, Tilsonburg, up into the Mitchell, Moncton area. And we just got an update. It's slowly moving into the Brantford, Kitchener, Cambridge. We're starting to see some stronger winds through St. Avica, Baden, New Dundee. I'm just reading for your comments. Sorry if I can't get to all of them. Coming in like fast. So Eco WSR is asking, are there any rotations or echo hooks? So right now, the main issue is the wind gust. We're not really seeing any rotation or echo hooks on the radar. However, there was some pockets of QLCS rotation earlier near Woodstock and Tavistock. So while the risk of a tornado can't be completely ruled out, as with any severe thunderstorm, we don't believe there is super high risk of a tornado tonight. Most of the risk was earlier today, and as we saw the tornado warning out east, south of St. Lawrence. Right now, the issue would be the wind gusts, and there does seem to be some weakening in that. It's more spread out. So, a lot of the times, we see isolated storms, and one place gets hit really bad. Well, just down the road, they see nothing. Maybe a few rain drops, if anything. However, with how this storm is blowing out, while it does seem to be weakening overall, it means that the, the strong wind gas potential is more widespread as it tracks into the Kitchener region, Guelph, and eventually the GTA. And I just want to touch on this. 
there was a bunch of power outages in the states from the storm and we have seen a few power outages last time i looked the main area power outages were through the petrolia area and hydro one was reporting about 15,000 customers without power that will likely increase as these storms track towards the east so you should be prepared for some power outages although probably won't be as widespread as earlier as we saw for the windsor area chatham kent and Stratford and Petrolia because the storms were stronger at the time and the storm has really bowled out, bowled out as it tracks towards the Kitchener region. Oh, Shannon's asking, where did Adam go? I'm in Barry too, so when he leaves, I get worried. Don't worry, he's putting his son to bed and he'll be back very soon. There's nothing to worry about. I guess you're stuck with me for now. <laughs> Hopefully I don't break anything. And Lisa is asking, is Ottawa clear now? So to clarify, yes. Because the severe thunderstorm watches, I believe, was just ended for the Ottawa region from Environment Canada. So the current warnings out east are only for the Cornwall region. We'll take a look at that again. So at the moment, yeah, definitely, as you can see, the Ottawa region has really left the severe thunderstorm risk as it tracks towards the Quebec border. So we'll look. Oh, yeah, there's definitely some strong winds heading into the Cornwall region, though that radar frame is a little delayed. Let's see if we have the latest update. No. Jen is saying Cornwall is in a bad thunderstorm right now. So yeah, based on radar, there is definitely strong wind gusts going on let me look at the other radar station which should have a more updated frame yeah so definitely the stronger part of the storm appears to have been north of cornwall now towards Ernest corners glendale st andrews west summer station glen walter and then heading into lancaster williamstown martintown and then Bainesville, Dalhousie, Alexandria. And then within the next hour, probably won't be as much of a threat to eastern Ontario because the storm is tracking into Quebec. However, if you know anyone in the Montreal area, that could also be, they could also see some strong wind gusts from the storm. Yeah, here's the latest frame on the Canadian radar. Yeah, as we saw in the other radar station, the strongest pockets of wind is currently slightly to the north of Cornwall. So if you're in Erner's Corner, or Emer's Corner, I guess it's called, uh, St. Andrew's West, Bonville, Martintown, Williamstown, Summertown Station, you will likely be seeing some really strong damaging wind gusts from 90 to 100 kilometers an hour. And just an update, it looks like some of the severe thunderstorm watches have come to an end for deep southwestern Ontario. So that would include the Windsor, Sarnia region. I'm just seeing what exactly was ended to give those people some relief. Yes, so the Windsor, Chatham-Kent region, Sarnia, 
along with along with the petroleum region has ended. So there's not really much of a severe threat there. The severe threat continues for those to the Northeast through the Kitchener region, heading into Hamilton, Brantford, Listowal, Woodstock, She is reading your comments at the moment. And as Lisa said, all the alerts for Ottawa has ended and we will likely see the alerts for all of Eastern Ontario come to an end as the storm moves out of the province into Quebec. And we'll take a look at future radar again so you can get an idea where these storms are going. Pull it up again. So here's the current, the latest model shown future radar. So as you can see, this is eight, this is seven o'clock. No, this is eight o'clock which was about 45 minutes ago. And as you can see, the storms did move through the London region and clusters of storms continue to move in Eastern Ontario. So this is nine o'clock, which is about what we're experiencing right now. So as you can see, storms continue to move through the Kitchener region into Brantford, Hamilton, and then out east, the storm risk starts to diminish because they move out in the Quebec region. And let's go to 10 o'clock. This model is suggesting that the storms really fade before they get to the GTA, although some other models suggest that they will stay a little stronger. However, the severe risk probably only for another hour or two as the storms continue to track towards the GTA. And then for Eastern Ontario, the risk is basically for the next 30 to 45 minutes as the storms move out of the back. So right now, I will put on some radar for, to show you where the storms are going, and then I will be back in a few minutes with update on the latest watch of some warnings. I'll be right back.
and then back. Thank you for your patience. So the storms continue to track through the Kitchener region, and it kind of does look like they're weakening a fair amount. Although we do have some pockets just near the Fergus area and Guelph. And we are seeing some storms near the Wingham area, as mentioned earlier, although they do seem to be weakening a fair amount. And rain continues. And as we look over to the current watches and warnings from Environment Canada, we'll flip over to that. Okay. So we are starting to see a lot more green on our map as the risk continues to diminish. However, the severe thunderstorm warning currently is in effect for the Brantford area, Kitchener, Waterloo, St. Jacobs, Minto, Listowal, and Wingham. And eventually we should see, and as I was saying, that I just see that the Guelph region has gotten issued for the severe thunderstorm warning. So I'll add that to the map as I speak. So the Guelph area is under a severe thunderstorm warning right now. I will see what the risk that they mentioned. Oh, they just updated it, so I don't have the risk right now. But I assume it's probably 90 or 100 mile per hour wind gusts, kilometer an hour wind gusts. And for the next hour or so, it will continue to track to the east. And we will likely see Hamilton get some of the wind gusts associated with that. And also, we are also watching out east where strong winds continue to track in the extreme eastern part of eastern Ontario. However, they are starting to move into the flip over to the radar. Yeah, there's definitely some really strong wind gusts heading towards the Lancaster area, Martintown, Greenville, Dalhousie, Glen Robertson, Glen Sandfield, right along the eastern Ontario border with Quebec. So you should definitely be on alert for that area. And Environment Canada does, does have the severe thunderstorm warning in effect for that region, mentioning the potential for 90 kilometer an hour wind gusts. So we'll take a look again at the storms we were watching that are heading throughout southwestern Ontario into the GTA at the moment. So the strongest pockets of wind looks like the Brantford area. Let me see. Some people are mentioning that the map is hard to see if I add. If I increase the font size, that may help a bit. Is that better? Let's see. Stephanie says it's seeing pretty big lightning in Kitchener right now, which, yeah, that storm is. But as we saw with the last model run we looked at, it did suggest that the storms would break apart as they get to the worst of the GTA, and it does look like that's happening. The storm shield around Hamilton does seem to be working. Here's a look at the current radar, the wind. And yeah, as we can see, the main, the strongest part of the storm does appear to be towards the Brantford region. Kitchener, Listowal, and Arthur will still see some strong wind gusts, although they don't appear to be too strong on the radar. But of course, you're still under the severe thunderstorm warning. The 
I will switch over to your current watches and warnings from Environment Canada. And just as I did that, I see that Environment Canada has ended some of the warnings to the west. I'll see which ones those are exactly. And then, yeah, so the Wingham area and Listowel has been removed from the severe thunderstorm warning. The watch still remains in effect, I believe. Yeah. So I'll update that. So right now, the only severe thunderstorm warnings in effect is for the Kitchener region, Guelph, Brantford, and then out in extreme eastern Ontario along the Quebec and international border, heading through Cornwall. We'll take a look at those to see what they're doing. So yeah. So as I mentioned, Martintown area just to the southeast towards Lancaster, Bainesville, just tracking along the St. Lawrence River up into the Quebec region. So in the next 20 to 30 minutes, it probably should be fully in Quebec, maybe even earlier, 10, 15. And then we should start seeing those severe thunderstorm watches and warnings drop in eastern Ontario, and then our tension will turn towards the southwest, where we have that big severe thunderstorm warning stretching from is going on here. So interesting. Fordwich, Gorey, Harrison, Clifford. Seeing some strong winds there. And then, of course, through the Kitchener region, Woodstock, Brantford. However, what I noticed earlier is that the storm does seem to be breaking apart somewhat into more individual clusters, which will mean that not everyone will see the strongest part because it's more isolated and models were indicating that the storm will kind of fizzle as it gets into the GTA. So it does appear that that is happening. So we will likely see that these watches and warnings start to come down. Although the severe thunderstorm risk does remain for the next 30 to 45 minutes, probably maybe even longer, depending on how these storms progress. Yeah, and based on the report, like Alexander, Alexander is reporting that the storm is north and south of Woodstock with nothing but distant thunder and lightning in Forest Estate. So yeah, it really depends where you are with this line of storms because there is some stronger pockets, particularly for the Brantford region, Kitchener, Linwood, Dorking, Holland, Fergus, Harrison, Clifford, that do have some stronger winds, but there is areas where there aren't as strong, and you'll likely just see a bit of rain, maybe some thunder, maybe some lightning. Tim is asking about Cambridge. So right now, Cambridge is getting that severe thunderstorm warning that, watch that we've been warning that we've been watching. But it does appear that the storm kind of broke apart as it reached Cambridge. It depends which part of Cambridge you are in. So it kind of looks like it went around the Kitchener and Cambridge region, although you will likely see some strong winds associated with that. It's almost gone as it tracks through the Guelph region into the GTA, although, yeah, we're seeing reports of some lightning associated with the storm. So right now, probably the biggest risk would be the lightning with some severe wind gusts, although they do appear to be weakening. And we'll take a look out east again. That storm should be crossing the border momentarily. Yeah, we're starting to see it somewhat. 
right now, the strongest winds is now northeast of Martintown, just south of Green Valley, heading into to North Lancaster. So that area is probably one that are seeing the strongest wind gusts associated with the storm. And it is under a severe thunderstorm warning from Environment Canada. And then as that storm moves out of the region, we should see those warnings and watches dissipate. And I would also expect that for this area too, because it's getting late and there's less daylight heating. And as we are seeing, the storm does appear to be breaking out as it approaches the GTA. Yeah, it's quite possible. It does look like maybe Adam is asleep. Maybe? I don't hear him. So yeah, he probably fell asleep. And it does look like the severe thunderstorm warning has ended for Kitchener. So the current warning is basically only the Fergus region, Guelph, heading into Brantford. Oh, Adam's still here. See him. He's awake. He's monitoring to make sure I don't break anything. He's in the background. I believe the current warning still remaining. Yeah, for the Brantford region. Guelph and Mount Forest at the moment. So we only have three regions on our severe thunderstorm warning. And we still have the watch in effect for Hamilton. And the storm does appear to be approaching it's unclear if environment canada will issue a warning for that region because they did decide to end the warning for kitchen or suggest maybe they're thinking that the storm is sub severe now although that pocket of strong wind gusts for the brantford region is moving into parts of hamilton so we may see either way hamilton will see some strong storms with lightning, heavy rain, and some wind gusts. Maybe not 90 kilometer an hour wind gusts, but maybe 70 to 80, which can still bring some small tree branches or cause some power outages. Yeah, lots of comments reporting that there's lots of rain Lots of wind and thunder. So Rebecca is asking about what does Buckhorn and Lakefield look like? So right now, that would be the Peterborough area, I believe. Yeah, Lakefield. Um, you aren't really seeing much. You may see some rain and lightning overnight, but by the time these storms reach your area, and it's questionable even if they will, it will be very non-severe. You'll see some rain, maybe some lightning. And another severe thunderstorm warning has come to an end. I believe that's the Mount Forest area. So basically the only severe thunderstorm warnings in effect right now are for Guelph region. Here, I'll bring that up so you can see what I'm talking about. So here's the current 
Environment Canada watches the mornings in southwestern Ontario. So we do still have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for the London region into Goderidge, Stratford, Woodstock, Tilsonburg. However, the storm has tracked to the east, so it likely won't be posing much of a more of a threat for your region. So we will likely see those areas start to have the watches ended like we have seen in Windsor, Chatham, Sarnia, Petrolia. However, we do still have two severe thunderstorm warnings remaining for the Guelph region and Brantford, along with the severe thunderstorm watch for the Hamilton region, although we haven't seen Environment can to decide to upgrade that, re- that area despite the storm basically being in Hamilton now. So it's likely they've decided that it's not severe enough. And even when we look at the latest radar, these storms are really falling apart quite fast. Like even within the last 15 minutes, they've really faded. I don't even think there's much lightning associated with them anymore. Most of the strikes happened like five, ten minutes ago. There is a couple strikes near Fergus, Aaron, heading into Brampton, which saw a lot of rain recently, so that would be a concern. But thankfully, these storms are moving fairly fast. So flooding shouldn't be that big of a concern, although, oh, Adam's going to be back momentarily. So just stay. Hopefully I didn't scare you off. (laughs) So let's take a look at eastern Ontario. And that storm's quickly... Oh, there might be... That's an interesting signature. Oh, there might be some rotation out in eastern Ontario right along the Quebec border. Heading into... Yeah... Dalhousie right now, that's quite something. And even it really lines up with reflectivity. Kind of looks like a bookend. I wouldn't be surprised if that might be producing something. However, it's in Quebec now, likely. However, if you know someone in the St. Polycarp area, Cote de Lac, St. Cleet, Heading into just southwest of Montreal, there could be a possible tornado with that. And the severe thunderstorm warning has been issued. At the minimum, there will be very damaging wind gusts in that area. So yeah, that just waited until just reached the border with Quebec and Ontario. Though it might still be partially. We Let's take a look at the GTA again and into Kitchener Waterloo. So yeah, this these storms are quickly falling apart, so very likely that we will like see these Remaining severe thunderstorm warnings come to an end very soon. Well, it does look like the... The Guelph region may have been ended from the severe thunderstorm warning. Let me confirm that. No, the severe thunderstorm warning still continues for the Guelph region, so ignore what's shown on the map. It's outdated. So here's the latest watches and warnings from Environment Canada. We still have those two severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for the Brantford and Guelph region, but we will likely see those come to an end shortly as the storms are quickly falling apart and the rest of the watches and warnings should come to an end as well. I'm surprised they haven't ended the one for the Goderich and London area because there's barely no risk there. I don't even know if they're... Yeah, basically all the rain has ended for that area. And the storms basically fizzled right out. Even if you look at this, you can see how near the Wingham area, it was quite strong there. And as it tracked towards Gorey, Palmerston, it kind of just fizzled out. And that's kind of what we were expecting because the sun has gone down. There's a lot less energy for these storms to work with. I 
at the moment, we'll probably just wait for Adam. Maybe he'll sing a song. Maybe not. We'll see. He's probably cursing me right now because I'm volunteering him playing a song. So, yeah, right. Oh, there he is. What did I miss? Oh, dear. <laughs> and I missed it all. Thanks, friend. You're a rock star, buddy. You rock. I listened the, the whole bus. time, man. I heard you. I heard you throw me under the bus. I listened to you the whole time, and you rocked, man. You were awesome. That was great. Um, I don't know about this. I don't know about this Montreal storm. I'm not super convinced. I think it might be. I think it might be from a merge. Um, I mean, but it, it, it was well, compelling. Look at it. It's I, kind I of like a bookend. Kind of looks like a bookend. But it's. I feel like the velocity intent. I mean, the winds are super strong. But yeah, look at the next frame. It's like gone. Yeah. Next frame's gone. Yeah, so I had a feeling it was like, um, yeah, I had a feeling it was, uh, oh, excuse me, I had a feeling it was um, uh, a merge, but yeah, I, I don't know, it's, it's hard to say for sure, but anyways, yeah, the little guy took forever, sorry, my apologies, but you rocked it, man, you're on fire, dude, okay. so that was awesome, that was great, I'm like, so proud of you, dude. Try my best. You should. You join the team as just time. a young man. You've you've <laughs> grown into quite an adult. There, so it's good to see. I like it. It's great. Um, well, that's debatable. So, uh, it's debatable, but no, it's it's good. Everyone's like music, music. I just I just swoop in at the end after all the storms are done, and I'm like, let's play some songs. <laughs> that might have been my fault because I was like, right as you were coming on, I was like. Adam's going to play music, probably. It's possible. I mean, if nothing crazy... Well, I'm volunteering you. Peak, but... Hey, is uh, Frank Town up no. yet? No, it'll be up as soon as we shut it down. I, actually, there's not that much time, because look, it's 7.36, so we're actually pretty close to the to the end of the end of the line here. Uh, yeah, I, you think they're, they're going to severe war Hamilton or no? There's some pretty strong winds there. 86. Probably. 85, 86. Luck. But maybe they're... Maybe they're well, elevated. The There's not much of an environment apart. left. Yeah. K-Buff looks weak. There's not that much of an environment. Like, there's, like, mm -hmm. no Supercell. Supercell's basically all gone. And if there's just inhibition. I don't know. It, it's not that compelling. Northern Northeastern Ontario looks more compelling than than anything. But And, and that's stuff that's moving into Montreal now. But, yeah, there's not much going on. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, so my, my timing's great. <laughs> <laughs> I just show up at the end. Hey, everybody! I probably See you wouldn't later. have realized that. I would have probably just like I, cut off at eight o'clock, eight hours, and I wouldn't have. It'd be like, you would be like, I oh, I, I think talking. I see some really strong rotation. Boo! And then it shuts off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be bad. Uh, let's see here. So, uh, severe thunderstorm morning ended for Brantford. Is that the last one? I don't know. I think Wolf is still under one, unless they secretly ended it. No. Warning uh, still in effect no, for golf, yeah, so, which I don't know why. The one up there? Yeah, I guess there's some winds on there, but that's probably the next one to go. I feel like that's it. I feel like they're gonna probably. shut her down. Probably. Well that was quite a that was mm -hmm. quite a, an event. Mm hmm That was wild. There's some pretty intense stuff there. I wasn't sure if it was gonna get that intense because <laughs> Just the just the uh, back and forth of the models, I was like, Ugh. and there was a few times that like the her looked like nothing, Nam looked like almost nothing. I was like, what's happening here? All of a sudden, it's saying it's not. But the same time it did that, Future Radar was like, there's gonna be some big storms, and I'm like, okay, well, Future Radar is pretty. It's I think it's because it's coming from a different perspective. It's I don't know something about it is is pretty dependable at times, you know. Like when when the her and Nam are like, no, it's not going to be anything at all. Although the gem, the gem was always like, actually the gem nailed, um, it nailed Windsor, right? It said big Boeing line, mm -hmm. boom, right through Windsor. It it nailed that as as far out as I don't know, sixteen hours ago or or eighteen hours ago. So that's pretty impressive. So wow, that was that was intense. I hope everybody is safe in Windsor because that was. That was intense, or especially in Essex County. Yeah, there's a lot of damage. Big there. trees down. Yeah, I hope there's no like, no injuries or anything because that was that was intense. Hopefully everybody had enough time. I got to start pulling some stuff off the app because there's, 
there's uh, a there's still rotation and significant winds in southwestern Ontario. We gotta remove that. Um, gotta remove uh, minor rotation near the London area. Minor rotation to Chatham Kent. <laughs> there's still a million of them on there. Sorry about the delay, folks, in removing all of these. Uh, let me just get rid of all of them. And uh, I'll pull the forecast off now because you know I'm going to forget it. And then people are going to wake up tomorrow morning and check the app. And there's the forecast is still going to be there. So let's just I'll pull that off. And we're probably not going to be live streaming for that much longer. So I'll take that off there. Everything's off the app. You give the give well, it like a minute. Live stream the app. for much longer. You're, that's true. So if I'm going to play a song, better so rock it now. I got 20 minutes. All right. What do you think? Should I play a tune? You got any requests, uh, Brennan? Uh, like, uh, uh, you wouldn't be able to play that type or... of music. <laughs> what? I, what type? Uh, you never told me what type. The baby shark is your type. Yeah, I, I can't play that at all. It's way too complicated. But um, uh, <laughs> that's definitely not your dude. Yeah, I'd like to hear what you're into. That'd be cool. But I mean, if you don't want to reveal it on the stream, you're gonna expose me for my into... horrible music taste. <laughs> well, I wonder if you're like on the same page as Alana. She's into some pretty Definitely heavy, not. pretty heavy rock stuff. She's into basically stuff. my okay. taste is like if you listen to Virgin Radio, that's basically my taste right there. It's kind of in like a pop realm kind of thing. Is it? Is that a poppy? Yeah, kind of, I would just do Virgin pop. Yeah, I love pop. You know what? I love top forty. Like, I just like good music. So whether it's you know, I mean, some pop can can cross a line into like bubble gummy and it's kind of like cheesy garbage. But, you know, if it's something like, you know, recent, you know, Bieber or, you know, there's lots of stuff that's just like it's just there's just lots of the hooks are just so good. Or I'll be the, if you can't be right here. Oh, I'll yeah. Like I get like hooked on certain music so easily. Yeah. Yeah. If it has like a good yeah, beat too, to totally. it, it's weird. And then I just I listen to sure. it on repeat until I get sick of it. <laughs> yeah. Until you drive it out of your brain. <laughs> exactly. I know. I know. It's awesome. All right. Uh, I'm going to play. Ooh, I better shut this. There's a, I have the, this room is so hot that I had this like fan that like sucks the air out of the room. And I was just like, <laughs> this is like a workshop. So I'm like, I'm just going to suck all the heat out of this room. What did I get it down to? 29. Hey, it's better than 30. <laughs> um, all right, let me just shut that down. Give me just one second, I'll, and I'll be right back with this dude. While Adam does that, I will look at the latest. So it looks like all the warnings have ended for eastern Ontario, as that storm has tracked out. And we are seeing some of the watches that have been ended for the London region, St. Thomas, I believe the warning still continues for the Guelph region, which is strange, but okay. And that's basically the only warning remaining. There's some of those watches, but mm. I it doesn't look like Environment Canada is interested in the Hamilton cell, so I don't expect them to upgrade there. Because it magically strengthens. No. Magically. <laughs> well, it's the Hamilton bubble, of course. It's not I guess. I want, does any, did anybody ever figure out what happened to Liam? I don't even know. Did, did he even say goodbye? He's like, oh, I'm trying to fix something. And then he just, <laughs> he was just gone. Probably had some personal stuff there. It's all good. Yeah, send out a search team for Liam. Where'd he go? Wait, uh, Brennan, give me a song that like you listen to that that's poppy that you like. <laughs> no pressure. You wouldn't even know it. You said Virgin Radio stuff. Like, what about a what about a popular song that I might know? I'm look for my playlist. You're gonna check your phone. I don't remember my songs. I'll try to learn. I'll try to learn a song on the spot for you. There's like really. I'm not even gonna play it on the live stream because we'll definitely get copyrighted. Oh, definitely don't play it. No, that would be the. <laughs> that would be the end of all days. Um, yeah, I don't even think there's. Uh, oh, that's all good. I'll look in here. I'll look in the uh, comments. See if I can find my whole playlist is like explicit, explicit, explicit. And yeah, we can't play those on the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can 
I'll be beep, 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 beep. Let's see here. I can just beep it out. But anyways, um, do I know any Ed Sheeran? Yeah, play some Cardi, yeah. Uh, Night Burn says Sweet Home Alabama. I don't know if I'll remember all the lyrics, but I'll give it to you. Here we go. Brennan, I get <laughs> Do you want to uh, intermittently mute, please? I'll just leave. No! You're going to leave? No! Come back, Brennan! No! He's gone forever. Oh, he's back. Okay. Are you going to come back when we shut it oh, down, or are you, are you just going to go? Do you want to go? Oh, of course. Are you going to stay? No, I'll stay there here. Go. I want I'm you going to be in the All background because right. you don't want to see my facial. Oh, you know, I don't want me. I don't want to see you cringing while I sing the song. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Wait, I should put on. Hold on. Let me put on something compelling uh, for the visual instead of what we're looking at here. Because I'll probably put on like I'll put on future radar because that's usually a good thing to end with because then people can see if they're gonna maybe get some storms overnight or all that kind of stuff. Let's see. I'll put on the future radar. Let's see. That's always a good thing to show. I hope Cornwall's okay because that storm looked intense and went through Cornwall. It looked pretty intense for sure. Um. Let me see. I'll switch over to this and then I'll hit play and then it should work. There we go. All right. Sweet. Okay. Where was I? All right. <clears throat> Song. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, turn up. Big wheels keep on turning. I don't know. I remember the lyrics, I think. I remember some of them. Some of them. Uh, Spank on YouTube says, I got you on the street, man. You got me. <laughs> you definitely got me. Where was I? Count me home to see my kin Singing songs about the Southland I'm the South Bammy once again And I don't think it's a sin, yeah, come on Thank you so much, folks. Thank you kindly. I hope everybody stayed safe tonight because that was pretty intense. Uh, that was pretty intense for sure. Adrian says, did we know this song was a big uh, 
a big angry statement towards Neil Young. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Everybody knows that. There's a whole literally a whole verse about Neil. Um, but uh, of course Neil's a genius and you know, I'm sure I'm sure he had his rebuttal. I don't know the entire story, but it'd be interesting to see that would be an interesting documentary to see the Neil Young versus Leonard Skinner feud at some point in time. That could be pretty interesting. But anyways. Um, but yeah, so uh Lizzie showed up again and said, Wait, you're still live? <laughs> I like the I like the eight hour later, people like it's the third time they've come back on and like you're still going. They're like, I've had a nap and <laughs> they come back and we're still going. So oh, thank you so much, Brittany. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, everyone. I sincerely appreciate it. Um, the Mondu family says, Adam, did you see the video I tweeted you guys? I'm not sure, but uh, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely try to check it out. So we'll see. Um, uh, yeah. So, oh, that's strange. He's still in there. Anyways. Okay. Anyways, thank you so much, everyone. I really hope everybody stayed safe. Thank you to Brennan because he rocked. I had to go put the little guy uh, to bed. Thankfully, it wasn't like the Marmara situation where there's like a catastrophic tornado on the ground when I have yeah. to leave, uh, you know, but no, the thing is, is uh, I, I didn't jinx this time. No. And you know what though? I trust you. Uh, like literally I could get hit by a bus tomorrow and Brendan can just carry the flame. So, I mean, it's, um, I'm totally, I'm totally, uh, you know, you and Atlanta and the whole team, literally, I could just walk across Happy the, thoughts, tomorrow, stand the, off, the so end. Long <laughs> Happy thoughts. I'm just saying like, literally I could just like, I could just <laughs> vanish tomorrow. And I'm, I'm, and there's like a I have this calm peace inside me knowing that you guys would just keep things going. So, um, yeah, so the team's amazing. And so huge kudos to the instant weather team. They're awesome. And some other team. Yeah. Everybody on there, the whole, and not to mention I, all the people can... in the background, Patricia. Lindsay, well, that's what we're talking Miranda. about. Exactly. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. Teresa, Teresa Alana, Cole, I saw Liam, Miranda, Harry, crazy in the comments. Yeah, she actually got a storm today, so she's pretty she's happy. She's basically you know my what? sidekick. We should get Miranda to join me on the live stream. That, <laughs> that could be compelling. That could be interesting. <laughs> it could be compelling. It could I can be see how that could. could be compelling. <laughs> it will be good TV. <laughs> no, I'm sure it'd be fine. It would be. It would be good. Yeah, as long as you guys remember that you're on the live stream. Yeah, it would be good. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so everybody, yeah, like the whole team. Uh, amazing i should go through a dominic as well too um you know uh yeah just everybody on the team is is amazing so if i miss somebody i probably you can see miss how many so people did we did on the live stream at one time well they think they said you can have 10 guests on here so that would be actually pretty cool to have you know a bunch a bunch of guests on here would be pretty sweet so um but yeah huge thank you to everybody in the community um and and thanks mm -hmm. again for sending in stars thanks for sending super chats thanks for subscribing uh, to upgrade the radar on the app and thanks for uh you know just in general sharing our updates and helping us raise awareness about tornadoes and severe weather because that's uh that's been the goal since 2013 and that's uh you know that's what we keep trying to do so thank you everyone really appreciate it hope you had a safe evening thanks brennan again for rocking it you okay. did amazing so good night everyone that. and good night everyone have yourselves a good night good night Bye.